call the meeting to order. Chief, would you lead us in the pledge? First, I want to welcome, uh, I know we've got uh, families from the Champlain Towers. I want to welcome you all. Thank you for coming. And again, I don't think we uh, have expressed enough our deep, deep uh, sadness and condolences for everything that you've been through. It's, uh, it's been unimaginable. And, uh, Again, we want you to know we are here. We, we, we care for you. We've been here since the beginning, and we're not going anywhere. And we, we're all committed, I think, to doing our best up here to try to make sure that we can balance the needs that you have with respect to your issues and the needs of the residents of the town of Surfside. So thank you all for coming. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight is I know that we've got the families here. Now, we've, I'm sorry, Madam Clerk, go ahead. Mayor, can I call the roll? Yeah, please. Mayor Burkett? Here. Vice Mayor Paul? Absent. Commissioner Castle is absent. Commissioner Salasauer is absent. Commissioner Velasquez? Here. Mary will proceed. Boy, I thought we had more people. Okay. Um, so, I know we've got the families here, and we've got, uh, the, we're here tonight to talk about 14 meetings worth of uh, input that we've uh, invested into this redesign of the zoning code and about a year and three quarters worth of time. And what we have so far is we have a draft code which is basically a compilation of all the input from every single elected official and a consensus pick from the commission on those items that each elected official put forward to be included in the zoning code. Uh, tonight was a, an opportunity for us to, for the first time to look at a draft that uh, our attorneys have put together. And again, I wanna thank Tony and Lily for doing an incredible uh, job in uh, making that process. It wasn't easy, but it could have been undoable, but you guys, you guys made it understandable and I wanna thank you for that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorganize the meeting a little bit. And uh, I don't want the families to have to sit here any longer than they need to. And I wanna hear from the families that are here and I want to hear uh, what the thoughts are and what your comments are because I know that you've been writing to us and you've been calling us. But uh, this is a, a time where you can officially make those, uh, those statements be known to the commission. Yes, yes, ma'am. I mean, we, we will start uh, with you. Hi, good evening. Can everybody hear me? Perfectly. My name is Susie Rodriguez. We corresponded a little bit last week. Okay. And thank and you for being here, everybody. I think, just so everybody knows, when you get up, please give us your name and address, and then you may begin. Susie Rodriguez, 8777 Collins Avenue, apartment 607, Surfside, Florida, 33154. I'm a survivor of the Champlain Towers building collapse. And uh, Mayor uh, Burkett, I have a question for you. I know that you set the commission agenda. I want to know why. In the next commissioner's meeting, September 14th, the memorial and the text amendment is the last thing on your agenda. Why? It should be addressed first. In the past, you've never even gone through a third of any of your agenda items. As a person who sets the agenda, we can certainly see where your priorities are. If we're last on your list, that needs to be addressed and it needs to be put on the top. The memorial and the text amendment to the wedding cake need to be on the first agenda items uh, listed in your September 14th commission meeting, not the last thing. That way it's addressed. 
I want to also know why elected officials are making decisions behind closed doors. Why are we hiring attorneys and spending thousands of taxpayer dollars uh, and not getting the input from the residents of Surfside? We don't want the zoning in progress. We don't want it. We don't want the zip. Does anybody want the zip here? No. Does anybody no. want the zip? No. No, nobody. Who wants the zip? No. We don't want it. All we want is to allow the amendment, the text amendment to the uh, wedding cake. We don't want the zip. Instead of the zip, I believe that we should just make some changes to the March 2020 code and close some of the loopholes for a better community. Has anybody in your commission read the 205 page book of changes? Someone sure went through a lot of trouble to put that, to do that. Do you understand the impact that it'll have on the value of our investments? Throw out the zip, zip it, and make the changes to the existing March 2020 code for the interests of the town and its residents. And a question for you, Major, uh, Mayor Burkett. Didn't you try this in 2006 and the residents voted you out of office? It's time okay. to commission vote against the dictatorship and let me finish. And can you, yeah, go ahead, please finish it's up. No more dictatorship. This is okay. a community. Okay. We want input. We want to be able to, to voice, you know, okay. what we want. I got it. I what got about it. your property? It's I a life it. safety hazard. Have you addressed that? Okay, come on. Let, let's, let's stick to the point. The point, you, you raised some issues and I'm mm -hmm. going to go through them quickly. You can sit down now. Okay. okay. Thank the you. First, the first item is, is you uh, asserted that I create the agenda. I don't. I don't create the agenda. What happens when items get put on the agenda? The clerk cook puts them on at the end, and if the commission wants to bring them up, they bring them up, okay? That's, that's so I don't do the agenda. I don't put the agenda in order. As a matter of fact, we've been working on this zoning code now for 14 months. You've been working on I tell you, sorry, you're, you're, you're done. So last time I was in office, they, the commission that was here changed the zoning code. I was the one commissioner that voted against it. That change in the zoning code gave us the hyperdevelopment that we have. The reason I ran this time was to stop it. I was elected to stop it, and that's why we have this new zoning coding process. Thank you. Who would like to speak next? Yeah, for else. Jeff Rose. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna read um, from George Kusula something because I guess you're not having um, mail in, so George wanted me to read something. Is so George not coming tonight? George is not here, he's out of town. So the, the first, he's got just three things to read. Jeff, just, please state your name and address for the record. Jeff Rose, 8851 Frat Avenue. So this one's from George. Commissioners, I would like to comment on the, sorry, redevelopment of Champlain Tower South and the zoning code. Commissioners, I would like to comment on the current zoning in progress, the previous code and the draft new code, and how they relate to the Champlain Tower South site, and by extension to all properties in H120. Density, keep 109 units per acre while defining lot area by the bulkhead line. Redefining the lot area to the bulkhead line is reasonable. This is where it was done at the time of Champlain Tower South construction. The adjustment of density down to 65 from 109 makes no sense. As written, your code and comprehensive plan would allow higher densities in zones that allow one third the height of the ocean front. What is the rational basis for this decision? Setbacks, enact the revisions to the modification to side setbacks. The current section 90-48.5 modifies setbacks in a stepped fashion often called the wedding cake. This is a provision that can place bizarre constraints on buildings while not delivering the benefits promised. New language permits modification that provide better light and air where it is needed, while allowing sensible construction with much greater design flexibility. You have it in the new draft you're considering as a standalone text amendment. Passing it is either in form, it is essential. Height, set the height limit at 120 feet, starting at elevation of 18.25 NGVD. You wish to protect the legacy skyline and surfside, good. 
but first you need to understand where that skyline is. Approximately 158 feet NGVD. The four winds from 1967 is 159 feet. Currently, the height of the tower on the ocean part is 120 feet, plus 20 feet of mechanical penthouse that is measured from the wave crest elevation by FTPP at 18.25. The correspondence to legacy line 18 plus 120 plus 20 equals 158. Now you wish to lower it by a few feet. While the differences seem trivial and true, it would never be noticed on the skyline, add or subtract this. But the flex inflexibility of the, F the FDEP requirement means a loss of a story. Keep the current definition of height. Zoning in progress. Bring zoning in progress to an end. Zoning in progress served a purpose. It was not carefully crafted, but I could do a job for the short duration expected of it. You are keeping it for far too long. Like a beat up car that might be good for the occasional run across town, it is not up to a cross country road trip. More importantly, because of the way zoning in progress is intended to work, it presents a roadblock to any other initiatives you might entertain. Either discard it now or commit to it re not renewing it in November, at which time your, the items you're considering will be approaching adoption. That's from George. Um, and I'll give my comments now. Um, pretty much agree with most of the things George says, except um, when the, the time of the collapse, the code that was in place is, in my opinion, where, it's, where things should be measured from, which is the coastal construction line. There's no reason to, to reduce density in the size of the building. No, Mr. Mayor, you said, you know, the market drives and people are going to build large luxury units. Nothing in the current code stops that. The only thing you're doing is limiting the amount by changing the density, the height, and where you measure from. Um, the additional item that, that I want to talk about is everybody here was elected pre-COVID and pre-collapse. As you can see by this room and by what's happening in town, times have changed. So just to keep that in mind. You don't just represent the people that got you elected, you represent the whole town. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Mayor, I have Lisa Kasten. Okay. Good evening, Mayor Burkett, members of the council. Lisa Kasten, Ackerman LLP, representing Champlain uh, Towers South Condominium Association and receiver. And I'm here to comment on <clears throat> a few of the items that are in consideration that may, if adopted or if not adopted, impact the value of that property and all other properties on the east side of Collins Avenue in the H120 district. The items are as follows. Number one, with respect to consideration of any decrease in density, that would be, of course, impacting value of the property. We also disagree that the bulkhead line should be the line of measurement for the size of the property, ultimately to determine the calculation of density. There are two uses which are allowed for properties on the east side of Collins Avenue, residential and hotel. The reduction in density would impact the ability to develop a hotel or hotel component of a residential building, thereby impacting value. Number two, including the definition of measurement of height from the crown of the road as opposed to FEMA, federally established flood elevation criteria. This will do a couple of things. Number one, the difference in height over existing buildings is so minimal as to be imperceptible. But more importantly than that, it impacts potentially value of the properties because the most valuable floor is the top floor and you might lose the top floor of a building. Finally, this goes, flies in the face of what every progressive city in the country is doing with respect to resiliency. Where, where the first finished floor can begin has been elevated to be above flood elevation because we all know sea level rise is a fact and there's an increasing number of storms and large storm surges. To reduce the height 
actually impacts the future uh, sustainability of these properties and their resiliency. In addition, uh, there is something out of a positive nature that is included in the discussion, which is the alternative for the, uh, to the wedding cake, as everyone calls it, allowing an alternative setback regimen, uh, which would uh, give more flexibility to property owners. So these are very important issues. As I have outlined them, they will impact the value of the Champlain Towers owners and victims, as well as many others along up, up and down uh, the east side of Collins Avenue. So we'd ask you to consider all of these things in your zoning. Thank you, uh, one further thing, uh, Mayor, just to be clear, I think it's, it's implied, but that the zoning in progress, which includes the change in measurement for the height of the buildings to the crown of the road, the zoning in progress should be let to sunset and the existing code provisions should be allowed to retain. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next speaker. Mayor, I have a speaker card from Jeff Plaid. Okay. Jeffrey Platt, 9225 Collins Avenue. I actually live in the oldest high rise in town, so I think what they're trying to do is probably going to have an effect on my building fairly soon if you get what you want. Um, it seems to me that some developer must be giving you a great deal because you want to kick out the entire middle class that lives on the oceanfront. And I'm not talking about just middle class. I'm talking about people who own million, a million dollar apartment. You want to kick them out because what you want is $10 million apartments to start with on the ocean. That's what this sounds like, you know? Yeah. This sounds like you don't want, oh, excuse me. I was elected to stop mega development. The only mega development that's happening in this town is in the residential zone. There's been no mega development on the ocean. Every building is 12 floors, doesn't go higher. There's no mega development. But if you go in the residential zone, there are 1,600 square foot homes that are now 4,000 square feet. That's mega development. So I think you've got it switched around, Mr. Mayor. There's been no mega development. If there's been one building mega development on the ocean, I'd like you to point it out to me or to the people here in this town. I want you to point out one development. But I could point out about 50 homes in the residential zone that are pretty ostentatious. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Any more? Yes, Mayor, I have Judy Martinez. Okay. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, the hedges. Uh, I I'm, uh, have a little concern regarding they, they want to change the altitude of the hedges that we can have in our properties. I live in Byron, 9333. And as you know, Byron, it's a very, very um, important street where um, it's very, very uh, congested with traffic, especially after the tragedy. And in high season, like Christmas or important dates. And uh, I've been living here for 12 years. My dog uh, was hit by a car in there, hit and ran. I have two dogs and a daughter. Uh, I have my mom and my mother-in-law who suffer from Alzheimer's. And for us, it's very important to have our house very protected. And if we are planning to remove those hedges, for us, it's, it's, um, you know, it's impossible living in there, as I mentioned, because of the traffic and also um, because of the security. Uh, my brother parked like two weeks ago uh, there, 
and his car was hit and he lost his uh, side mirror. As the same thing happened to my husband like two years ago. So if you are considering that, please uh, take, uh, take in consideration the people who live in Byron. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next speaker. Carlos Silva. Major, how are you? Commissioners, how are you? Thank you for letting me speak to you here a minute today. My, uh, my talk is a little different. I wanted to pull a little bit on your heartstrings, and I'll tell you what this is about. I don't know if you've had the time or you've been able to attend any of the hearings with Judge Hansen, but there are about 250 victims, people that lost children, uh, fathers, mothers, breadwinners, that attend on a Zoom call every hearing about this catastrophe, this collapse. And you can feel the pain of, I don't have a father, I don't have a mother, they were providing for me, what am I gonna do? There was one lady on the call that basically lost her husband because she took a trip, lost her husband and her child, and, and she, that was the sole breadwinner in her family. So she didn't even have a place to live. What I'm trying to tell the commission here today and poking at your heart is two things. Number one, discretion. God gave us discretion. We can't hold these people down with such a horrific catastrophe that has happened in our lifetime. I've never seen a building collapse with so many people dying. What has happened here is so horrific and heartbreaking for all of us. It's your community. It's your people that have died here. We can't hurt them by changing the zoning or affecting them in zoning at this point. Just like FEMA stepped up to the plate, just like many people have stepped up to the plate, I think it's time to come together as a community and not hurt them by this new zoning. Grandfather them in, make an exception. That's what discretion is about. That's what elected officials do they know how to make change and they know when to do it. If there's ever been a time to actually make a change and permit the old zoning and to apply what they're asking you here to do, it's now. We can't hurt these people. The money is limited. We have over $2 billion in damages to these families, wrongful death property. It's going to be such a limited fund Please help us help your community. Help these people. Don't hurt them with this zoning. Let's help them. That's why you're the mayor, to have discretion and say, you know what? This is different than any other zoning issue that I will have in front of me for the rest of my life because buildings don't collapse. Buildings don't kill 136 innocent people. Please help us. Don't hurt these people. Sit together, come together whether there's different political views or issues between yourselves, come together and help this community, I ask you. I represent 12 victims that have died in this catastrophe, and I just ask you, please come together and help them. Don't hurt them. Thank you, Thank you very much. We're gonna let everybody talk. I know, we're gonna let everybody make your notes. Next speaker. I'm gonna start butchering names. Steve Rosenhall. You didn't butcher it, so it's okay. My name is Steve Rosenthal. I'm a rescued survivor from unit number 705. And I don't think I could say anything better than what Carlos just said. I mean, he, he just said it perfectly. Things happen, events happen. I know the mayor said he ran on a platform to downsize the city of the town of Surfside. No one could have foreseen this. I don't think Moses or Jesus could have foreseen what happened here. It's a tragedy. We are victims, and we don't want to be, we don't want you to make us victims twice by downzoning the property. According to the lobbyists, when we hear the court hearings and Michael Goldberg and the judge, they have a developer that's willing to pay $120 million plus for that site, the zoning remaining the same. The mayor says he downsizes it, 
the 78 units, the units can go from, to four or five million, so the math comes out almost the same. I don't have four or five years to wait on that gamble. I don't know if people are gonna buy units for four or five million in five years. I don't know what the real estate market's gonna be in four or five years. Right now, in Yiddish, we call the Geltz in the Keshina. The money's in the pocket. We got a developer that's willing to pay 120 million or more. We're just asking to keep the zoning the same for the southernmost address on the ocean in Surfside. No one's going to know. Thank you. Thank you. Paolo. There you go. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Paolo Longobardi from Champlain Tower South, Unit 309. So uh, I think everybody already expressed the, our concerns as owners, resident of the Champlain Tower. I'm, uh, I'm a survivor with my family. So we were there that night. The, we lost, as you know, a lot of neighbors, uh, our homes. We're going to lose our land now. Okay, so we have to rebuild our life and uh, to ask your help to uh, help us compensate properly all the victims of this, of this case. And I believe that the city has a moral duty to help the, the citizens of the city who have been here for many years, who would like to be here, we don't know if we'll be able to stay here with the current market and real estate prices. So I don't want to repeat what was said already better than, than I can say now, but uh, we also wrote a letter to, to the city commissioner and there were 75 people, owners of the Champlain Tower South, that signed the letter and the support of what we, we are saying here. So again, please listen to us and help us in this situation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Drew Superstein. Hi, Drew Superstein, uh, 9064 uh, Collins. Um, I wanted to speak to you about allowing um, hotels in the historic district. Um, we're really trying to have the highest and best use um, for our properties and um, so we can have an amazing Surfside and an amazing historic district and at the same time allows us to maintain and work with us to have the highest and best use in economics um, to continue the legacy of these buildings and also um, continue to maintain the character and historic nature of, of the town. Um, thank you. Thank you. Leonard. Hi, I'm Leonard Backelchuk, 9180 Emerson Avenue. Uh, my family has lived there for about 55 years. It was, um, I'm, I'm just gonna speak to the fact that I think the neighborhood looks a lot more beautiful now than it did when we first moved here. There were very few trees. Most people's yards had almost no plants in them. Uh, it really was kind of a sad looking neighborhood 55 years ago. And it's become much more beautiful, mostly because there's so many more trees now and the hedges and the gardens that people have. And I am shocked that there's talk to bring the hedges down to two feet. It's just, it's in, I can't understand it. I, I live in this house where we made a beautiful garden and we made a beautiful garden in the front and the back. And I don't want to have hedges that are two feet tall. I mean, it, it ruins the whole garden. Why should I sit in the front of my house if I'm going to be looking at the street, at black uh, pavement? I mean, I, the most beautiful neighborhoods in Miami, Coral Gables, stuff, they're full of trees. They're full of hedges. What is the big deal about having two feet hedges and empty gardens. Why do people like that? Why do we want to take away the beauty that we are developing in this town? I feel strongly about that. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any, yes, sir. Hey, uh, good evening. Jordan Wachtel, 9381 Abbott. Um, first of all, to the victims, I'm sorry that you guys have to deal with this. I uh, personally think it's a little ridiculous that um, in our town, like uh, the gentleman, I think their attorney was saying, 
We've never seen a building fall. I mean, literally ever. I don't think one person in this room can say it, let alone with 140 people dying in our small little town. And these guys have to sit here and fight to get a couple of bucks in their pocket, which they deserve. I mean, number one is we should have probably not even attempted to change the zoning so they could just have some peace. I mean, I, I, I know some people that died in the Champlain. I know some people that survived. I know that they're still suffering, and now they're sitting here fighting technically for a life. And there's all these organizations that are running out of money. They're not charity people. They don't need our charity. They want what they deserve, which is their property at full value, like everybody else here who wants to sell their house or whatever it is. Um, so I personally think that we should even just stop this meeting, allow them to sell their property as much as they can get. On top of that is, it's right next to the Miami Beach Tower that I think it's 13 stories, 14 stories? 18. 18. I mean, I'm not opposed to letting them build 18 over there. It doesn't affect our community. It doesn't affect our community. It allows them, they didn't do anything wrong with their building. They did absolutely nothing wrong. It fell on them. It wasn't like some guy bought a house and didn't put insurance on his house. The building collapsed on these people. I think they deserve every dollar they can get. And, and truthfully, the way the house prices are going, I don't even know if what they get, they can even stay in our community. These are our community members, these are our families, these are our friends, they deserve every dollar. On top of that, I also think it's a little ridiculous, like this gentleman said, we're sitting here talking about a tower that collapsed, they can't get their money, trees that we have to cut down that make our homes A, beautiful, B, some privacy, and then we're also gonna talk about, I think you guys are cutting, wanna cut the, the building from 4,000 to 2,800 square feet. You guys need to understand, there's a new demographic of people that moved in here. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. You guys are literally cutting down everybody's value in, in what we work for. That we want our house prices to go up, we want our values to go up, and this has got to stop. And I'll, and I'll just say, I'll just say one more thing, is that we are in September, there's a new, we can all vote for new people in the next five months, even if they pass anything. If you guys don't get what you need on your building, wait. Wait to sell it till a new commission comes in, because this is ridiculous already. Thank okay? you so much. Okay. Anybody else? Randy Rose. Yeah, I'm Randy Rose, 8777 Collins Avenue. I own unit 1103, and I was very fortunate that nobody was in my unit at the time of this tragedy. We know why we're, you know, we're here. You know, I do appreciate the time the council is here, an effort that people put in. You know, we agree that we don't agree. And you, you know, Mr. Mayor, you've been involved in real estate for probably 50 years. So you know better than the majority of the people here of what, how different things affect zoning. And um, certain things can be done immediately and other things have to be voted on for a ballot. So certain things I think you can do to help the sale of the property. A developer today, and you would know if you're trying to buy something, you wanna know exactly what can be purchased when I buy it and after I buy it. So we have to think of the year 2024 for new construction on any, you know, it takes a couple of years. We got the rising tides, the global warming. So we have to think of today with the higher values, you're gonna build apartments today, not like 40 years ago with eight foot ceilings. You're gonna have nine foot ceilings or 10 foot ceilings. So it's not just the number of units that, you know, whether it's a coastal line, which other properties have been built most recently using the coastal line and the density. A de person that's gonna be laying out 120, 150, 200 million dollars, he should be the one who's determining what I can build. So whether I wanna put in 10 condominiums or the zoning that it should be 205, that should be up to the person who's laying out the money, but they need to know what they can do. Also, the heights, you know, it's been asked by the honorable judge many a time to the town's attorneys, please explain to us very simple so everybody understands. When you talk 120 feet, which is approximately your 12 stories, you know, what's that include? What's on the roof? And as has been mentioned, the buildings that were built earlier and most recently, 
are roughly 158, 160 feet. So they need to know that they can still have that height. They want to know what their setbacks are from the sides, what can be done, whether you can do a wedding cake or which we don't want. We want to build, have the option to build a building like in the past. You know, Arte that was built, they didn't want to do that, but that was in the code. I owned a, in, in the condominium Winter Gardens before it was purchased. And, I, and now that it was built that way, you know, the only thing that helped then was this COVID pandemic because they had people that needed to come in and buy. So please consider not just this issue that's east of Collins Avenue, we're talking about west of Collins Avenue, all the way on the bay where you live and changing things. This is 205 pages. It's not, I can imagine, I can't imagine that everybody has read it, number one, and if you did read it, you're gonna need to speak to your attorneys and different people, the town planner, to interpret exactly what it is. Thank so, you, Mr. Rose. For right, one other thing I just wanna add. I mentioned before about 88th Street, uh, Street, which is east of Collins, of possibly making a park, and out of that and do partial memorial, and that's something that we could work together with a potential buyer because there's roughly 83,000 square feet of land. Mm -hmm. And if we had to take five or 10,000 square feet, we could swap a little bit out so everybody would be happy at the end. Thank so you. So it's something that can be done more immediately than have to wait to vote on it on a ballot. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Judith Frankel. Hi, Judith Frankel, 9148 Emerson Avenue. I came here tonight mostly to listen um, as the chairperson of the Planning and Zoning Board, but as the person in the room who spent the most time at planning and zoning meetings, I thought I should um, offer my opinion on this topic. Um, aside from everything that you've already heard, I do disagree that this changes and the ZIP need to take place in this district as a whole. Um, as the statement from George and, and Jeff Rose said, there are tweaks that we can make to improve the outcome and the look. People are referring to these buildings as, as wedding cakes. Um, I think that uh, the RT building is beautifully designed by a pr prominent local architect. Um, and I think that's a little bit you know, derogatory to refer to it as a, as a wedding cake. Um, there are other mechanisms besides the zip for making these changes. Um, we can correct small things like the setbacks through the planning and zoning board with the use of our esteemed town planner. Um, and I think this is not the time to make this sweeping change, either for the residents of Champlain Towers or for the, the um, area as a whole. In terms of the hedges, which is I know is the other hot topic tonight, I, I don't think limiting them to two feet makes any sense. Right now it's at four feet, but I think it's a waste of time to have our town code enforcement going around with a measuring tape um, measuring it because then we're just asking them to f start finding people when it's you know two foot one inches, two foot three inches. Um, if you've listened to any of the planning and zoning boards, I have strong opinions about fences and gates and other permanent structures in the front um, of the property and I'm happy to speak on that when we get to that issue. Um, but I do think limiting the hedges and, and other shrubbery to two feet is a bit Excessive. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Well, we're, almost, we're, we're almost done. Uh, anybody else, Sandra? You can you can raise your hand. I'll, I'll yeah, come on up. Hi, Amanda Fabricourt, six hundred ninety four Street. Okay. Past year, it feels so nice to be up here. Welcome back. The past year and a half, I've listened to most of these meetings. And the same thing that kind of comes up over and over again from residents, maybe more like the residential area, the houses, is that we want lifestyle, we are growing, and these lifestyle, you know, kayak launch, underground power lines, which Nelly you know, worked hard for, um, some homelessness has come up, you know, certain things that I brought up to three of you here on the commission that we've spoken about numerous times. And again, we're coming back to this situation again. You guys need to listen to us. And I, had this, I spoke to the mayor this week about it. When it comes to growth, and you, know, you have one or two people that call McMansions and 4,000 square feet and 2,000 square feet, 
we're growing. The town is growing. You see it in the past year and a half alone. This happened after you guys were elected. COVID, Champlain Towers, influx of people moving here. Town, we are not a fisherman town anymore. Times have changed. We are growing. We're a population that is changing. We're a population with so many demographics. We need to cater to them. You guys need to listen to us. If we don't want bushes to feed, please listen. The town is beautiful. Why would you, why would you even put this on a 250-page report? What, what is the purpose of even adding these little things to get us worked up, to waste our night, to come here? Like these are things that all of a sudden just came up and the, it was, let's make things better. You don't like the look of the houses? Let's make the design different. And I spoke to a couple of commissioners and they agreed. Let's change the design. Let's make it look more like, you know, I don't know, somebody said Coral Gables or like maybe the West Coast. But to like say, no, you can't grow anymore. 4,000 square feet, you can't have it on a 2,000 lot. You can't have shrubs that are long and high. And you can't do this and you can't do that. You can't have your kayak launch. And you can't have this. And enough. You need to listen to us. Again, a lot is, I'm going to reiterate, a lot has changed. Let's, let's keep up. Let's listen to us. Listen, listen to everybody here. Same things keep coming up over and over again. Please, I urge you all. Thank you. Thanks, Mandy. Uh, yes. Mary Ann Myshide, 9225 Collins Avenue, the Four Winds Condominium. Uh, and um, I just wanted to um, focus on two issues that affect the value of the property. Um, number one, an arbitrary reduction in height, and number two, an outdated setback modification called the wedding cake. And I too have been attending a lot of the planning and zoning meetings where there's been a lot of talk about this as well. Um, the height limit you are proposing eliminates one story, and that should not happen. Um, we talk about 120 feet, and I, too, live in the Four Winds, which is 159 feet. So, and that's still keeping the skyline of the of Surfside. So I just hope you can keep that into consideration. And <clears throat> number two, the wedding cake. It imposes crazy um, stepped configuration that will limit the flexibility of redevelopment. So please amend the wedding cake in the zoning code. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. May I have one more? Okay. Marcelo Peña. Okay. Evening, Mayor. Good evening. Commissioners, and me. Um, Marcelo Peña, 708 Champlain Tower South. I'm very stunned. I'm a survivor. So is my family. Exactly. Thank Sorry. We are survivors of this tragedy. Uh, we live outside the country. We came here for this meeting. We are very disturbed and stunned about your guys' decision on lowering our square footage. Our building, 136 units, approximately 230, 240,000 square feet, plus amenities and hallways, close to 300,000. Back in the day, everybody talked us about 12 floors. Back in the day, the city of Surfside illegally allowed the 13th floor, which is the penthouse that we have now. So we have 13 floors. We don't want anything less. We want our square footage. It's been several months and nobody from this city has done anything for the survivors and from the wrongful death neighbors that we lost in this tragedy. We urge you to reconsider and give us what is ours. Thank you. Would anybody else like to speak? Okay, then I will uh, close the public portion of the meeting and open it up to the uh, commission uh, Vice Mayor, would you like to fill? Okay, thank you. I actually um, pre prepared a speech I wrote. I, I wasn't planning to attend this meeting, but uh, I came here tonight to uh, listen to everyone here and uh, read the statement and answer any questions. So um, to the families who lost loved ones and the survivors who narrow narrowly escaped and are rebuilding their lives, you're all amazing. 
in your level of strength and determination, having ex experienced devastation and extreme sadness, our hearts remain with you. When you design a new zoning code, it should be new. It should represent the pattern of the neighborhood with a vision for compatibility for the next 10 or more years. Because the new zoning code reverted to back to more than 10 years past, I always had issue with the method of how we arrived at this point. However, the intent of this commission was clear in that we all want to protect what we love about our small town and the character and sense of community that attracts and holds us here. It is important to acknowledge that this commission agreed to amend the zoning code in March 2020. The method was not clear or ideal, and because it is a process that takes time, the outcome is where we find ourselves today, under scrutiny for doing things we thought we were elected to do. Um, from what I've read and heard regarding the potential land sale of Champlain Tower South, ideas to benefit developments are being presented to and contemplated by the Honorable Judge while the receivership representing the Champlain Tower South is a law firm with partners who represent several development projects in Surfside. Regardless of the outcome of the zoning code, it is clear from the land swap idea that the level of interest in the Surfside zoning code goes beyond the situation of Champlain Tower South. The judge and the receivership must remain focused on what the people of Champlain Tower South, the survivors and successors want. They must stop these distractions and listen to the former residents and families because this is about their loved ones who perished and the homeless survivors and not about anything else. Honorable Judge Hansman has the power to stipulate conditions in the property sale that can include the desires of the survivors and successors and the receivership under Mr. Goldberg is obligated to faithfully fulfill their wishes to the best of his abilities. My commission is being asked or pressured to, do up zone, to up zone the land because of this tragedy. While it can be considered spot zoning, the underlying intention is to provide zoning privileges across the board for all developments in the H120 zone, a bonus for all other Surfside development projects under the pretense of benefiting successors and survivors of Champlain Tower South. My interest in what I believe this commission wants is to honor the victims and assist the survivors with as much fairness as we can within our laws. In consideration of the devastating circumstances of the Champlain Tower South uh, structural demise, I would agree to allow the square footage of what was built to be rebuilt or built according to the zoning code prior to March 2020 and any amendments thereof after. The method for measurement of acreage and height must always comply with our town charter. It is with sincere optimism that I ask this commission to agree to Pause the zoning in progress while the new code continues to be evaluated and amended to meet the needs of residents now and in the future. My hope is that Honorable Judge Hansman and the receivership under Mr. Goldberg will work exclusively for the benefit of Champlain Tower South survivors and successors with consideration for the scope of their needs in deciding what is best for them. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. That was, thank you, Vice Mayor. I did not prepare anything written, and everyone knows I say what I think. So some people might not enjoy the way I deliver the message, but my heart's in the right place here. And there's just, I also wasn't planning on being at this meeting. I was actually out attending to a family medical issue out in Denver. But the minute that land swap insanity came out of that judge's mouth, I booked a ticket. Because for me, that just shows that the victims here are being used as a Trojan horse to crack open our code and to exploit the last little bit part of paradise in South Florida. So that is not okay. That is not okay. And that's what the people here, the victims here, my heart goes out to you. We are going to make sure that you get the money for your land and that you're made, you know, as much as, you know, that's not going to bring anything here. That's going to, money is nothing. I've lost my father. I lost loved ones. Money doesn't mean anything, okay? I feel like we've lost the plot. What matters here is what caused this collapse. But I haven't heard a word of the judge about that. I haven't seen any, any motion, any lighting of a fire under anyone's butt to get to what happened here. Because the value of that land is influenced not by our zoning, by what caused that collapse. Because if there's a sinkhole there, that it doesn't matter if we let you put seven billion condos, it won't sell for anything. Okay, that land itself is 98 people lost their lives. 
that impacts the value of the land, not our zoning code. That, by the way, we've had six special meetings and nine workshops, and we couldn't get anyone to come to any of them. They were advertised, we've had this. I didn't want to be doing any of this. I wanted from the very beginning to just fix the loopholes in the current code because there were obvious problems. But that train left the station and I had to get on board and I'm trying to work with what we have here. But the end result is going to be something that does the entire town a service, okay? That preserves Surfside. We're not gonna let this tragedy be the undoing of the entire town of Surfside, okay? So I'm sorry to deliver that bad news to all the developers that are salivating at, at our, at our waterfront properties and going, ah, we're gonna get in there and we're gonna do, someone came up here and said, what's the big deal if we have 18 stories? That's how Sunny Isles became Sunny Isles. It wasn't overnight, it was one building at a time. It was when people took the hands off and said, let the market forces decide. And that's why when you go to the beach in Sunny Isles, you're sitting in the shadow all day long. And that's not what we want. Everyone might say here, you know, let the people build whatever they want there. Well, if you live in a, I live in the residential section. It's not going to bother me if another condo goes up five feet away from your balcony and you can pass the butter between the, between the balconies because we don't have any, any allowance for lighter air or anything. Who wants that? You want a big brick wall? Like you're living in Manhattan staring at the wall of another building next door? Nobody wants that. These wedding cake, you may say, oh, we don't want the wedding cake. That's a bad name for it, okay? But what we need is we need to put in light and air because developers won't do that. They're not interested in winning design awards. They're interested in maximizing profits and a straight line, a straight wall is the most is the cheapest way to build, okay? I, I think that we should allow for the same size building to go in the place of where Champlain was because that was really the flavor of the community. But that's 136 units that were there, I think with the new, you know, the, the child charter specific, specifically was measuring the property to the bulk headline. And what happened with prior commissions that were a little bit too friendly with developers is instead of changing the code, they changed the definitions here. And they said, it's not gonna be the bulk head, it's gonna be the erosion control line, which is basically the ocean. Who measures property to the water? It's not even their water. It's something somebody made up. It's like, I graduated from college in, in 1991, a long time ago, and I bought a dress for an interview suit, and it was a size 10. I'm the same size now, except now, the size 10 is a size four. They just they didn't change anything except the name, okay? And that m enabled them to market this to everyone who thinks, oh, I'm a size four now. It's ridiculous, the same thing here. They just changed the definitions of everything. Oh, uh, it's only 12 stories, but we're gonna exempt and if it's not space where somebody lives in it, then you can have massage rooms up top there, and you can build another floor for a party room, and you can build another floor for this. So somebody who buys a penthouse in a, in a building and expects to have their view, right next door, somebody goes up and puts up a building with two, three, more, four floors because it's not habitable space. It's exempt under some of the loopholes, giant loopholes that were accidentally or purposely put into the prior code. And those are things that need to be addressed, whether it's with a new code or whether it's with closing the loopholes in the current code, but that's what I, why I got involved. This is why I waste my time for a dollar a year to do this, okay? And let me tell you something, whoever said we didn't read this, I've been reading this 200 something page document ad nauseum for a year already, okay? And it's not fun. It's, it's, this is fun for everyone who just comes to one meeting and gets to talk and leave. This is horrible. I mean, it's a nightmare to have to read through this stuff. Okay, but the entire reason why we're doing this is to protect Surfside, to protect everyone with a little slice of paradise. Everyone in the condo building should be on the same page here. We're, tr we're not trying to screw anyone out of a profit. We're trying to protect your quality of life. So I don't agree with the mayor about anything. Everyone knows the drama between the two of us, but we're sitting here on the same page. We're sitting on the same page because we both want to see Surfside not frozen in time, but preserved, preserved so that it's enjoyable for everyone. So people want a vacation here in Surfside. They don't want to go to Sunny Isles, they want to come here. The people who lived in Champlain, the people who lost their lives there chose to live in this town because it's unique. They could have moved to Sunny Isles, they could have moved to Coral Gables, they could have moved anywhere, but they moved here and they bought property here and I have to think it's because this is an amazing, unique town. And this town has been, whoever said that this town hasn't done anything, I, can't, I just, I don't have words for that. This town has been so supportive, okay? The residents, the commission, the town, everyone has just, work selflessly to try to make people whole. But what's gone on here, the reason why that building fell, it wasn't just a mystery. There's reasons why it fell, and that's what we need to find out about. Because you know what? There's enough blame to go around for everyone, all right? 
everyone has a has a share here, including maybe Miami Beach that they built 87 Park, maybe the condo board, maybe the, everybody. And so that's what needs to happen here. Not well, how soon can we get our money? How soon can we get our money? That's all anyone seems to care about. And I feel like I'm living in I, I don't know a parallel universe. And that's why I got on a plane and I came here and I'm sitting here so that I can explain that we're all supposed we're all on the same page except the developers and the attorneys and the receiver who's going to make a big chunk of change from the sale. A big chunk of change. I don't think anyone's doing is he doing this pro bono? I'd like to know that. I'd like to know who's making money at the end of the day because at the end of the day, money is what ruins everything. Okay, and run, my sympathy, when someone said land swap, get up the community center, I've never gotten so many emails within 24 hours. I can't even tell you how many residents started abs outraged about this. How about Bell Harbor shops? Why don't they step up and give them, Bell Harbor shops should swap with them. This is, the whole concept is ludicrous. The memorial belongs in the town of Surfside, as close to that property as possible. That, I would love that property to be a park, but not, not a swap. But that's the right thing to do here. That's the right thing to do. But developers and the market and people want money, that's fine. But we're not going to sell out the entire town because Champlain already took so much from all of our residents. It took so much. It took lives. It took the neighbor, everything. This town, I now live in Surfside. People never heard of it before. Now wherever I go anywhere, they go, oh, where the building collapsed. Who wants to be known for that? It's terrible. Thank but you. I'm not going to let that, that event define the rest of Surfside and take everything else down with it. So we have to be careful about the fine line here. We have to make sure that everyone's made whole, that you get to rebuild. I would love for the judge to stipulate that they have to make apartments affordable in there. I said this back in February in the zoning code, and anyone can watch the videos if they want. I do not agree with the drastically reduced density because I do, I do not want a bunch of bazillionaires coming and parking their money here. I want neighbors. I want people to send their kids to the schools, to buy, run into them at Publix. I want a community. That's why I moved here. And I would love for the new developer to come in and build apartments that normal people can afford. But we can't legislate that. I would love the judge to stipulate that that's what has to happen and that former residents get first bite. Former residents should get to the front of the line on purchasing a unit in there if they want to. Thank, okay? thank you, Eliana. So I, I really want to, I just, it's so upsetting. I have a lot to say on other issues in this code here, but I want to clear up that false narrative that's going around here. We are, this is not an, a pro de, overdevelopment. I mean, th there's a lot of bad things I can say about the mayor. He's not a pro developer. He's not trying to like, you know, every time you put 200 more units in a building, you're adding 400 more cars to Collins Avenue. How does that impact your quality of life, right? Anytime you do something, there's a butterfly effect and we have to consider that this whole way. Okay, so there are things, and money's important, and we want the families to get their money, but, but there, there are, have to be reasonable limits here. We did not start this zoning code to screw up a particular building or, or to, to undo something in the neighborhood, okay? We, we did this because this is what, what residents wanted. They wanted to see an end of giant, like the, like the surf club, right? The longest building in the history of Surfside. It takes up many, many blocks. That is because the prior zoning code forgot to include a maximum building length. They coincidentally left it out, right? That doesn't seem like an accident to me. Th thank you, Eliana. Okay, um, so can we hear from? Yeah, uh, we can hear from everybody else. I have I have pages to go here, so. And we'll give you another chance. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, uh, Commissioner. I first want to. Um, thank you for the help. <laughs> thank you. Uh, say how sorry I am for all your loss, and I cannot even begin to imagine how you all are feeling. This is uh, something that is unimaginable. Um, I agree with a lot of what my colleagues have said, and I just want you to know that we're not here to hurt anybody, and especially not the families of the Champlain Towers. We're here to make sure that you guys are whole. Uh, there's things that we may be able to agree with, and there's things that we may not. Um, I agree with rebuilding the building with the same exact units that it had originally. Um, certain things that you might want or, for example, the swap is something that's definitely, I, I can't agree to that. I mean, the community center was put in its place. It's the center of our town. It's the most valuable thing we have as residents here. And we represent the entire town, not just one, one portion of it. We represent more than 6,000 residents. And we have to make sure that everybody is taken under consideration. 
of every decision that we make. Um, but I, I heard all your voices and I heard all your concerns and believe me that we will make sure that you are all whole. And we're not here to fight with you. We're not here to make um, demands or, or uh, things that are gonna hurt your property. And um, so I just wanna make that clear because it was very hard to hear a lot of people here. Like these are things that we've been discussing for a year and a half. Never in our wildest dreams did we ever think that on June 24th we'd wake up with a news like this. Never. And never did we do this or whatever we've been trying to accomplish in our zoning code to ever hurt anyone. All we want to do is make sure, like Eliana said, that we don't have overdevelopment, that we don't have over density of cars and, and overloading our um, sewer lines and our um, and our streets that, by the way, are already full of uh, speeders and all this other stuff. We want to make sure our town stays the way it is with that beautiful essence of a beach town that we are in the middle of a huge city. So, I mean, this, what we have is a piece of paradise and we want to make sure that it stays that way. And like I said, we've never <laughs> been trying to do anything to hurt anyone. Um, I heard the residents that talk about the hedges and I agree with you. I don't, th I, I don't even understand how anybody could think that cutting down hedges is the right thing to do. First of all, hedges beautify our town. And the funny thing is here that we talk about uh, resiliency and sustainability and um, environment, yet we want to cut down hedges. I've never supported this and will never support this. Okay, I don't see why our residents that live in our corners cannot, ha or even the residents in the, in the inner lots cannot enjoy the privacy of their front yard or the, specifically the corners that can't enjoy their yard because that's all they have is a small piece of a yard. And a hedge, a beautiful hedge makes our town looks beautiful and gives out oxygen, beauty, I can't understand why some people in this commission want to cut that down. And on that day, I was not here. And this was brought up again when we had already discussed this. This was something that was laid to rest many years ago. And I don't, that part I just don't understand. And I urge the commissioners that have brought this to the table to reconsider their thoughts and see that how many residents are here fighting for their hedges and fighting for their land and fighting for the things that they believe that makes their quality of life. Because someone, for example, Tina, you live in a building that doesn't affect you at all. And Eliana, I don't understand how that affects you because it beautifies our streets. I'd rather walk down a street that's beautiful, full of hedges and trees and, and flowers than walk down a street that's bare and has nothing. I mean, look, someone talked about Coral Gables. Coral Gables is beautiful. Pinecrest is beautiful. I mean, these are areas that are full of trees and hedges and, and people have their privacy. I don't see what there is a problem with privacy. Some people may not care if they don't want you to wave at them or whatever, you know, they want their privacy and that's what this is all about. Um, but. Like I said before, I want to make sure that you understand all that we're not here to hurt anyone. And that's all I have to say for now. Thank you, Commissioner. Okay, uh, I'll chime in on that hedges thing to start. Um, I'm the one that brought it to the attention of this commission and I was supportive of, un of unlimited hedges. So um, it's, uh, you know, this, this, this business is a business of compromise. And uh, when you get up here, uh, the object of the game is to try to see the other point of view and try to work towards a solution that works for everybody. And, uh, you know, I, I too, I, I agree that, uh, you know, if, if you drove through Surfside and all you saw was beautiful green hedges, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, so, uh, and, and, and fences and gates for that matter too. I think that I, uh, I put fences, gates, and hedges on, on, the, uh, on the agenda and I think that, uh, Certainly, you know, we don't want to have the wild west of fences, gates, and hedges, but uh, I certainly think that the Planning and Zoning Board 
could opine and make sure that everything that we do is compatible with our town. In any event, that's that was uh, that's the hedges thing. So uh, just so everybody's uh, clear on that. Now the second part is uh, this business about the zoning code and the notion that this town is here to hurt anybody. Okay, that's not what's going on. What's been going on is uh, over the past 10 years, um, we had elected officials that could not say no to developers. And for 10 years, they revised the code and revised the code and revised the code and revised the code. Every time somebody came for a favor, they revised the code. So that's what we had. And that's what we had when we were running. And we all could look at the skyline, uh, notwithstanding what some have said about the skyline, it is getting higher, it is getting bigger, the buildings are getting bulkier, and it's because they've very cleverly designed the code so it's hard to understand. And one of the things that I did as mayor is I said, listen, when I was the mayor, before my commission changed the code, because you know my commission, when I left 10 years ago, changed the code. And they started this mess. And I was the only guy that voted against it at that time. Okay, so, you know, I was proud of that. And, uh, you know, what we had from that point on was 10 years of more and more and more until we got to the point where all of us ran pretty much. And we said, it's enough. You know, we're not, I said in my campaign, we're not going to Sunny Isles a vacation Surfside. We're not going to do to Miami Beach what Miami Beach politicians did, okay? Which is cram as many people as possible and never say no to any development. It just got bigger and bigger and bigger with no respect for the quality of life. And now they're paying the price. They're paying the price. And they've lost control and you've seen what happens. Now you've got so many people down there and you've got a compounding of mobs that come down there for holidays and now people are dying. Okay, I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but you know what? We care about quality of life in Surfside. We care about our families. We care about the people that lived in Champlain Town South. You know, and not yet, not yet. So, you know, it was it was that that was going on over the past two years. That's how we got to this point. My colleagues are right. No one could have ever imagined that that building would fall down. And you know what? We need to find out why that building fell down. Nobody seems to be very interested in that, folks. Okay? Everybody seems to be moving away from that question. Nobody wants to know. Okay? They've hired, they've hired you know, a government agency which has said they're going to take years to figure it out. Okay? But I can promise you, if another building falls down tonight, it's going to be the end of the world for a lot of people. Because we in Surfside have been screaming that we need to get in there and find out. We've got a preeminent expert on staff. We've been blocked at every turn. And it's just, it's just, it's a huge question mark in my mind, but I'm getting off the subject. So we've been working, we've been working for two years to try to put together a code that would be acceptable to the residents. And the way we did it, the way I proposed it, was A, we were going to take the code that worked in Surfside for years and years and years before my commission changed it. We had a beautiful little community. We had appropriately sized buildings. They didn't get too big. They weren't built too long. It was lovely, okay? And, and Champlain South was one of them. So the idea was to take the old code that was safe, and we all knew what was in it. It worked. We didn't have to read every word. We just knew it worked because we knew it had worked. It was obvious. It was evident. So we took that, I took that, and presented that as the basis for the new code. And then I said, hey, listen, is there anything good in that new code that's been put together over the past 10 years? And everybody came to the meetings and said, you know what, there's a few things that are good in that code. And we'd like to layer them on top of that old code, which was a protective code. And what happened was each one of those items was adjudicated by this commission. And what we did was we decided as a group which ones of those suggestions should go on top of that safe zoning code that we had for all those years. So what happened was we added those things. And then the last part was we had some commissioners and elected officials that wanted some extra stuff. 
They wanted some stuff that hadn't been in the old code, that hadn't been in the new code, and those were things they thought were gonna be helpful to make the code overall really good. So what we did was we had that on top of that second part. So now we had the old code that was safe that everybody had lived with for years and years. We had the best of the new code and we had the new stuff that we as a group sort of decided to put in. And now what we've got is a draft of that. Now in between the building fell down and people were quick to say they're coming after us. This zoning code is designed to hurt us. That is so far from the truth, it's outrageous. It makes me want to scream. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting a little angry right now just thinking about it because it hurts. That's not what happened. It's just like somebody who got up a little while ago and said Surfside did nothing for the people of Champlain Towers. Absolutely Surfside. Absolutely nothing. Rick Clark. Okay. There you go. Okay, listen, I, I, listen, with all due respect, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Absolutely. Okay? That hurts. It hurts. Okay. That, people die. That hurts. Listen, again, sir, I'm going to ask you not to interrupt, please, okay? Sure. Thank you. So, we did not do anything in our deliberations to hurt anybody, okay? What we did was we tried to come up with a code that was gonna make quality of life in Surfside unparalleled. Now, I will tell you from my perspective, and then I'm gonna answer a couple of questions that were raised. I'm gonna tell you where I stand on this and where I've always stood, okay? And that is, is we were never asked as a group until tonight, before we were accused of doing some pretty bad things by a few people, okay? What our positions were with respect to the Champlain Towers. Tonight's the night for us to tell you, and I'm about to tell you what my position's always been, okay? My position's been, we wanna make sure that they have everything they had before the building fell down, okay? That's fair. We wanna make sure that we don't take anything away, okay? But we're not here to add, to increase, to embellish, but we are here to make sure that we do the right thing, and that is, is to make sure that the, the size of the building and whatever could be built and whatever was there can be recreated. Now, the question is gonna be, how do we get to that point? And that's gonna take a little bit of talking, okay? But that's where I'm headed. That's my goal. And that's what I wanna do because that, you know, the Champlain Towers was an example of the type of building that we need in Surfside, mm -hmm. okay? That's exactly what we've been shooting for. So there's no disconnect there. There's some people that want to make it seem like there's a disconnect, but there's no disconnect, okay? So that's, that's that. Now, um, Neeson, you said that the height differences on the buildings is so minimal, it's imperceptible. I disagree. It's perceptible. It's perceptible. You know, the residents, while I was campaigning, looking at the buildings that have been built, it's perceptible. And it's also perceptible because buildings that were built on tiny lots recently could never have been built on those tiny lots. So it's perceptible, okay? And that's, you know, the other thing is, is you sort of imply that, uh, you know, we're trying to, you know, be uh, unresilient with respect to our design. That's, that's, that's not correct either. Um, nobody ever said that we expected the buildings to be lower. We just said we didn't want them to go higher, okay? And you know very well that just means that the envelope gets a little smaller. That's what it means. That's the truth, okay? So you, you have to build your building to the proper level at the base level, but we don't want the buildings going up because the base goes up. That's been our whole push all along, and that's what we want to stop. It's that incremental, that stuff that happened in Miami Beach. You know, Miami Beach, I was born and raised there. You probably were too, were you? Okay, all right, so listen, you and I are kids. We're Miami Beach kids. And but for someone bringing me a beautiful, amazing house in Surfside, I'd be on the commission probably in Miami Beach making trouble, okay? But it just happens that I landed here. But the point is, is Miami Beach has been destroyed by overdevelopment. You can't drive there, you can't move there, you can't park there, you can't go to the beach there. 
It's terrible. People who live in Mid Beach don't go to South Beach because they don't want to deal with it. It's disgusting. And it's the same in Sunny Isles, as my colleague said. You don't see the sun until 1 o'clock. You know, and that's great for developers. I understand there's business, but you know what? Someone said, I'm a developer, and I'm, what do you own? In I own my house at Surfside. That's it. I own my house at Surfside. I live here. My son lives here. We, we, we love it. I don't want it to change, and it's not going to change. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, you know, maybe I get, maybe in March I'm not here anymore, okay? But as far as I'm concerned, and as long as I'm here, it's not going to change. The quality of life is going to be rule number one for Miami Beach. And we're not going to do it like my, I mean, for Surfside. We're not going to do it like Miami Beach. We're not going to do it like Sunny Isles. And we're not going to do it like anybody else, quite frankly. We're Surfside, and we're going to do it like Surfside does it. Um, Jeff Platt, he said that uh, there's been no mega development on the ocean. I disagree. Over the last 10 years, there's been mega development on the ocean. I was at the surf club today. It's too big as far as I'm concerned. It's about 25%. It's a beautiful building. It's a lovely restoration. But you know what? I think it's too big. So, okay, that's not the point. Again, do not, Mr. Platt, please. Okay, I'm not addressing you. I'm addressing your comments. I'm not addressing, I'm not asking you any questions. Okay, Mr. Rose. Um, Mr. Rose, you said developers ought to be able to do what they want with their own property. Okay, and again, I, I think that to an extent that's true, but we are charged with putting zoning guidelines in place. Okay, we've got a charter that specifically limited and restricted development for the very purpose of not allowing elected officials to come in and change the zoning code willy-nilly and get something done that's bad, okay? I think that we have a responsibility and a duty to make sure that we put rules in place that set the guidelines for the types of developments we want, okay? And I think that it's a, I think I'm safe to say it's a quality versus quantity position on this uh, a, a dais, and that's the way I think it wants, it's gonna be. I think uh, Ms. Frankel, Judith, you, uh, you mentioned that you're not supportive of the new zoning code or the zoning in progress. I would disagree. And I would say that, you know, you know it's, it's, it's the last 10 years that got us into trouble, and it's not easy unwinding all that, okay? But that's what I'm gonna try to do. And, you know, while you may think that uh, these changes are not important, I mean, bringing down the height, bringing down the density, bringing down, the set, you know, creating the setbacks so we, get, we end up with more beautiful buildings, dealing with the residential lots, dealing with the landscaping, dealing with the hedges, all of those things are part and parcel to the discussions, okay? There are a lot of things in there that some will like and some will not like. So that's, that's kind of the way it works. Lastly, Mandy, um, you mentioned that there are changes in town, and you're right, town is changing. It's growing. It's growing, and that's good. And you know, you know and, and, and you and I agree on a lot of things, okay? But with respect to the notion that people should be able to come into town and buy a, 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 a nice size house on a smaller lot and knock that house down and build a much, much larger house that dwarfs the neighbors and is not compatible with the other homes that are in that area, I object. I just think, listen, if you, okay, if you want a big house, you buy a big lot. If you buy a small lot, you build a smaller house. Okay, okay, okay. But that's, you know, again, Listen, we'll have that discussion, but the bottom line is, is that it does, it makes sense to me. Okay, again, we're not having that discussion, but anyway, that is where we stand. So, right now, I think that uh, we've, we've addressed, unless the commission, do you want to go around again? Do you have any more comments that you'd like to make? Go ahead. Okay, so we can go around one more time, and then, then, then what I want to do is I want to get to the agenda. I didn't want the families, sir, you're welcome to come up and speak if you wanted to. Um, we closed the public session, yeah, I, but I, I saw you waiting, so go ahead. Just, I will. One brief question, Sean Kuhn, uh, 9273 Collins. Yeah. We heard from the two commissioners. Where do the mayor and vice mayor stand on the uh, land swap issue? Okay, thank Please. you. Thank you. Uh, vice mayor? Uh, I, th I thought I addressed it in my speech, but um, essentially, no. I mean, it's a crazy idea. Uh, it did not come from this commission. I don't think anyone sitting here agrees to it. 
Um, bad idea, it's on many levels. I, I don't know if I need to go into that, um, but yeah, of course not. Okay, I, you know, listen, I, I, I was, uh, you know, I didn't see how it was good for Surfside, and I don't see how it's good for uh, the Champlain Towers uh, survivors. Um, but having said that, um, the issue really is uh, that is a question for the voters because there can be no property sold in town without a vote of the residents. But are you saying that you support that? Well, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying that it, you know personally, I don't think it's workable. Okay, but I would support the notion. Listen, if 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 the residents want to opine on that, I listen. I'm very big on letting residents decide issues like this. You know, I was very big. I, I'm not afraid of allowing residents to make that decision on a lot of things. There are some commissions that don't want the residents to speak on issues. That's not me. But anyway, I hope that answers your question. Thank you. I'll, okay. I'll answer ahead. that too. Um, we, the whole reason why we all ran for office and why we got elected is because there was a, P, I don't know if you're familiar with the P3 big disaster of the prior commission, remember that? So Surfside land is not for sale, and sale doesn't mean money, it also can be swap, I'm not doing it. So um, it sounds like the mayor is a little wishy-washy on that, but the, the three of us, for sure, are very clear with a no. And in order for the, and you know, Commissioner Castle's not here either, but I'm pretty sure he would, well, we you know. Three, yeah, three. we only need three, but, yeah, I don't know what Commissioner Castle would say. But it's, it's wrong on so many levels. It, it just really showed me, spoke to me about what they really want here. And by they, I mean developers, not the victims, not the Champlain people. I feel like they were, you know, being used there. But that land belongs to every Surfside resident. That is the centerpiece for generations of the community. It is our pride and joy. It is brand new. It is beautiful. It is located right in the middle of town so residents from either side can get to it. Um, it, is not, it is not on the block for any, at any price. It's absolutely not happening. And then, and then one last question. Even if well, you got to come up, sir. Sir, you, 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 you Sorry said, yeah, that, Sorry I, hold that. on, folks. And, and, well, hold on a second, folks. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. I, I apologize. I should have asked earlier. And if you did agree, it would still have to go to a town vote, correct? Yeah. Okay. In, in order for it to even go to a town vote, you would need a super majority of commissioners yeah, to say, commissioners. you would need not, four, you would need a super majority. You would need four, four commissioners. Four is a super majority. No, you, it isn't okay. because if there's three here, a super majority would be okay. two. You would need Guys, four. Don't, don't fight about you that. would need four commissioners to say what a great idea, She's correct. and then we'd have to have an election in town. And okay. judging by the emails that I got within 24 hours of this even being out there, that would pit, you know, which we don't want. It would pit residents against survivors. That's not a game we want to play. Okay. But developers know that chaos works for them. Okay, Eliana, no, go you'd ahead. also you need 60 percent of voters to say yes. Right. It's not just the four commissioners, it's 60% of the voters would have to say yes. Eliana, go ahead with your uh, additional comments and then we're gonna go around the room. I just wanted uh, to add to that. Did you wanna add to that? Yes, I did. Okay, go uh, ahead. Um, uh, the uh, charter amendment that passed recently is to allow no, no land sales without, as was explained, without uh, four of the commissioners voting for it to go on the ballot. Aside from that, to if if we were to consider that, if we, not that we are, <laughs> um, it's also zoned for municipals, so the zoning has to change. And we've been told, don't change your zoning. And this is, so, you know, we're being asked, you know, that's, and that's also what raised suspicion with me when this, when I heard the land swap idea, okay, I said, well, who's operating in the best interest of the Champlain Towers survivors and, and successors, you know, because um, this isn't good for them. It's not really good for anybody, except a developer who would be able to purchase the property next to the community center and then build on the community center. And I think that's where this came from. So, um, but yeah, it would, it would require a zoning change of the property itself because it's zoned for municipal. Okay, let's move on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Eliana, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I, I just wanted to add, because uh, I didn't get, to, I have a lot to say, obviously, on all these issues. Um, I w what we need to do is put, people come to move to Surfside for a reason, because it is a specific type of community. It's. It doesn't sit well with me when someone moves here and goes, I love it, I want to raise my family here, but why don't we have sidewalks and why don't we have gates and hedges and rooftop decks and all kinds of things? Well, there are other communities when you're shopping around with your realtor that you can look at. If these things are important to you, then you can go move there. I have, my brother lives in, in, 
in uh, Bay Harbor, and he's got a wonderful gate, and let me tell you something, that thing's always off the track. It's like chalk on the blackboard every single time it opens. Oh yeah, I'm getting it fixed. Oh, it broke again. That is a disaster, okay? This town, the houses are right on top of each other. For me, the, the, and I, the, the two foot hedge was a joke from the beginning, okay? This two foot hedge was like a last minute compromise by, I think it, I don't even know, I think Commissioner Kessel at the time. Okay. Uh, somebody, no, no, it was Kessel, I think. It doesn't matter, the, the point is. I agreed I didn't propose it Yeah, it was all. not, it was, I don't believe it was the vice mayor. But for me, the, listen, the reason why I'm not a fan of hedges is because. Okay, guys, we're losing control, hold on, hang on a second. Okay, listen. If anybody needs to talk, I would ask them to please go outside and give respect to the speakers. Mr. Rose, you can sit down for a minute because we're going to hear from the commission and then we're probably going to get into the agenda. Okay. This is about the Champlain Tower stuff still. Okay. So not the, the agenda. I got all the notes here, but later. Well, thank you. Go ahead, Eliana. Okay. So for me, for hedges is a safety issue because if right now hedges are allowed to be four feet. Okay. So you want to keep the four foot hedges we have now? That's fine. But the problem is that people don't do the right thing and keep their hedges trimmed. And so they'll be growing over the stop signs. And then we have a cat that gets killed or a kid that almost gets killed. And then everyone's all upset. And we can't, we have like maybe two and a half code enforcement people. And the poor, they can't walk around making people cut their hedges. And they won't do it and they won't trim it. So it's, you know, it's kind of like when you have a teenager and they blow through curfew so many times. You go, you know what? You're not going out anymore when you don't come home. And for me, that's what's happened. Because I keep seeing these emails from residents, the stop signs being obscured. My cat got killed, all these sob stories. Well, what happens when everyone has 10-foot hedges and you're trying to back out of your driveway? You can't see a bicyclist or a kid or a dog or anything until you're in the streets. This, you have to be able to look over your shoulder and see, right? If the hedges are 20 feet high, you can't see anything. And then when someone gets killed, you all will be back in here screaming about, ah, the safety and this and that, whatever it is. Okay, so that for me, as someone who has little kids, and unfortunately someone who's covered stories where the kid gets run over in the driveway, and you know, these things happen. So for me, that's what it's about. But and but if, if hedges are so important to everyone, then state your four foot that, you're, that we have currently. No one needs to make it down. I'm not, I don't care. No one wants a two foot hedge. No one's ever gonna enforce it. No one's gonna go out there with a thing going, hey, your hedge is too high. But we do have to have reasonable precautions. I have, for me, a deal breaker, uh, gates, fences, not happening. That changes the community forever. It's noisy. It's, it, it changes Surfside from an open, friendly, like, to me, it's like a kibbutz. That's why I moved here, you know? I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but that's what I love about Surfside. I don't want it to be this, like, snooty, like, oh, the gates have to open. You can't see who's in there. And that, that to me, is not a neighborhood I want to live in. And for me, everyone sits around going, oh, we want privacy with our hedges. Well, if you allow rooftop decks, you don't have any privacy at all. So you can't sit here and be an advocate and say, we want hedges for privacy and we also want rooftop decks. Because once you have rooftop decks, there's zero privacy. So for me, rooftop decks are a deal breaker and I'm sorry to poop on your party, but that's not happening because I already know what rooftop decks is. It's just a recipe for neighbors to be calling the police on each other all the time. So for me, that's not gonna happen. And I do agree that if you buy a small piece of land, you put a reasonable house on it. We don't want to live in, if I wanted to live in a zero lot line community, I could have gotten a lot more house for my money out in the middle of who knows where in Florida. You can buy a million kind of houses like that, right? Where you can literally walk, reach out the window and go, here's the butter, okay? That's not what we want in Surfside. We want to have some setbacks. We want to have light, we want to have air, we want to have a community. And so that's what we need to do is to strike the balance between personal private interests. Can't always be about me, 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 okay? It has to be about the neighborhood and what's best for everyone. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Uh, listen, I, are we, uh, do you, anybody else want to make comments before we get to the, to the workshop? All right. Okay. No, I just want to say that, um, you know, I agree definitely with the rooftop decks. I don't want to see, I, I'm big on the privacy situation. And one thing is a balcony, a totally different thing is putting a rooftop deck on a second floor. If you're going to put it on, well, technically, if you have a, a one-story house and you put it, my house has a rooftop. It was there when I bought the house. But it's a one-story house. So it's kind of like if it was a balcony on a second story, sort of. It's a rooftop, yes. It was there. I didn't put it myself. A different story is taking a two-story house, and then you want to put a rooftop deck, which makes it a three-story house. So that's where I have an issue. My issue is not with a balcony. My issue is with the third floor and a rooftop on the third floor. The hedges, I don't. I, I think we need to differentiate between the inner lots and the corner lots. 
corner lots should have that privacy because they don't have a backyard. And to they at the moment, I believe that they have up to six feet of um, hedges, correct, um, uh, Deb? I think it's six feet. In 2014, that's what was promised to us, and that uh -huh. there would be hardship corners. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So okay. So Tony, whatever. Um, but then at that at this moment, we're trying to tell people that now you're going to have your hedge at two feet or four feet when at four feet people can still peer into your backyard and you have no privacy. Again, I feel that the hedges are something that beautifies our town, whether they're four feet or six feet. And if, if I think our code enforcement are very capable of seeing which blocks have hedges that are too big that are blocking the stop signs and, and stuff like that. I mean, our town is one mile. It's not that big. Uh, and they are in vehicles, they're not walking around our town, so it's not that difficult to go to every single block and make sure that the residents that are on that block have their trimmed trees so that they're not blocking the stop sign that people cannot see. Um, but to limit people's privacy is really not, not a good idea, and I don't support that at all. Okay, very good. Okay, so we can, you wanna go? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just would like to say that, uh, well, I'd like to thank um, Tony, our attorney who worked on the zoning code. I've not had time to review this latest version of it. I did read the previous version and gave them a lot of my feedback. I'm really interested in hearing what the Planning and Zoning Board has to say about the zoning code and the town planner. We've not had a joint meeting with the Planning and Zoning Board, which is one of the reasons I feel the code still needs more work. Um, what I would like to say, though, is I think that uh, we should really finish the discussion about the Champlain South because I think people are waiting to hear where we stand on that. And uh, that's part of the reason why I came tonight, uh, not so much to review the zoning code because I'm more interested in more feedback from the residents. We got feedback on the hedges, which is a good thing. Um, there's other items in there. And, and just um, respectfully what the mayor said about the adding in things from the current code uh, I added in what I could remember that was missing, but I'm sure there are other elements that are missing that were not added back in that were good, and that is what concerned me about the, all the mixing of the different codes. So um, okay. if we can get back to the conversation at Champlain South, I think that would benefit well, well, the people here. Well, well actually, I think that uh, that's going to be part and parcel to our discussions because that <laughs> all is incorporated now. I think we understand how they feel. And now we've got to get down to the business of <laughs> trying to get this code out the door. Now, if we can't do that, if we can't do that, then we can't do that. But, you know, that's what we're here for tonight. Well, it's not a question of whether we can or we can't. The question is that right now um, people are in limbo and the code still has to go through more review. It has to go to planning and zoning. It has to come back to us. Uh, we have to review it. We have to get more resident input, which we don't have. And it's important, as you okay. see, with the hedges, you don't want to pass something that you know people don't aren't aware of until it affects them. This happened to me on the previous commission where we tried to change, um, you know, to avoid the McMansions. We tried to put more of a setback on larger lots, and all of a sudden, people that had lived here for 20 years were coming into the meetings saying, "What the heck, you, what the heck did you do?" And, and we had to um, recall that. You know, we took that back. Okay. Well, I, I, I again, I hold on a second. I respectfully disagree with that. Uh, we've had. 14 meetings, we've had, every one of them has been public. You know, we, it's, there is no lack of disclosure, there is no lack of input, I'm, I'm talking, there's no lack of anything. So you may want to take the position that nobody knows nothing, um, but the bottom line is, and, and that may be a reason for, you know, not wanting to see it happen, but as far as I'm concerned, we've all been here We've had lots of public meetings. We've had workshops. This has been on the agenda since day one. And, uh, you know, listen, if you don't vote for it, you don't vote for it. But tonight we're doing a workshop, and we're going to go through the issues. And a lot of those issues are going to relate to the Champlain Towers people, and that's what we're going to do. That's what the meeting was called for. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, go yes ahead. but I, I, one second, I Tina. I, I agree with Tina. I think that there's a lot of issues that are here and I don't wanna scrap the zoning in progress because we've spent a lot of time and money on this situation. What I'd like to do is to make sure that the things that are concerned for the Champlain Tower residents and survivors um, are 
address tonight. That's what because we're trying to do. That, uh, tonight we're not going to address that. Tonight we're going to be saying, okay, I agree on this, I agree on that, no, but no, no, we're no, not no. really going to give them peace of mind so that the minute that they walk away from this meeting, they know what their building, well, Nelly, what their Nelly, lot stands for first of all, and what they can. But, but excuse me, I didn't interrupt you when no, you talked. No, talking, but I'm here, Charlie. but you're, but you're but not. But why do you, I get interrupted? Because you're not displaying, the cr relaying the correct information. There is no final outcome tonight. Tonight is a yes, discussion. Is the no, no, it's a, no, it's not. This is a workshop. There are no votes. There is no final outcome. What we're trying to do is go through the issues, and I think we should go through the issues that relate to the building. Okay, but and and again, let's pick them out. I'm 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 totally comfortable with picking out the issues that relate to the building. We can do those first because the folks want to hear what's going on with that. Tony, as a matter of fact. You can probably identify those that would have. There's a lot of hidden issues, and, Mr. And Mayor. And okay, in there. listen, Jeff. Zoning you gotta, in progress. You, again, you could retroactively. Jeff, you got to sit down. Jeff, no. you got, because I've been waiting, and you Chief, said you want to call again. Chief, I'd like to know why Chief, you hide behind the charter. Listen, listen Jeff. It's pretty sit, interesting. Sit down. You please. said this is you're open to a public. You're, you're out of order. Are you going to call the public? Sit down. Are you going to call the public? Or are we going to go one Chief, by line by line? Ask him to sit down, please. You ask me, I'll do it. I respect you. Thank you. All right. Now. Tony, may, may I, if I yeah, can just well, say, in a second, Tony, I identify those issues. Commissioner Salzhauer hasn't spoken yet. Okay, I, so I just wanted to reply to what you said. Um, you had stated that we've hel held a lot of workshops, which we did, but we never had as many people in the room. We had the same three people okay, every time. Okay, guys, listen. There was no feedback. Okay. Now, can we get on the meeting with the meeting? Yes. Um, I just want to say I am. I feel like this, um, I'll just, it's great that everyone's interested and it's like, wonderful to have public input here, but we're not going to be derailing or take, I certainly am not getting rid of the zip until we have something else in place. Because if you get rid of the zip, the, the prior code has giant gaping loopholes in it that allow for manipulation and outcomes that residents are not happy with. So we cannot take our hands off of the wheel until we have something else in place. If we were to say tonight, or we can't make, here, this is a workshop, so that's why what the mayor's saying is that we can't vote on anything tonight. So no one is gonna walk away from tonight with the, oh, here's what's now the new law. Tonight we're talking, we're just talking about ideas. We cannot vote on things. But what, what needs to be clear is we're not going to, if we took away the zip, if we hypothetically did that, Tomorrow, every developer, anyone who owns anything would file plans to, to build some monstrous thing and then they get grandfathered in. Okay, they know Eliana, that. listen, you're, you're right. And by the way, all the developers know that and that's why they want it sure, to go away. Sure, sure, but, okay, but, but let me make it clear that we are yeah. not, I am not voting to remove any kind of zip. Right, right, no, but I appreciate that, okay. thank you. But I do, I do agree with the Vice Mayor that I'd like to have a joint workshop with the PNZ board. I listen, think that would be very listen, helpful. Listen, I, I, nobody disagrees with that, yeah. okay? And the fact of the matter is, is let's get through what we've got now is a draft. And we've got a draft that includes all of our input and it includes consensus items that have been agreed to by a majority. So let's go through those and reaffirm those and let's pick out the ones that may uh, pertain to the Champlain Towers and talk about that also in the context of how it's gonna affect Champlain Towers and get something done tonight, okay? Let's not keep going around in circles. Let's get something done, okay? Sure. Now, let's start at the top. Um, let me first ask, because Tony, you're gonna pick those things out that, are, that we don't have to address issues that nobody has a problem with, okay? That's number one. So commissioners, elected officials, no, listen, listen to me. This is, I think this is the best way to do it. Instead of going through every single item all over again, okay? If you've got an issue with any of the items, let's pull it out and we'll talk about it and we'll go through that and then we'll go to Tony's list with the Champlain Towers thing. As a matter of fact, we'll do the Champlain Towers thing first because the folks are here and they wanna hear it, they don't wanna stay too late and I don't wanna keep them here. Go ahead. Uh, the only reason to go through the items is because I feel like even though we've had so many public workshops. So many. Yeah, so many, it really, it has been a lot, like 16 or 17, 16. I don't even know how many. Yeah, a lot of time, okay? Um, I, I feel like this is the first time people are hearing it, and there's this misconception out there that somehow right. the Listen, changes Eliana, that we're it's making. Fine. It's fine, it's fine. Listen, if you wanna do that, we can do that. I don't, I think people have Because I it. think what people, no, I think what people need to hear is 
this is what the new code does, and here's why we're doing it. That's, that's fine. Okay, it's just it just makes it much easier for people Listen, to understand. It, it, it doesn't bother me if we do it like that. I, you know, again, I think I outlined it in my open about what exactly we've done and where we came from and where we're at, but we can go through all those things. So, Tony, which are the items that could potentially affect Champlain? And then let's see what the commission can do with that. Okay, I, I think there are three, uh, primarily three, nine, right. 10, and 11. All right. If you let's, look on that, on the list. Yeah, hold on. Yep. Commissioners, let's find a few. Walk you. through the three of them. Okay, and nine is setbacks for 120? Right. Okay. So, so this is this is providing an, a, an additional option to developers. Right now. Now let me, let me, before you go into that, let me just say, this is an item that I had put this was one of my suggestions because what this was supposed to do is give developers additional abilities to make beautiful buildings on the ocean rather than just triangularly shaped buildings or rectangularly shaped buildings. Um, I think there's a lot of support for this, so much so I think that uh, the vice mayor has put it on the agenda is gonna try to bring it up as a separate item, which is good except that there are probably a lot of other separate items that we should bring up too quickly. But in any event, let's go through that. Why don't you take us through that? Sure, sure. So right now, as, as you said, there's, there's what, what we specially call the, uh, or not so specially call the wedding cake, okay, which is an inclined plane, and you must build a building within that envelope. Okay. Is your mic on? This is, Can you yes. explain why we came up with it and what it accomplishes? Just people don't understand sure. what it is. Sure. So the, the the purpose of the inclined plane is to provide more daylight, okay? Um, basically, to taper buildings into the property so they don't impact properties next to them. Um, so that, that was the idea behind this. Now, this is providing, what number nine does is provide a separate option, okay? Uh, to develop, it, it retains the wedding cake if you wanna develop under that wedding cake, okay? Under that provision. But this provides a separate option with a little bit of increased setback Okay, and then there's an average setback concept, which is basically you take, there's additional area of the building that you take from anywhere you want on either side of the building, okay? So you basically can carve out the building however you like, but you have a general envelope to work within. But the bottom line is it gives you the opportunity to mold the building a little differently than yes. you otherwise could. So, and I think we're all familiar with that. Go yeah. ahead. I have a question. Yes. Can, with this alternate, plan can you build a box because I know we're doing this in order to give developers the freedom to build wonderful architecturally unique buildings but it's cheapest to always build a box so are we going to wind up can build developers build just a box can you yes you can always you can always build a box so how do we pr that's what that's why the prior commission came up with this wedding cake because people like I said won't do the right thing if it's more profitable to do the wrong okay. thing except that even under the the, pr the the one that's in place right now, the, the one we call wedding cake, you can still build a box. It's just you're carving within that. But Tony, that could, we, could we explicitly well, say we don't want a box? Yeah, I, I would like there to be some kind of safeguard against getting a bunch of rectangles that just go up in town. So we provide for design review as part of the process. Every, every plan that goes before, uh, any, anything that's gonna be developed on, in the H120 district, is going to go to site plan review and to design review. Which so, is planning and zoning. Right, which is planning and zoning board and the town commission. But do you really think that people are gonna be building boxes because they're cheap? Mm -hmm. I mean, they wanna attract the high-end buyer. A high-end buyer is not going to live in a box. But I don't understand why we would be limiting. And anyway, they need to have balconies. I, I, I just don't understand why you would wanna try to take away one design when you give the flexibility of so many different things. And I like what, what, what um, Tony is saying, that you take pieces. What they're doing is, in some of these design, is that you're gonna be taking pieces to compensate for those um, setbacks that you're not putting at the bottom you or can. you're not putting at you the top. You can, exactly. So I, I think limiting it is, n I, I, don't, I don't see a reason to what do that. What if that was required Because though? it should be a design situation. You're not gonna put an ugly build, and we're not gonna let them put an ugly building in here anyway. But what I if mean, we, don't, what, like the mayor just said, what if we, is, what can we put there to help require that so that we get an interesting building? So we could require that the facade 
um, I have to come up with the language, but essentially that the, that the facade not be one uniform line. Mm -hmm. we, could say, we could say something like that as part of this provision. Okay, I would that's, be okay with something like well, that. And again, uh, th we're talking about things that relate to Champlain. Now, this wouldn't make the building smaller or? It would actually allow for a larger building <coughs> All right. under this provision. All right. Okay, good. The amendment to the way it's good. been designed. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Okay, so the, I would be on board with something like that. Right. I just don't want to wind up with these rectangles okay. like well, Hallandale. Let's, listen, listen. I, I, hold on a second, sir. Listen, um, Commissioner, so this is about giving direction tonight to try to finalize this. Now, I think we've got a little direction. Of, uh, Nellie, are you? Uh, well, I, I, how are you? I, too, would like to know how this would be a bigger building. Sure. sure. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Sure thing. So you're developing within the setback, okay? On, on the property. The setbacks are 40 feet from Collins Avenue. Under this provision, it's 20% of your frontage on either side, so that's 40 feet on either side, okay? And then you, under Chapter 14, which is our, our, our building code ordinance, you have to be 20 feet from the bulkhead line no matter what. So if you take that square that's left, okay, you have an area that's about 120 feet by between 180 and 230, because it's a weird shaped lot. Right, it's longer on the south side than it is on the north side, so you get that. If you take that area and you you apply the average setback and you multiply that by 12 stories, you get somewhere on the on on the on the uh, in the neighborhood of 280,000 square feet. Right now, what you what what was there before is if you just take the building as as it is and you project up, actually 13 floors because it had that 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 additional floor. You're about 202 if you don't count the garage. So this is considerably more floor area overall than what was there, what, what was there June 23rd. Okay, anybody, other comments then? I so th I, I think the it direction, sounds it sounds, uh, Vice yeah. Mayor, do you have any comments? Um, no, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, it, it works for the Champlain. All right, that, that, well, it, it, it's gotta work across the board. Well, I know what, that. Well, yeah, across the board, I mean, what it does is it encourages development of the remaining smaller properties left on Collins. Well, actually, but I don't know what we could do. It encourages uh, it encourages otherwise. developers to create beautiful buildings. That's what it does. That, that was the whole idea of this particular provision. If we also which adding the no uniform line. Next Tuesday. What? Adding the no uniform line. So we do, so they don't have well, that option. Well, again, I think that, People, you know, I think there might be very, very attractive uh, rectangular, or I think some of the buildings coming out of the ground right now over by the Surf Club are gonna be um, square or rectangular in, in design, but they're, they're still very right. attractive. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I'm willing to support this with the, no, with, would, with the adding right. of no uniform line, well, otherwise right. I- But we also, and, we, and you say balconies, you know, we, there was an objection to larger balconies in one of the meetings. I don't know if you know that, but, uh, I had presented allowing larger balconies and that was shot down. But uh, in any event, let's get with, let's deal with this one. So that's, you have your direction, that's number one. What's well, the so next? So the direction is to add the no, uh, the incentive right. for no uniform line. Correct. Okay. So What's the next Champlain? There were three you said? That's, yeah, number 10. Number 10, what's that? That's height in the H120. Okay. Now, what was the, the Champlain, um, was supposed to be a 12 story, I think we heard earlier from a gentleman, and it ended up being a 13th story, potentially illegally. Um, what, would this, uh, what would this do to the, uh, so the if, height of the Champlain? Yeah, if, if we compare what the code allows now, which is Champlain was built under a previous code, but it measured from the same spot, mm -hmm. more or less, okay? Um, the code right now provides for measurement in this district uh, from the line established by DEP for the first floor elevation. Now that line has changed over the years. Um, right now, I believe it's in the neighborhood of plus 14, plus 14 over sea level, mm -hmm. okay? Which puts it, which is, puts it where over the road? Cause we were using the road as- the, the road as I understand it is like at plus, call it plus five, plus six, I think it's plus eight. I think it, George it said it was plus, 18. It, it, it I think yeah, I think, I think what, what I've heard um, is that uh, from the developers is that there's a like a two or three foot difference because what we're proposing mm -hmm. would put the buildings at 125 feet 
And in order for them to get to the point where they were based upon the measurement from the road, right. which is the measurement, by the way, we all look at. That's the thing we all see, okay? This other measurement is an amorphous sort of measurement that nobody knows. Is it, you know, you heard the attorney. I don't know if it's 16 or 15, but, you know, that's a starting point. And what we're trying to do is, is have a hard starting point and say, well, listen, all, start, all points start from the road, and then it's easy. You just measure from the top of the road to the top of the building, and you get that measurement, and that's how high you can go. Well, so the, the question here is for the Champlain itself, is how high was the building? Well, it was 12 stories, right? Before it right? collapsed. It was, well, in terms of stories, it was 12 plus a penthouse. Yeah, now okay, the so penthouse. How many feet was it? The number. Yeah, how high? We'd have to look at the, the, the Does someone know how many feet it was? I don't have that She's information. She's saying 150. What? How many all blocks of Romeo, the older building, 150? No, that's not right. No, to, to the not roof right. slab, not to the, that's not, right. not to uh, um, elements on Tony, top of the roof. Tony, that, that penthouse, though, that probably didn't cover the entire building, right? No, it did not. It was one sort of stuck out on the end. It was it was a portion of the roof. Right, okay. So, um, okay, ma'am. So the bottom line is, folks, we said at the last meeting that the height of the building should not be taller than the lowest building on Collins Avenue in the future. And what that, me what that meant for future development before we had this collapse was that we were gonna make the top line fixed, and it was gonna be fixed where all the other lower buildings are, and whether or not, you know, whatever that flood criteria was, you would have to start there. So that means as the flood criteria comes up, you'll get less stories, but all the buildings still remain the same. So I, I like the idea, the problem is, I feel like it's, we're trying to do the whole eco-friendly sea level rise, and that, for me doesn't jive because if we're saying if the FEMA is saying it's not safe to build oh, no no you this, build no you build to where FEMA says right but you start there but you have to stop at 124 feet so yeah this I'm I this to me is I still need to figure this out because to me I feel like on the one hand I do like that the buildings are low but on the other hand but they are going to lose floors and value, Correct. et cetera, well, over that, time. In the, well, that was before the Champlain. And yes, they were going to be, what was going to happen was the first floor was going to have to continue to come up. And that meant that you'd still look at the horizon and you'd see all these buildings at the same height, but there would be less in them. So you might have one less floor, you might have two less floors, but you'd still have the same size building. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really 100% comfortable yet with this because I feel like two floors of people means that all the apartments get more expensive because of scarcity. And so- They do. Yeah, I mean, th this is the thing, it's, it's, and I know someone's gonna twist it and say, Eliana wants affordable housing in Surfside. I'm not pulling a project well, in Surfside. Well, but the other thing, the only, I, the only solution to that issue is you go higher and higher. Because what happens is your 12-story building keeps going up like that because the bottom keeps coming up. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really terrible situation. Well, it's not really terrible until the Champlain, but what we could do with the Champlain is we could say, listen, with respect to these issues, um, for the first year or two years, you know, you can, since they're gonna be rebuilding, hopefully soon, okay, or they're gonna have a developer that's gonna get started, hopefully soon, you could make an accommodation like that early on, but have it sunset so that for all the future buildings, you could sort of get the rest of them in line to what your goals are. Now, if your goals are let the buildings keep getting higher, then by all means have at it. Well, but, I, I don't want the buildings and, and, to get higher, but I also, I, I, I but, but again, I think, I think affordable housing or less, less expensive housing, for us to be dictating that, I think what we need to say is, do we want smaller units, which would be less expensive, or do we want the units to be larger, which would be more expensive? Then, you know, smaller units means more people, more cars. Bigger units means fewer people, fewer cars. But it's, a, it's again, I don't want this to be, you know, San Tropez, where no one can afford to live here. Okay, well, so listen, that's, I'm, that I'm having is trouble with reconciling no, no, you, that, those two. Listen, I, I'd like to comment on this. Go ahead. Okay, so first of all, we're talking about the height of the building, not the size of the units. I believe that's next. 
Uh, I, I looked it up because I had this on a document I sent to everyone. Um, Champlain South was at 139.50 feet height. Um, traditionally, buildings were measured by the wave crest. I support continuing that. I think if you want to limit height, you limit what's allowed on the rooftops because the rooftops have become like another story. And that's where I have issue uh, because I, I overlook the Marriott and they have like all these air conditioning. I mean, the whole roof is like air conditioner units uh, that I see, they're not hidden. And um, staircases that really uh, have really high, um, you know, uh, I don't know, they just go really higher up. And uh, so I, I think that it's important to, the, the measuring from the wave crest is in line with FEMA recommendations. And I think it, it's important to continue that. That's how all the condos on the ocean we can, we can measure from can wave I, crest. Can I say something? Well, well, the only thing I just wanted to finish okay. off is just, just to say that um, that's where you look at is, is what you allow on the rooftop mm -hmm. to be able to limit height. I, I, th I agree with the wave crest. I do think that there should be a limitation as to the wave crest as it is today. Because what you're saying is that constantly the wave crest can continue to increase and increase and increase. So we cannot continue to allow these buildings to go higher and higher and higher and higher. And that's why you cap That's why we should cap it at the wave crest at what today's wave crest is and leave it at that. So we measure it from the wave crest on today's number, not 20 years from now and whatever it is in 20 years from now, we'll walk that path at that time. But as of right now, I think it should be measured as of the wave crest Nelly, plus the, the 120 What you're gonna have feet. to do then is, you, you have to, if the wave crest was 18 or 20, you'd have to say that, you know, you, your first floor starts at 20, but even in, in the next year, the first floor really wouldn't start at 20 because the wave crest might be 21. Well, that's why I'm saying cap it at. at no, no, but you, what, you, what you need Make to sure cap. Make sure that it stays as of, if today it's 18, that's what it stays no, at, but it does. It, but, but what you do is you want to cap, because you're trying to stop the buildings from getting higher, right? Yes. Is that what you're trying to do? All right, well then that means you cap the height and the wave crest keeps moving, but what's gonna happen is the stuff in the middle is gonna get smaller. Yeah, but then our code also states, our charter states that you can build up to 12 stories. So by you doing that, then the, then the no, no, no one can build those 12 stories. Well, that, that's right. That's correct. You know? That is correct. So I don't want to but limit people, uh, like even this building, it, was, it, it had 12 stories. That, yeah, but that penthouse was done with a variance. So, and that was illegal. So that really is not, is not what is in our code. And what's in our charter, more than even the code, what's set in stone, which is the charter. So 12 stories is what, we're, what we allow, Nelly, and we don't want any Nelly, more than that. Let me ask you this. You could allow 12 stories, or you can limit the height, because as long as you allow 12 stories, the buildings keep getting higher. Well, that's why I say you cap the wave crest. No, no, but the, you don't cap the wave crest. The, the wave crest doesn't get capped. The wave crest keeps changing. Well, we can so the cap only thing you cap is to. the height. No, you can't. Because you can't tell them to build that okay. level. Can, can, can Tony, try to, try to help can us. Can we this. cap the wave crest legally? We can't cap the actual wave crest, but we can measure from a point and decide. Oh. My mistake. We cannot cap the wave crest. We don't control that. That's that's DEP that sets that line. Okay. The floor. So that will continue going up. Okay. So, uh, presumably. Um, but we could say we're going to measure from this point. Okay. So let's say, for example, right now, what is the wave crest today? 18 feet? 18.25. So we cap it at 18.25. Okay. Say it goes to 20, then what do you do? You well, it stays at 18.25 yeah, in Surfside. Well, but that means that, you know, the you're gonna lose a floor because you're oh. not gonna be able to go higher than 12 stories. Well, we, they shouldn't be going higher than 12 stories, period. Oh, right. Okay, but the building is gonna get higher if you allow the flood levels to go up. But you if we're capping- Tony, is there a way, I mean, maybe I'm missing it. Is there a way to cap, the, to accomplish what she's saying, to, 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 well, to, to, to have 12 stories, which, you know, 12 stories over, by the way, 12 stories over 18 feet is 120 plus 18. Which is 138, okay. yes. That's right, so which, that's, 
the Champlain had 139. The Champlain had 139, right. But is there a way to practically do it by capping the wave crest? Well, or capping the whatever the, the Well, I know what you're trying to accomplish, but, yes. you know. So, so what that does is cover, cover the situation right now. So it, there, is a, there is a way to answer that question. There is a way. You cap it at, at wherever it is right now, and then you go up 120 feet, and that's your flow No, but height. the point is you, yes. might, you, you might not have 12 stories. I mean, for instance, if, if the wave crest went up 10 feet, which is a story, right? Okay, uh -huh. you, you wouldn't have 12 stories anymore because the building would be taller than 139 feet. No. Could, could if, I, could if, you, if, if I may, if, if you capped it at 18 feet, yeah. And the wave crest goes What are you up. capping though? The first floor? No, no, what you're saying is yeah. where you're measuring from. That's what you're ca that's what I what I'm saying when you're capping. Right now we measure from wherever the DEP line says wherever, wherever DEP says a line is. That's what we measure from now. Yeah. What we could say is we're going to measure from plus 18. But it wouldn't be 120 feet anymore if the if the wave crest line came up, right? Correct. It would always be 120 plus 18 and if if exactly. the if if the first if, floor it, came up, right. then that's that compresses that the overall building. And you'd have less floors. You wouldn't have 12 floors anymore. Yeah, no, but that's if it were to come up to 18 feet. The sea level's rising. It's if 18 it, feet already. Okay, if I could say something. Um, first of all, uh, you can go up to 12 floors or 120 feet. If you remember, we approved the Seaway project recently, and they are only doing 11 stories I because they want higher ceilings. And that is a trend in some buildings. So. Uh, the idea is to give them the 120 feet of height. What, what they do with it is up to them. Yeah, but that's the point is, is it's, again, what we're, what we're trying to accomplish was to keep the skyline from continuing to go higher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Eliana. I, I, I agree, and I understand what we're trying to do. The question is, how do we do it? Because I, I like Tony's idea of saying it's 18 feet is where we start at, because that's what the current EP thing is, right? If we're going to pretend that Champlain is worth today what it is on the 23rd, then let's set the sea level and well, where look, you can build why from. wouldn't you, because the, the, uh, the, the, uh, that line, what's that line called again? Wave crest. Wave crest line. If that line is 18 feet mm -hmm. above the crown of the road, is that correct? No. It's not above no. the road. So it's not the, question, the crown, the crown it's of the road. It's a different measurement. Okay, thank because you. The crown of, for me, the crown of the road can change also. No, when no, they no, raise no, roads, no, et cetera. No, but hang on. The, the, the road's at about, let's say the road's at 10 feet already, and the, and the wave crest is 18 feet. Okay, so you could have a measurement. The crown of the road is the best measurement because it's relative. Okay, this wave crest changes, doesn't it? It does. It, okay. it does over so time. Doesn't the crown of the road also change? Doesn't the crown of the road well, change when they raise roads, when they redo the roads? Those that changes it, it also. Could. Yes, it could. Yes, they do. It could. But they then, do. They if, raise the road, the if the road went up, everything else would go up, relatively speaking. But right. And it's the same situation as the wave crest raising. I mean, I, I, what I'm saying is, you cap it at a certain number, an exact number, not just oh, That's let's call it about. the wave crest. No, oh, no. tomorrow the wave crest is twenty percent. Two years from now, it's. 30 percent or 30 feet. So I think feet. that's what he's trying to do, no, but he's I, I just using the crown of the road as the measurement yeah. and saying this is the crown but, of the road and you get 100 and but, something feet How about this? How about, how about this? How about this? I don't care where you Are measure you? from. Just don't go higher than, than the lowest building along the coast. So how do which, we do that, Tony? Okay, so that's the question. We're all in agreement that we want to keep the buildings a certain height, yeah, you right? Can. Of course it you sounds can. like? Yeah. Of course you can. So, okay, they, they, there are vertical Okay, guys. Items. There are vertical datums that are established for surveying purposes. Yeah. Okay, NGVD and ABD. We pick one. We, we put starting point. Right. According to that datum, that datum may shift over time, but it's going to. It's like a survey location. point. For instance, that if the road gets higher and you've got that datum point that he's talking about, if the road got an inch higher, the datum point would be an inch below where the top of the road is because it was there before, and you would always have that fixed measurement and the the builders would know that's their envelope they build within that envelope yeah and i under we're, i think we're all in agreement that well, that's what we want we're just trying to figure out how to how to do it let's it, get nelly you are know? you are you cool with that uh, or do you want yeah, buildings to get higher oh, no i don't want okay, then, i don't want buildings to be more than 12 stories and no, no, what, but 12 what another stories thing from we can what? From see if you have 12 stories on top of this 
it's different than if you no, do it on I top of that. No, I understand that. I understand that. But what I'm just saying is that, for example, if we have the lowest, I think, is 125, uh, Tony, and the highest is what, 140? These are, yeah, 125 feet is what we figured out from, from, from Crown of Road. Crown, Crown of Road, okay. And then the highest is the 140, correct? Uh, it's actually a little higher, yeah, okay. 147. 147, okay. So, you know, maybe we could do something in between the two that is fair to everyone and work from there. Um, if you have maybe 130, the max, I don't know, I'm just giving the thought. Again, I think maybe what we need to do, especially with respect to the Champlain Towers, is make sure that we, you know, we're, we're talking about this because we want to make sure we don't take anything away from these no, we're, I think we all agree we're going to give them at least what they had. Right. We've so, all said that. But, but we can so tailor we this, we can, we can tailor this, and even if it's a little more than we want to do in the long run, we could say, listen, you got two years, it's going to be this, and then after two years, it's going to go back to the level that we wanted, well, it, whatever this it is, is the that's other, different. The other question, though, is, and this is what's frustrating, is I know we, you've said a number of times we want, they're going to build fast and they want to do this quickly. How can anyone build anything until they figure out why the building collapsed? How okay, are they going to put anything there? I, again, listen, <laughs> we could sit here and, and really, I mean, our job tonight is to try to do that. Let's do this, okay? Let's not, let's not try to solve all the world's problems tonight. Mm -hmm. Let's try to do this. So I think we need to have some kind of fixed, and you're right about what you're talking about, okay, Tony? The give problem us is the goodies, hold, 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 like the but, vice mayor said. Okay, can no, 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 can I say track. one thing? Can the goodies, I say the one thing? On the roof. Yeah, no, I think I think if we're thinking about doing this in all fairness for the Champlain Towers, the Champlain Towers should be looked at separately from the rest of the town. If they had 139 feet high, then this is what they should get. Again, if they had 138 apartments or 136 apartments, I'm not sure how many it was. 136. 136, they should get 136. How they distribute those 136 is really the developer's issue. Um, and what else is it? The uh, Well, it doesn't really matter, the wave crest, because in, uh, I'm sorry, not the wave crest, the bulk line, because if we're giving, if you're allowed to build 138 apartments or 36, it would be whatever their architect comes up with and yeah. brings it to the. To, to, so as long as it's within that si that size of apartments. Yeah. The, no, no, because you're going to have the same amount. Guys, actually, you, you the way stay, that stay, that stay on. that would actually the way with the wedding cake would actually all, make it bigger. Look correct? at look at we're talking about height now. Let's not okay, get let's, Let me just make it clear, though. Height. The, talk about height. Okay, but this is no, related to that. Height. That, okay. We are, it sounds like we're, for anyone from the Champlain, we are, all of us are committed to getting back. You can have what you had before, okay? So no one's taking anything away. So that is a false narrative that we've dispelled already. I'm going to reiterate that. What we're doing now is figuring out how to use the calculations to get to a particular height so that they'll keep getting bigger and bigger, right? We, we, okay, have, we have the plans. Right. We have the plans. So the okay, question is and, how and do we, what is, what is the maximum height? And what, by maximum height, the, pro, the thing is we want to make sure there's no rooftop goodies well, wait a minute, that make wait a minute. it really Just higher. so you understand, just so you understand, the stuff on the roof is a separate discussion. But it's not because it's, if you put no, all no. these loopholes no, in what no, you can I put know, on the I roof, know, but, then the but, height but is meaningless. Stop. The, the stuff on the roof is another part that we'll talk about. Okay, but it has to go hand in hand okay, with this. Okay, but look, keep it in mind when you're talking about this, because this is the basic height, mm -hmm. and then you've got, as you said, the goodies on the top, which is basically just the stairwell enclosures and the mechanical That's stuff. what it's supposed to be, but the prior commission and the seaway is putting up massage rooms okay. and all kinds of space on top uh, and calling but I it. Think, I think we stopped that, though. No, we, did, we, we uh, couldn't because it was already under no, the no, other no. code. I think in the draft we've addressed yeah, that. Yeah, I, I Tony, hope so. Yeah, yes. Okay, so so guys, back to height. Please stay focused. We have we need a, a top number that we don't, then again, I, is, it, is it now 136 because are we measuring from the penthouse or are we measuring from well, the 12 stories? Well, Champlain 139.5 including the rooftop mechanicals or it was 139.5 just for the apartment livable spaces? Tony, okay, so can, can I? We don't know the answer right now. It, there's, there's a number that's 139.5. We need to look at the building 
from right. the plant. So we need and fix it from there. We, we don't know where that was measured from. Okay, so we need to get there. So somebody have must have a we have it. picture we have it. of we need okay. We have it. Go ahead. So have we need it. that. Okay, but okay, for for the Champlain Towers in particular, it should be whatever they had before. For all other development in our town, it should be what you you're can't proposing. Do that. You can't well, yes, you can because we're grandfathering them in no. as to what they had before. Well, listen, listen. Can you do that? I mean, listen, exactly. that would be nice. Can we do that? Yeah, of course we can. We yes, can, of course we can. I think we can carve, we can carve out an exception for them if, if that's the will of, of, of the commission. Okay. To give them yes. back what they had. Give them yeah. back exactly what they had. Exactly. That's the only fair thing to do. For this, uh, well, that's good news because I was told it was spot zoning. It's not spot zoning. There's. <laughs> We well, this is a this is a this is a very to, unique yeah, situation. We have to get creative. Nelly, it's a legal question. I know, okay. I know, Charlie. Right. I'm just saying that this right. is a but unique so situation. No, we, we know that. Okay. So, I, I, if I, so if let's we, let's let's go fast here because I think that what what I've just heard is some new information. So listen, we've got the plans for the building. We can look if we can carve that building out and give them what they had. That's easy, okay. Now we can move on. Let, we've all agreed to give them what they had. Okay, great. You guys are done. I think you got what you, you asked for, and, and we're done. Okay, so now are we can move okay on to our zoning this? workshop. Okay. okay. Uh, right. we, no. we didn't address the density, I think. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Well, but we the did, density we did. is the same it's amount of apartments the that they same, had prior to they the. They get the same that they if had. Because I, I had this conversation today with Tony. But if we move the line as to back to bulkhead from erosion control, they can, get 139 wait, wait, units, then, stop, which stop, is more than they even stop, had. Stop, stop. They're getting what they had. That right, was but, the well, They're actually getting more than what they had no, with no, the change. No, no, no. They are, Charlie. I want to make that but, but, clear. But, 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 but what, doesn't matter, what the commission has just said is figure out a way to give them what they had. You don't have to overcomplicate but, it. No, but what I, what I want to clarify, because there was this uh, discussion that if we move the line of measurement from the erosion control line to bulkhead, I'm clarifying this for everyone at home. I know you understand this already, but just let me finish this thought. When we move the control lo the line to measure the property, from erosion control, which is the water area, to the bulkhead, which is further back. It's at they the bulkhead. Will, it's at the bulkhead. It is, it is in the new code. It is in the old code. The, the, yes, the, they the were charter, misinterpreting it. That's okay. Correct. They were, they were misinterpreting right. it. Okay, so let me just finish. They're able to have 139 units. So the density is not being reduced of Champlain, even with the changes that we are talking about. So that's why it's very upsetting to read or hear people getting, we're taking something away. They're going to have... 136 down, to 139 units, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, the, Excuse me. Go um, ahead. Okay, so, no, the density was being changed in this code. I know, from 109 units. Vice Mayor, we're yes. sitting here talking we're about making a special exception. Stop talking about what's in the code. We're, we're making a special exception to allow Champlain Towers to rebuild exactly what they had. Is that okay with you? That, that's fine with me, but then, I disagree okay, with Tony, the 109. You okay, but, but, but fine, we're the, not talking about that. You're, you're well, that's talking, part of this. I know, you might not like green Chevrolets, but we're not talking about those either. No, but we are okay, talking guys, about Okay, guys, listen. Oh, hey. What? Walter, please, go to the mic. You know, everybody's got to do it in order. Uh, I came up with the 139. So it was an estimate. Yeah. It wasn't an exact calculation, uh, and uh, it was based on my estimate of the area inside the uh, bulkhead line to the street right-of-way line between the lot lines. Uh, we did not have in the survey they provided an, an actual acreage. Is your mic on? I'm not hearing you. Yes, it you is? need to get uncomfortably close. <laughs> This must be my friend then. <laughs> so the 139 that was in my zoning letter that I prepared was based on an estimate I did of the area. It wasn't a, a true calculation. I think it's in the ballpark. Okay, but, but let, me, let me ask a question. We are, as a group, making a special concession here, the zoning notwithstanding. What we're saying is they can rebuild back precisely what they had, okay? Exactly. And I think we, we, we're... we're are we including the penthouse? No. It was illegal. No. It it's was 13, 12 floors. All right. 
Sorry about are, the penthouse. Uh, where are you on the penthouse? No, this yeah. is all very confusing. <laughs> uh, sorry. I, all right, I didn't ask you the first of all. I don't, all right, I, but I I'd like to speak. To, okay, well, good. I'd like to speak. Okay, okay, well, then hang on your turn. Okay, we're, I'm well, trying to get to... bottom line okay. is we're giving Stop. back the same amount of apartments okay, that they have. Okay, thank you. Stop. Walter, what we're trying to do, I think you're, you're telling us what the zoning code will allow under certain circumstances. What I'm hearing the commission saying is they want to make a special <clears throat> exception for this site in order to allow them to rebuild what they have. No, that's, sorry, can I clarify, that's not, we don't need to make a special no. exception if we change. My, my, my suggestion would be to let myself and the attorneys get together and come up with yes. what we need to that's do. That's why I, I don't just. Want, I, I would suggest we don't name it what it is right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and so, but let's have a concept, okay? I, I, is it is it beyond giving them what they had? It is. Oh, go ahead then. Why? I thought because we just we're getting confused here because, for example, we're saying we're giving them what they had, but then we're not giving them. If we don't give them the thirteenth floor, then there's less a less unit. It's not one hundred thirty six well, units, so then it is less. So okay, stop, stop. I, then 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 you were making that clear. So the commission either gives them that extra unit, that illegal that unit. unit or they don't. Very. So what, what what is your preference on that? What I would, what, and this is the thing, I don't want to get into the spot zoning thing. What I think we should try right. to do is is tweak the density and no. where we're measuring let, from let, so no, that didn't the whole you hear, town. Did, stop. Didn't you hear, Walter? You, you, you come up with the concept and let them figure out how but, to back into it. Okay, but we don't need, if we, here's the thing. I know that we disagreed about the density and I think, feel, I feel like you reduced it a little bit no, too no, much. No. Eliana, Eliana, the density for this, we're gonna talk about density after we get through with Champlain Towers. The okay. density for Champlain is gonna be what the density was. Do you get it? Exactly. Stop talking about it. Yes, oh. but there's a way to get, there's, if we do the numbers correctly, it will be equal for everyone and Champlain will Stop. wind up no, no. with the same that no, they no. had before. No, it's better if we do it this way because this way we guarantee Not if we spot zone and we get struck down. Okay, first of all, I was just told, it will, what? Let Nisan, you want to make a comment on spot yeah, zoning? If I may, it will not be spot zoning. It will not be spot zoning? It will not stop. be spot zoning. Okay, stop. I'd, stop. I'd like stop. to ask stop. Mr. Keller stop. a question. Mr. Nisan. Mayor, thank you. The only thing I would say is, actually some of this discussion. Guys, you need to listen to this. Actually some of this discussion is, is fruitful and productive. I would like on behalf of the uh, association and the receiver, to be able to sit down with your town attorney and your planner to see if we can come up with something that could be proposed to you along the lines of what you're Okay, well, I, I don't know about that, but I'm just telling you, that's nice, but I'm just telling you, I'm trying to get a concept here that you can sit down with and work out, but I want this commission to be telling our planners and you what they want, okay? So now, you guys gotta make up your mind. Stop going off the track. I, Nellie, you've already said it. I, you've said what you want, and I like it. The, the vice mayor wants to talk in a minute, and I'm gonna let her talk. You seem to be injecting other issues beyond giving them what they had, but, and that's not helpful. But if they had, how do you give them what they had without that penthouse? Okay, explain that stop. to me. Okay, I will. I will. There's 136 first, apartments. First is, you, you, you just them within stop. The 12th floor. Stop. You okay. said you the illegal apartment was not permitted. That was your okay. I want to know from you: Would you include the illegal apartment, or would you not include it? That's all you have to tell me. Hold on one second, one second, one second. Because also Tony oh, said, you know, what, I'm but, running but, the meeting. Stop. I stop can talking. clear this I'm up asking, if you let me speak. No, no. I'm asking her a question. Answer the question, please. About the extra unit, what is the answer? If if we're going to say that we are giving them what they had, then that means we have to give them what okay, they had. Okay. So you want to add that? That's just, that's fine. That's good. Now, I, okay. Vice Mayor, go. No, no, she was next, and then you can go. Okay, go so uh, to clear this up, when we, when we say we're giving them, them what they had, we're giving them the amount of square footage they had. Mm -hmm. They may be entitled to more. They may be, I'm not sure. I need to, we need to speak with our attorneys. But um, the idea is to give them the amount of square footage they had. So that would include that 13th floor. It wouldn't be a 13th floor, but they would have that same amount of square footage. Okay. That's, that's, that's yeah, the idea. That's fair. Okay, um, so that's good. That, the, and that's, that's actually... That's the right solution, by the way. I like that. I yeah. like what just that's the Tina right just proposed. Yes, I, that's I agree fine. With you. I like okay. that. Okay, so now, I that's think we have a consensus. Compromise. Madam Attorney, Mr. Attorney, the commission wants you to get with Mr. Kasdan okay with and work out an arrangement whereby the Champlain Towers is restored 
precisely what they had in terms of square footage and the number of units, okay? Yes. And that, and that will be, th this is a much more elegant solution to the problem that I thought we were starting off with. Because if we can do this, yes. we've really rang the bell. Right, but yes. I want to make I want to make it clear that this is this is sort of a, an amicable solution that makes everyone that it's fair. I don't want a proposal to come back at we want 500 units and we want your community center. Eliana, that's, that's unhelpful. Okay, that's not that's, what that's has been a, said. That's, that's unhelpful. Mr. Mayor, may I make a comment? You may. Thank you. So I think I think this is constructive and moving in a good direction. I, there are a couple things. Nisa. It's, it's more than constructive, well, and it's more than but there are a couple things it's, I do it's want, exactly what you had. I, a couple of things I want to say to that <laughs> so that people are not under a misimpression. There is, there remains on our side for sure an issue with regard to the, uh, the density and the change in density. Now, I understand the position this council is taking, but I just want to say that by engaging in discussion, it doesn't mean we're conceding to that point. The second thing I would like to say is, you talk in terms of rebuilding what was there, but we have to remember that building was built almost 50 years ago, or 40 some odd years ago, uh, 40 years ago. And so the market today, what, it, what counts is what you can build that will sell in the market today. Neeson, you're gonna build a box. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get a box and it's gonna be a certain size. Okay, you're going to get a number of square feet. As there was a gentleman here who talked about the number of square feet. Well, but the you can you can build inside that box anything you like. Right, but Mr. Mayor, the number of square feet, for instance, this town does not and has not regulated buildings by uh, uh, in, uh, by intensity gonna, by square gonna, footage. Again, so gonna, I don't know whether that number is less than might actually be built. We're by the way, if I may, Mr. Mayor, you may. one thing that you you're doing, which I think is is constructive on all accounts. You mentioned the alternative method to the wedding cake. What wasn't clear when this was discussed, for instance, is that you are doubling, it, the alternative doubles the side yard setbacks on each side. And so one of the things that the folks in but this- But you are exempt from that, sir. You are exempt because what this commission has just said is you can build back what you have. No, I'm saying the alter that alternative is a positive thing yeah. for us and for other properties. Yeah. And, and, and well, no, 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 this doesn't apply to other properties. This only applies to you. No, okay. I'm saying the alternative to the wedding cake that can be employed is good for Champlain and good for other properties. Of course, that's why we're going to way, Champlain right now. And, Hold on. And, let, let and, me and, and creates, and also creates greater setbacks. By the way, I think when people look at the d development that's taking place in this town, most people are reacting to the width of the developments. The alternative that you're proposing or is discussed tonight actually requires greater setbacks and narrows. I think you were talking about that, Mr. Mayor. You know, I got narrows a rule, Neeson. When someone tells me yes, I stop talking. <laughs> I, I told you yes, yes tonight. Okay. We all told you yes. Okay. okay? I'm, I'm really pleased because this I, I solution. Just to put a couple things on the record. This solution. I, this solution is better than I imagined it could be. So mm -hmm. listen, I'm I'm very happy. I'm happy for all of the residents. I think it's going to be good. It's, uh, and, I appreciate. And, I appreciate. You no, know, and listen, I appreciate you coming. And listen, you've been super helpful too. The advice is good. So what we'll do is our attorneys will sit with you. Okay. I think they've got some direction now, and I'm excited to see what you guys come back with. Go build your building back, guys, but, okay? I, I just want to say one thing. I, I was motivated to do this because I want to see a f somewhat affordable apartments being built. I Eliana, it, please just don't. Just let me finish what I'm saying, Charlie, yeah. okay? Yeah. I would love to see 136 units built on this property. I'm yeah, telling you now so, so, that so we're going to look back somewhere. at this tape and go, I told you so, because they're going to build 40 units for 20 million apiece. But, no, but that's their choice. Okay, I know, but I'm Guys, just saying. Can, this is, you cannot, this right? is a free country. Right. I don't understand what part of free don't people understand. Well, ladies, you ladies, cannot you tell people, this is the thing. excuse me, you cannot tell people how they make their choices. If they want to build 40 units and they can build 140, that is the developer who purchases lands per Okay. And that's stop. it. But the we problem, cannot do this. Stop. The that's sad it. thing it's is that the people no. not build stop, a fort to stop, move back. Stop. Stop. The people you that live there. Well, stop. They're giving. Stop talking. You have your direction. We're moving on. 
Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank You're you welcome. to everybody. Thank you. We're and happy. Thank you, Susie, for We're happy we thank could be you. able to help. I've been a member of Surfside for 22 years, uh -huh. and I love my little sleepy small town. Okay. And Good. I do want to keep it that way, and I would love to have normal people buy into it. Yeah. You know, not Me too. these mm -hmm. multimillionaires that are moving into the town. I agree. I want to keep it real. I agree. And I agree. I would love to move back. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank Good you. night. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Okay, now we're moving on. Now we're going Thank back you. to the uh, the items, ladies and gentlemen, on the board here. We're still um, on the height thing, well, though. We're, we what did we decide? We, okay, well, let's go back to the height. Yeah, let's what did go, we no, decide? We're, we're on the height because we were there. Um, but maybe we don't need to, maybe we should start at the beginning, which would be easier so we're not jumping around because we were jumping around. Three, three. Well, can yeah. we just, what, since we're already halfway through talking about height, how do we figure, okay. let's just get this All right, one let's done. let's do height. All right. I mean, we have to get to come up with a solution. Okay. So, we, let me ask a question to see if we can get What are the answer. options? How, what are the different I, options? Let me ask you a question. This. Okay. Do you want to see the, the skyline not of course, you okay. know that. All right, well, we then, all feel that then way. Then what you have to do, the first thing you have to do is you have to not let the skyline go high. Okay, can you close that door, please? You have to not let the skyline raise up. That's all. And that means you fix it. Right. And then all the other changes happen underneath that. I get it. I okay, agree. Okay, so, so if, we, if we say the height of the building shall not exceed this level... Then everything else falls into place. Correct. Okay. So now the question is, is how can we best do that? Correct. Tony, how can we best do that so I don't give the answer to everything? Okay. <laughs> so, so we did a general, you know, kind of height study. We looked at different heights of different buildings, and what this is how we got to the 125 feet that we're showing there. Um, that 125 feet is measured from Crown of Road. That's what we ended up doing. If we want to fix it at a certain point, we can pick the point where we want to measure from. It doesn't matter so long as we stay under the overall envelope, right? We have a charter provision that says we can't exceed what we had in 2004. What we had in 2004 was wave crest plus 120 feet. Which was what? What that was that keeps number? Moving. But that keeps moving. But what was that height at that, that keeps time? I, but I'm asking, what was that height at that time? So it's going to be in the neighborhood. If it's plus 18 now, at this nine, wave crest, nine maybe. it's, it's, yeah, one, it's plus 18, plus 120, you're at like 138, 139. But look at the height of the buildings. Look at the height of what was built under those terms. But I see, but I, look, here's the question. What I can't understand is what is the height, are th is the height that we're seeing now because of this moving spot where they're measuring from, or is the height because of the goodies that we've allowed on the roof? The, the height is because of the first, the wave crest. You know, the, everybody says, all oh, we, we, we're forced to raise our first floor and we're still allowed to go 12 stories. So if that first floor keeps going up and then you got 12 stories on top of it, everything keeps getting higher. So if we were to do it right now, what is that height? If the wave crest is now at 18? 125. That's what I thought you have. said it's 118 plus well, one. No, it's 125, right? No, the wave crest is at plus 18. Okay, so plus and then, 18. And then, one, and then plus 120 over that is the maximum that we're allowed to go into the charter. Okay, so we can that's only do 138. Right, no. So basically- no, that keeps changing, Eliana. It, every year that changes because that wave crest changes. Right. So, so, so when Champlain was built, it was lower because the wave crest was lower back then. Uh, right? We, we don't know that. I, I, don't, I don't know, that don't know. An, the answer to that question. Okay. But look, it, it's not that complicated. What you want to do is you want to look at the height of the buildings mm -hmm. and you want to keep it there. So what you say is, and we know it's a certain amount of feet over the top of the road. Now, if the road gets higher, you're still gonna measure from an inch below that point because you're gonna have a datum point, okay? So if they put another two inches of asphalt on, you're gonna know it's, you gotta, you gotta go down two inches and measure from that point, and then it's 125 feet above, and what, that's what we got in here. It's 125 feet above the, uh, the road. Now, I know because they're building this new building over on uh, Collins, the, the, the seaway, is that called the seaway? Yes. They need, I think in order for them to do it, they need two more feet, they told me. So, it, right. They keep, this is the thing, they keep coming back for more. We need more but, garage, but, more but, this, but, more roof but, stuff. But, but, but look, look, that, I think we've all said that's a beautiful building, 
you know, and again, we don't want to be like Taliban strict. Okay, we want we want a general sort of beautiful skyline that doesn't keep creeping up. Okay, but it cre But here's the question: the, the difference between whether something creeps up because it's the wave crest, or whether it creeps up because it's a hey, we're a nice building and can't we have a couple more feet? The end result is the buildings Correct. are going so, up. But, but look, forget all that. Let's let's come up with the, I think we've got it already. See, to, the measurement was not higher than the lowest, what, what was the definition? Not higher than the lowest? The, the current definition yeah. is set at where DEP says the lowest habitable floor should be. No, what what is the height limitation that we came up with at that meeting? It, the, the height oh, shelf. Oh, yes, I'm because sorry. We, yeah, it's, it's wherever the height of the lowest 12 story building is. That was the, the cap, right? Yeah. And now, if you want to make it a little higher, mm -hmm. now, but, but, and again, that cap might be a little low, but then you've got all the AC stuff and stuff on the roof, so you've got to allow for that. So even though the building might be 125 feet above the road, you have to decide then how much do you want to give them for their stairwell enclosures and their mechanical equipment. Well, here's the question. If we're saying, and like, by the way, we already have a number for that in there. I mean, there's yeah, okay. in, in the code right now, we, yeah. have, we have 125 feet from the crown of road is yeah. what we put to the lowest building. What about the, the equipment? Road. And the equipment is 20 feet maximum. Um, so you, the 20 feet above that, and which is like two stories. I know. That's what. That's where. That's where the okay. problem is going to so be. So look, we can talk about that. <laughs> Does it have to be two stories? Does not have to be. Okay. Well, can, I'm wondering why that. it's two stories. It's. That's the way the code has been. So okay. We, we kept so it that right. Way. This is so the, the this is that's why there's the problem of things that creep into the roof. Correct. Right. So so talk about it. What, yeah. What, what I mean, you you got your roof now at 125 feet, which is going to maintain the skyline. Mm -hmm. Good. Now you got to figure. You got you got to let them have air conditioners. Sure. You gotta let them have stairs. But they can't. But not putting on you know a whole party room and massage rooms and stuff on the roof because then you've got another floor. Right. Right. The elevator. Right, so I mean, but and, and that has that has to be what it has to be. You see, sure. those things have to be what they have to be. Yeah, but like for example, the seaway, because we because in the current code that had the problem. Actually, Nisan, you're you need to start coming to these. I need you know you're good. No. At these. You sit there, and we get we get the we current. Get good answers to you know, the questions. current code is the reason why the seaway can have these rooms on the roof. Okay. that are not stop. So kosher. Stop, stop talking about it. Tell me what to do. What do you want to see? Let, they can only here. have AC and stairs. That's it for the roof. Uh, in addition to up, you know, anything above the Do roof you know? is strictly mechanical, Your not not uninhabitable space. It's got to be mechanical. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have we have um, we have our town planner here. We have our P and Z uh, chair here. We have our building official here. Uh, they know more about these things than we do. Uh, I like that idea. Guys, come up, come up. But, but what I would want to say is that I, I think that, well, I'd like to hear from them because I think that you do have to measure from the wave crest is what I think. And then, um, so what I'm looking is what we can limit on the rooftops. But I know you have, it's true, the elevators, the stairs, um, the AC. But at that, at that point, um, I mean, I think, you know, because the trend now is pools on the roof. It's not really what okay. I want. But as long as it's fitting within the height of the other things, it should be allowed. Yeah, but it can't go another, like, floor. But listen, we, we just got right. off track. We, okay, you know, I, I need to, you know, the, if before- If we can hear from the professionals Yeah, I know, here. but, but, but you, you just said something that's important. You did not buy into the height limitation that we were all talking about. You changed it back to the wave crest. So, Nelly, while you were away, we were talking about the skyline. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how we can maintain that skyline. And the only way to maintain that skyline is to keep the top at that level. Mm -hmm. And then everything else below changes. Okay. You know, you, you deal with the, the wave crest, you deal with the flood, you deal with the parking, but you don't go higher than that point. Okay? All right. And I think that we have one, two, three that agree with that. Now, now, we're, now we're talking about now, we're changing subjects, and we're talking about what's on top of that. Okay? So now let's let's see if we can focus on that. Let Tina br bring up. Tina was saying to measure from the wave crest. Well, but but you know that changes that 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 throws the whole thing back into a conundrum, because we don't we can't measure from the wave crest if you want to maintain that skyline, because the wave crest, wave crest keeps up. pushing the buildings up higher and higher and higher. But but the beauty of a skyline is different heights. That's not the beauty as far as I'm concerned. You may like the heights. I don't like the heights. 
Okay, sir, 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 no comments from the... Uh, well, can, can we hear from yeah. our professionals Walter, about the, yeah. about you come the up measurement first. of the buildings? Well, let, no, you were going to hear about the mechanicals on the top of the roof. How big should those things on the top of the roof be, Walter? I want to hear about also the, where to measure from, uh, because this is... All right, Walter, I, I'd like to hear about all exactly. on that. But remember something. You want to make sure the skyline doesn't change. I know what I want. Don't worry. Uh, no, no, I'm worried. And, and she, she wants to make sure the skyline doesn't change. I want to make sure the skyline doesn't change. I understand. I understand. She feels differently. She, she likes. Feel, she doesn't feel differently. Okay, it's not. It's not an us against them. She's trying to. She is, and I understand where she's coming from because the environment and sea level rise is a thing that's important. No, that's not what she said. She said no, it, the higher I, I buildings. I can speak for myself. Thank you. No, I know. I'm just repeating what you said. No, you're not. No, what I care about is measuring properly and ad, and accurately, and equally, and that's. Let's Whatever that means, go ahead, okay. Walter. Well, I don't have any idea what it should be. Yeah, I and know. And the reason is, it's, it's an architectural mechanical design that goes on the roof to support what the building is. The code right now has certain limits on it. What do you think about the building heights and where to measure from first? I think that's a commission decision. I mean, no, uh, but what do, this what do, is the thing what that do we other always communities do. do? Uh, well, what is what would uh, you, you know? The surf side, we have a feel, we have a vision. Tell Walter how high you want the building. Sunny Owls builds up to fifty floors. If that. you'd like no, to know, no. so then you'd make the decision as to what you want to see in our town. I don't understand why we have to ask Walter. I'm just or asking for his opinion. Hey, hang on a second. But, but well, his guys, opinion guys, is listen. what we tell him that it should be. No, Eliana. that is not that. The guys. Question to Walter needs to be: I want the building to be at this height. You tell me how to get there. Right. If okay. Walter, now, if we're trying to keep the buildings from getting higher and higher and higher, how is the better best way to to measure and uh, recommend heights for buildings? Well, I think the DEP line was set where the first habitable floor is, and I think that's where things were measured from that point, and that was around the 18-foot level. I think when I looked at Seaway, that's what it was. And I think the road was somewhere, I want to say about seven um, at that point. But Walter, if you, you give us the question, how, you, how can we make sure the buildings don't get higher than they already are? You just simply set the height. That's what, I, that's what we've been I talking mean, about. I Thank mean, you. I think Tony mentioned earlier <laughs> that we can set a line and you measure from it. That's how we do it. Okay. Okay, tell her, answer that question. We well, measure from. If you want to use the wave crest or the DEP line, whatever you want to call it, it right now I think in the sea seaway it was I think eighteen something. Set it like that and we'll measure Walter, it from there. Walter, how do you measure from that line if it keeps changing? Well, that's how do why you, you put have, something that's in why the, you have surveyors. No, 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 no. Walter, we want the we want the top of the buildings to be at the same height. Now, if that number keeps changing, how do you put a number in the code to add well, on top of that? No, but see, you're saying the number's changing. If you set it at that number right now, it's fixed. Oh, so you're saying, no. Well, first of all, it, it, no, no, you can't, you can't say the first floor is fixed. No, I'm saying the elevation is fixed. The elevation of what? The 18 feet becomes the elevation, okay? Of and what? you measure your distance of, from that. You're not, I'm not talking where the first habitable floor is now. I'm using the 18 foot is where you're going to measure from. So you, so what you're saying is you would measure from the DEP line. What's that line called? Wave crest. The wave crest line that existed in 2021, and you would go 12 stories above that, right? Is that what you're saying? Well, so you'd have to go back and find out what that number was and go 12 stories above that. Well, you're doing stories now. How much is a story? So, well, no, I'm doing feet. Well. 120 feet, is that what you're saying? Yeah, well, no, not necessarily because 120 plus 18 is almost 140. Okay, so I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, well, you're giving me a, a, a fungible number to start from, and you're making me go back and find that number, even though that number's changing. Why wouldn't you use some other datum so that we could fix the top of the rooftops? Well, I think we could come up if that's if you want to fix. Well, that's what up. she wants to do. That's what she's asking you. She's asking you, what's the best way for us to fix a number, and know how we can keep the rooftops at the same height? Well, 
All you have yes, to do is give Eason. us a policy direction and we'll come up with a number. Good, that, that's, a way to that do answer it. is okay. Okay, okay. Exactly Let, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. That's, that's a we'll figure it out. Good evening. Yeah, let let Eason talk first and then you can go, Jim. Okay. Whether I agree with the approach or not, what Commissioner Velasquez is saying, I think the way you achieve it is, let's say you're using today's uh, measurement of uh, wave crest. The wave crest, that's 18.25, yeah. let's say. Uh, the only, the, if sea level rise occurs, then you're still, then you would in essence sort of subtract, because measurement is from uh, sea level. That's what measurement is from uh, NGVD. And so if sea level rises, you actually then Wave or crest rises. Or you, 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 but you subtract at that point. Yeah, now you've got to subtract and, you know, why no, would no, you... No, I'm just saying, you, 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 if, if, the, if the variable is the sea level rising... You I can, called you up because I can, thought you were going to give me an easy you answer. You can adjust you made for it that. Worse. <laughs> how do you, 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 okay, you cross that path? What was your point? How do you... <laughs> wait, listen. But hold on a second. How do you adjust for that? All right, right, let's try this yeah, one. Yeah, but you cross your point. point. Guys, let's try but this one. But hold on okay, a second. You, you cross that path helpful. when okay, the time Jim. comes. Okay, Jim. Can you solve the problem? Absolutely, <laughs> Mayor. Commission Jim McGinnis, you're building official. You set it in, at a certain elevation, NGVD, period. 18 feet, a certain elevation above that, certain amount of feet above 18 feet, period. You set it at 18 feet. No matter if it goes up, go down, whatever, 18 feet is your point. And that's where you do it. But the question right. is, 18 feet from where no. are you okay. measuring? That, that's, that's my right. question. That's what you that's don't understand. Right. NGVD is a set elevation on Earth that doesn't vary. Okay, now we're talking. Okay. All right. In other words, to sort build a like house right now in your neighborhood, you need to make sure it's, yeah. at, it's at eight <laughs> sure. feet NGVD plus two. Okay, so, and that's the way that works. So it's really simple. All right, it's well, how, fixed. About, how about we make it a little less complicated with the 18? Hold, hold on a second. And we say NG, what is it, NG what? NGVD. Okay, NGVD plus whatever it takes to get us up to that level, right? Then no, we, you we don't need- You lost me, he was making sense. Say, no, do it no. again. You need to don't. set it at a certain amount of feet above NGVD. That's right, that's right, that's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, so what is, can you get, what is NGVD, whatever? That's okay. National something for, for Does that ever change? Elevation datum. Does that change? But wait a minute, no. isn't like, for example, in the single family home, it's a scale. you're supposed it's a, to do, Jim, hold on a second. When it's in the single family homes, it's, what is it, six feet, eight feet no, above eight, sea level? Eight plus two, generally. And above most sea of level. Our areas, eight feet is the NGDV datum okay. elevation. Okay, so for example, in my house, Correct. above sea level. The minute you hit my house from, from where the water line is, is three feet. Mm -hmm. So the minute I go three feet under, I hit water. So it's three feet plus yeah. six mm -hmm. feet would be the nine feet. Oh, actually, right. it should be, be eight, ten feet. Eight plus two, correct. Okay, so it would be ten feet. So I would have to build. Seven feet. If I were to knock down my house, I would have to build yeah. it at seven feet from the ground. If, you're, if your grade is at three, that's correct. If my gr being that that's my correct. grade is that's at three. Exactly right. I know yes. it's at three because yeah. I did my pool and I had to have that Very geo. Good thingy done, so but, I know. But, I know sorry, you lost and me. And actually, you, the, don't, don't get fixed on wave crest, just get fixed on NGVD, uh, because Guys, you, why don't we get fixed on the crown of the road? That's an NGV too, usually okay, about thank you. 10 feet right now. Guys, guys, did you hear? Wait, wait, is it Jim, 18 Jim, feet from Jim, water? Come back. Is, that's so, what Nelly just Because explained. is it the same treatment as it would be, for example, my house? So it would be 18 feet from the minute they hit water? No, NGVD is a set elevation. But f it, it's measured from where? From That's the right, ground? From, from what? From that, sea that, level. That, yeah, okay, and, so. But, but it's set, it, it doesn't vary. In other words, sea level might go up to 18.5, but you set it at 18 by your ordinance. Okay. At a certain height above NGDV 18. That's going to stay, stay the same. So state. you're saying that, NGDV, that, what is it? N NG NGVD. NGVD oh, does not change. Oh, VD. Correct. In other words, it's a certain amount of feet above sea level, and actually, the laws state that Jim, anything. Jim, if it's a certain amount of feet above sea level, and sea level changes. No, then they then they're going to change the entire scale, but you date it to today's. Right. And, well, that's the same. That's the same earlier. thing as a wave crest. That, date that, 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 date that, it to today's. And again, like you said, if, exactly. if 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 you do it from the crown of the road, 
that's a very easy relative measurement for everybody to understand. Okay, but how many feet from? But right. not if not if the road. Boy, Eliana. But if they raise the roads like they did in yeah, South but, Beach. But if they raise the roads, well, you you raise. have a datum point that you know the road was raised two inches, and that's where it starts. So the road height in 2021 is the point, okay? And maybe they take the road down a little too sometimes. Yeah, they they take the road down, they raise the road up, but that is a relative measurement that's easy to understand, and it, there's a visual relationship between the top of the building what was it and the crown the, of the road. What was it measured in the old code? How did they measure? The 2006 code, how was it measured then? The, 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 the wave crest, I think. Yeah, it was, it's always been the wave crest. I yes. think, but you see, the thing is that it's difficult to understand. That because was before sea level like, rise. For example, what I was telling you, are you, when you're doing this, is when you say the sea level, that's where, when you're starting to dig, well, the minute you hit that water, that's the sea level. Isn't that correct? Correct. Okay. Sea level. So this is what oh. I was telling you. So here, so then it, you measure 18 feet from that point that could be three, four, five feet <laughs> underground, correct? Yeah. A number of years yeah. ago, they changed the scale because sea level, sea level rose, but it's fixed at this time uh, and at that period in time, it is fixed right now. You don't mm -hmm. want that. So it's a okay. universal measurement. It, it changes. Mm -hmm. So again, guys, we're overcomplicating. No, I know, but it's very hard to say sea level rise is a real thing and we all need to adapt and we need to raise the houses and we need to do all these things and then let me, say, but let we're stop. not going to measure me, by let it. Let me address that. I find let, it very confusing. Let me just sit down. Let me address that, okay? The bottom line is, is that sea level rise is real. Eliana, Eliana. I know, that's why it's... Eliana. You, that's what he wants to do. Eliana, yeah. you can't have it both ways. That's what I'm saying. You so you have to decide if because of sea level rise you want the buildings to keep getting higher total buildings, right? Or you want to say we have sea level rise and we want to maintain that level, that height level, but, and we'll have fewer but units. But you've eventually, essentially said many times that you want to raise the homes in the residential district. Okay, well the homes okay. aren't, the homes, so what, what, the we're, the, now the home, right now. now the homes are a different subject because basically what you're doing is you're moving the whole box up and the homes can get higher a little bit, you know, the buildings are already very high as far as people But you're moving the whole box up with the apartment buildings yeah. too. It's you, the same yeah. exact concept. Well, you are, you are, there's no doubt. So I feel like we need to have some consistency. We, we, well, listen, we can. And if you said, if you, if you go into the residential neighborhood and you say from the crown of the road, you'll determine the height of those buildings by the crown of the road and you'll determine the height of the buildings on the ocean by the crown of the road. But you gotta decide what height you want and then you fix it. And then what happens in between there, okay, is on the ocean, the space might get a little smaller because you've fixed the top part, right? I, I, I understand, I, you know, I understand it. This is a real, this is a, a complicated decision, okay? It's just not something we can rush through because I feel like we do need to be consistent about how we feel about sea level rise, it being a real and changing thing. I don't want the buildings to keep getting higher, but I also don't want people getting drowning, right? Okay, but you gotta make a decision. <clears throat> I think so, also we should sit down with the planning and zoning yeah, board and yeah. have a, a meeting together yep. and let's brainstorm all five yeah. or 10 of us. I'm not sure how many we are, yeah. but um, we should sit down with them. They're Nelly, the ones Nelly, who are regulating what? this every time. We're, we don't get these kind of We're essentially going to be sitting down with them because we're going to take the so, best of what we have come up with and we're going to give it all to them. To work through that's yeah, the process. Yeah, but why can't we just sit down together we could. and talk? Uh, do you need that? That's yes, what you need. Yes, I do need that. In, in, do you I, need I've that? been requesting. Yeah, that. I do need to talk. I've been requesting that since we started this process. Yes. Tina, do you need to talk? I've been requesting okay. a joint meeting since we started this yes. process. Yes, so we, we need to have a joint meeting. meeting. Not with the PNC. No, we've not had one. No, we never did. We never had one. Did we never? We never have. Never. Never. The prior commission had them with over a couple of different areas. I think we should have a PNC. All right, guys. Whatever. Question. Whatever. 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 Okay, I want to clarify the 2000, the, the pre, the one you call the Dietz code, the one before that, measured from where? The, from the, the crown the of the crest. road or the from the wave crest? crest. The wave crest. But the tide wasn't rising. But I'm be, okay, so I got, I, somebody was just telling me right now, okay, I Why was is that told. Funny? The tide's always rising. The tide's was, always been rising, really? Okay. Sea level. I, sea level wasn't rising 25 years ago, I not was, that I noticed. Okay. Okay. I'm getting conflicting information because I was told that the old code measured by the crown of the road and it's always been like that. So I'm not clear 
because now I'm being told it was always measured by. I like the sound of the road. It was always measured yeah, by this, uh, you know, sort of by the wave crest. So which is the answer? Like Four really properties bad. that are east of the coastal construction line. Uh huh. Coastal, yeah, coastal construction control right? line. Okay, which is all the H120 properties. It was measured from sit what we're down, calling please. the wave crest. We're not having public, public input. Sit the down. There's no public Josh, input. Josh, Josh, not yet. So it was always by this number that moved? It's in the 2006 version of the code. Okay, and what about the code before that? Was it ever measured by the crown of the road? Are we making Going new back law to 1960? here? Yeah, are we, this is my question. Are we making new law or we, we want to keep- It's the crown of road everywhere else in, in, in the town. So it's not, you're, you're not making any new law, but, but it is the crown of road everywhere else throughout the rest of the town. It's but for those particular properties on the ocean, there's been a measurement from that level. Okay. So, the so EP from the beginning floor. of Surfside, they always measured the height of the buildings on an H120. I, I don't know it was in place before 1960. But Eliana, why would you need a history lesson if you're trying to figure out how high because you want the buildings? I'm get, because I'm getting conflicting information, and yeah, I like but, to have the facts. Okay, we, we got some facts now, but do you, you, you know, I'm coming away with the fact that you're torn between the height of the buildings and resiliency. Correct. Okay, so you're gonna have to make a decision though. Right. If the rest of the town is measured by the crown of the road, why wouldn't these buildings be measured by the same? Okay, well, uh, and, and by the way, you can, that's what we're trying to accomplish here, but you guys keep talking but, okay, in circular motions. Okay, but here's motions. the thing. The truth is it doesn't matter where you measure from no, because no, your decision gonna... was to do nothing and go to the planning board. That okay, was your decision. The truth of the it matter, doesn't help. okay, let me finish. The, the truth of the really, matter is it doesn't, doesn't matter where we, you know, we're spending all this time haggling over where we're measuring from. We're not haggling, we're just trying I'm to I'm just get an saying, answer. I know, but the problem is gonna be if, 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 if future commission says, oh, sure, we're still measuring from no, the no, same place, know, but no, we're going to you know 300 feet. After we get through this, we're gonna introduce a charter amendment, which is going to codify, mm -hmm. yes. okay, and say, this is the limit, and year. that we're gonna do that before we leave office, okay? okay? And that's gonna happen in March. Great. Okay, so that's gonna be the icing on the cake mm -hmm. right there. But what this is, is this is a good faith effort to try to get something on paper. Okay, and once we, this is not, this shouldn't be that hard. It, it is, I, okay, it is, I'm Eliana, sorry it is for we'll me. Make, okay, the question is, and we'll move on. If you can't make, if you can't tell me, do you wanna limit the height of the buildings? I do wanna limit the height okay, of the buildings. Okay, then this is how you do it. You'll say the height of the, we got it in the code right now, it will be 125 feet from the crown of the road. And that takes us, what that gives us, is that gives us about what we had in the old days. Okay, that's what it gives us. Then why wasn't it measured like that in the old days? No, not back then, I'm talking okay, the old but, days. But, but you know, you're introducing questions. questions that aren't helpful. Because, because why, who cares? The bottom line is, is we're trying to do something here and get it done, so help me get it done, okay? Is, is there any objection to the measuring from the the uh, crowd of the road, the 125? We've got it in there right yes. now. Yes, and yeah. we, I'd like to hear from Mr. McGinnis. Yeah, I want to hear from the expert. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, if I could please clarify a conceptual uh, for, for commission benefit. Uh, we have to differentiate the residential section from the coastal section because by law, that coastal, coastal section coastal out section, there Jim. is out this coastal construction control line that Tony mentioned and that is mandatorily measured at a higher level because of the waves that are gonna hit those buildings and maybe turn them over. It's called the velocity zone in floodplain management. And that's why it's different. It's a different an animal out there on the beach. Okay, so, so th what Jim is saying, guys, if you missed it, the buildings on the ocean have a different risk profile because there are waves on the ocean that can potentially impact the buildings. So I'd like to ask him a question. So Jim, if you, and this is just your opinion, and I understand it's just an opinion. He's not trying to tell us how to do our jobs. I'm asking him, what do you think, hearing what we're saying, that we wanna try to keep buildings from getting higher and higher and higher, how do we uh, protect that? Tie it to NGVD at a certain elevation, um, 18, 18.5, 18 or whatever it may be. It's essentially established by a, a series of range markers All along right. the All coast. Right, Jim. Uh, and Jim. tie it to a eight, certain 18 plus 120. Jim. Okay, so Eliana, okay, but how, if, if that how do we keep, hold, it, Let me just ask him the conversation. How do we keep that from changing in the future then? 18 feet will be set. That's an NGDV okay. elevation that's set. Okay, okay. We look, it's both were set. 
Okay, we're going oh, like this. Time period. It's I the dog it. chasing his okay. tail, and I'll tell you what. So, I Tony. Okay, and I got to get the vice so mayor. We can set it I'm, I'm going to agree. Listen, I'm going to agree with you. You've got a, 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 a super complicated way of getting this done. But, Tony, you heard this NGVD, okay? Figure out a way to give us a number that caps the buildings at the height that you've got in that code right now, but measured by way of this NGVD that Jim is talking about. Got it. I, now, before we go, yep. and then we'll let the vice mayor talk, is, in your opinion, is that, is that method that we're gonna be switching, guys, we're gonna be switching to another method, okay? As opposed to the method that you have in your book, is that method, in your opinion, gonna be easier to work with or more difficult? It's, it will be fixed, if what I'm hearing It, it will be fixed, it will yeah. Be a fixed number. Yeah. And we will be depending on architectural plans, like we always do, though, they, they will have to come in an NGVD, which, is, which will be uniform. So as long as it's uniform, We'll be okay, as long as it's uniform. But but you will have to refer back to September of 2021 for a specific number, right? Uh, what I what I understand is I'm fixing it at a number ng. So right now, right whatever now, the number right is, right now, we're, we, if the crown of road is plus 10, and we were at 125 feet plus crown of road, right? Plus 10 plus 125, we're at plus 135 ngvd. That's your height. That's it. All right, guys. Okay, so is that all right? Yes, that makes sense. So you got sense. your way. Yes. It's a more complicated method. I, I don't agree, but we got three now. Vice Mayor, go ahead. Um, no, I just I, uh, I I agree to measure with the NGVD. Okay, good. Then we're done. Let's move on yeah. to the next. Hold subject. on. Can I ask Tony one question? N not. It's related to this. Is there in the code that everyone has to do the NGVD whatever now? Well, it will be. Well, it will no, but in the new draft, did we make it a requirement that everyone, because remember there was, when I was on that PNZ thing, there was all this inconsistency. People were submitting plans and all kinds of different measurements. Well, you can tell him that's what you want. Yeah, we, uh, but no, want? we had already done right. that. I'd right. ask that, I just wanna make sure it's in there. We are asking for it, I think, I believe we're asking for it in NGVD or NAVD. We'll clear that up and just say NGVD, give us everything in this so that it's all uniform. Walter. Yes. Yes. Okay, hold so on a So make sure that, the, that the, in our code, everyone is speaking the same Listen, language. That, that's right, good. Walter. NGVD is the new standard. It was adopted uh, a few years ago and everything went to that. So it's a uniform standard thing. It's not anything strange. Oh, Great. Thank you. Great. Okay, so let's, we're Tony, done. make sure that Guys, we have that. We're, we're done. It fluctuates. Congratulations. You got it. You got it done. It's just, it's just like Please sit down. It's okay. The, the next, the next item way. is going to be what? Do we Guys, do you want to go back to the top? Uh, well, you had one more thing, the density and no, unit No, no, but I'm saying we, yeah, but I mean, we can start at the top and just, okay, you said you wanted to finish with height. I thought, we can start from the beginning, sure. Okay, good. Let's, well, well, here's does a workshop though. have did input? Just, the, the, oh, we sit got to down. Does nine. a workshop sit have down. input? Josh, That's all I'm at. About does what? a workshop have sit, input? Sit down. Yes. He says, when is input? Not when you're making the decisions? We're not making this decisions. This is a workshop. You're making this, you're directing sit the down. lawyers okay. to do stuff. Did you fill out a card? Uh, yes, I filled out Which issue cards. did you want to no, talk about? I put everything. I okay. yeah, he, wants to talk, he wants to talk about everything. We're, we're, we're not going to do that. Is there something? public comment? We're not going to do that. It's a workshop. Sit down. Okay, One okay, member Josh, has to Josh, be present. We'll, we'll, Josh, sit down. We'll, we'll figure it out. You'll, you'll have an opportunity Are to speak. You'll have workshop. an opportunity to speak. When is the next opportunity for public input? I'll tell you what. Let's, let's have the commission go through these items. Mm -hmm. let's, let's have a direction, and then we can hear from the audience on what we've Decided. Okay, okay, can we do, before, Let, we move they can to, take notes. before we move to the top, can we do item 11? Because those three items impact Champlain. 9, 10, and 11 is what Tony no, said. That is yeah, it's done. We're done with Why Champlain. Is it that you're thinking that these are no, I, I happen to I agree we should discuss that. We should finish that. density because then, understand you understand? Nothing to do with the Champlain if you do I, that. No, but density is a very important and it goes with the other two things. That's yeah, why well, Tony grouped them together. Yeah, I don't want to go back to the beginning and start talking about Rooftop, we're never gonna get to any of this tonight because there's so, and I think we need to get to this Guys, because there's gonna be more feedback. No, I would like to do 11. No, 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 I'm running the meeting. I agree, I'd like to do that. That's nice, I'm running the meeting. Okay, so we're gonna go through it. Let's not take a lot of time. Let's try to be succinct and get to the point. If you have an objection, let's talk about it, but let's not go on forever, okay? What's the first one, Tony? <sighs> Can't we just finish, do, do the density Stop. thing first? Stop. 
What's the first one, Tony? It's the number one rooftop mechanical. Okay, That's that was the one that you are had. We, but, are, but are we in the H120 or are no, we, we in the residential? This is, this is in the residential. This is specifically in the residential. Okay, but see this, I, I don't like rooftop mechanicals. I've said that about a billion well, times I already. I okay, do guys, like rooftop listen, mechanicals. And listen, so did Kessel and so did Charlie and I think do, even Tina. Do we need to go to the clock? No, let's try not to do that. Because I want to leave it Okay, free but flowing. why can't we talk about 11 and You're do the density? Because no, no, we already, we're back on this one, okay. sorry. Now, you get the first comment because we're going to go this okay. way. Okay, so for me, rooftop so mechanicals, are two problems. Be succinct. The succinctest possible is I've already seen a couple of houses put rooftop mechanicals on and they look like they fell from the sky and landed on the roof. They're Doesn't not have covered. To be so loud. Sorry, they're not covered. We have a hard time with our code enforcing these things and I feel like it's an invitation for more problems because this rooftop mechanical concept is a lovely idea if they're you know covered nicely and all that other stuff but having well, an air conditioner covered. on every roof there's one a house right now that I pass every okay. day on Bay. It, it looks like it fell off of the so sky. So it's a, a thumbs so down. So for me, it's a thumbs down. But, but the other reason is for safety reasons. When the when a wind comes, when the hurricanes come, and it takes your roof, and those rooftop mechanicals land on the house next door or any place else, I feel like they're dangerous. Well, technically, they're not supposed to. But uh, let's, but let's they do will. it this way. They will. Yeah, I'm going to say something. Listen. I'm not a fan it, of rooftop it, it, mechanicals. It, guys, if if you feel like it, we're voting tonight, right? You say what you think, and then we're going to vote. It's going to be pretty quick. And I, the other problem with rooftop mechanicals, I feel like it incentivizes flat roofs. Okay. Nellie? Okay. Um, first of all, if the mechanicals are on the ground, they can also be lifted by a strong wind and fly all over the place and hit other people's houses. It's happened already. So to, for, I agree with rooftop mechanicals. I think it's a better idea. I think it, and then we also had put in um, rooftop mechanicals for pitched houses. So I okay. remember we gave the, uh, look, the, you, you the just, wording for that. You could just say, okay, now let's I hear from the vice rooftop mayor. rooftop mechanicals. Uh, and, but I just want to say how, why, because, you know, it's but better we, for. Already, you, you said, you know, when we talked about this the first time, see, what we're doing here is we're just, it's just checking that we went through keep all doing of these. This every you, single time. I know, I'm sorry. You said we had the big discussion. Tonight was the night that we were gonna just look at these items again, and if there was any tweaking that you guys want, did you wanna change it a little bit? No. Okay, good, see, go ahead. See, this is the problem, that we, this is exactly what happened the last time. We go and discuss three, four times about the rooftop decks, no rooftop decks. Then the n time that okay, we're not you're, here, stop. You're rooftop off the subject. deck comes on. We're, we're not Same okay, thing that's no, no, happening no. right now. Look at, look at, we already a, said approve the rooftop mechanicals three times, why do we have to do okay, this again? This one is voting against it, and she's telling you right. She's just trying to get you going. Go you ahead. Uh, okay, so we, we do have members of the public. I'd like to hear from many members no, no, of the I'm, public. No, I'd like to hear from you. What do you? What What is your issue on this? Uh, no, I support this in All terms right, fine. of. Uh, Tony, we have three that support it. What's the next item? No, that's not the point. Mayor, I have someone. I, I'm interested in what the item. PNZ on board what? will say about Roof this stuff. Mechanical. You got one minute. Think about these things. I mean, we have the chair hit right here. I want to hear from her. Okay, guys. No, no, you're not tying it up. You're not tying it. It's over. I have no idea what her answer is. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Um, this so we're was not wasting time. Decided. We said that you can either have it on the roof or you can have it where it's not visible on the ground. I have not actually read through it, but the title itself reflects like it would just be on the roof, like forced on the roof. I want to make sure that you can have it either on the roof or on the ground. Depends. Then. There's 500 other items. I don't agree with this one, but I think everyone, Castle agreed with it, you agree with it, I guess you agree with it. That's three people. No, fight the same battle 500 times, move on. Okay, thank, thank you. you. No, I don't agree with that. All right, the next item is waterfront setbacks. Uh, Eliana, do you have an issue with that? That was the 50 and the 25. No, I agree with that. Okay, okay, Tina, do you have an issue with that? Okay, good. Next item, that's good, we're two for two, good guys. The next one is notice for zoning applications. That was the, uh, that, you wanna explain what that is, Tony? Because sure. I want everybody to be clear on that. Sure, it's on page uh, 37. Just uh, the summary, please. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So this was a, so this was to increase notice for the single family owners to expand basically who gets notified. Right now, you get notified if you are uh, in front or to the side right. or behind. Okay. This would expand it to the diagonal. So it's more transparency. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. And then the notice that would be provided. It's more transparency. It's like if you're doing work, 
instead of notifying the people next to you, you have to, there's more. We never talked about this before. It was talked about, but no, maybe. No, we did not talk about this before. What do you mean okay. notifying people? Excuse me, no. So, we never talked about this before. Guys, Increasing information about, provided on notice. No, we didn't. Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't talk about this, but I see that it's a recommendation of the P&Z board, so it's, I would accept it. it Wait a, a minute, but this means to, uh, re I'll, say I'll, that again, I'll, Tony? I'll explain. Tony. So, so we talked about doing something generally in terms of expanding notice on April 20th, 2021. That was at that workshop. That wasn't this specifically. There was no, uh, there was no specific direction other than make, provide more notice. Okay, provide greater notice. The PNZ board met on re uh, recently, August 5th, 2021, provide greater and notice discussed to who? specifically this. To who? What? To provide greater notice, notice to who? To your neighbors. If you, if, you ha if, you are, if you have a single family application, let's say for new construction, right? Right now you need to notify the person, the, the people next to you and the people in front. This would expand that notice to say, okay, also the people in diagonals. It should. Also, and the diagonals. people behind you too? Diagonals. At, at all, at both diagonals. It's more people it's will be aware that something's going to be built right in their neighborhood. Correct. Oh, okay. good. Okay, I agree with this. All right. Thank you for the uh, explanation. Sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'll I'll though, for a second. We only do public notice under three circumstances. Right. One, if it's new construction. Two, if the construction is going to be more than fifty percent of the value, or if the square footage is more than fifty percent of the existing square footage. So okay. it's sort of limited. Oh. Significant impact. So if like the person wants to just remodel their bathroom, they don't have to tell anybody. Right. right. Or right. let's say you put okay. an addition on and it's small and it doesn't meet the 50 percent, there is no public notice except what the advertisement is. All okay. right. Good. Thank you. Can, can I just ask, is there also notice for when a demolition occurs? <laughs> that I don't know. Do you want to add it in there? Uh, I, it should be. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is there any objection to that? Nope. Okay. No, yes. Good. Go ahead. Jeff Rose, 851 on Friday Avenue. Um, uh, what Tony said was right first, you know, the neighbors all around you, but the way it was written, 375 feet, it's much larger than that, so it needs to be scaled back a little bit. Also, the other thing that was changed in there was from 21 days for your application to 45 days. So you've just added an added burden of an extra. Now somebody would have to wait 45 days to be heard when they turn in versus 21, and it's been 21 for a long Why time. Why are they changing that? I, well, I think we want those are the things in there that were changed that I have comments on. So right, that's but I think that we want to have more notice because people. Are, the problem is the stuff was happening and people didn't know. But here's the other problem now, which is related to this. You changed the zip and says you can be retroactive. So if I submit for my house or Champlain Tower South submits for a project, oh, we don't like that. Now we have 45 days. We can put a zip in place. That's what I want to talk about the agenda, those items that what were changed. Mean? Okay, we, we already have a zip. No one's putting have, a new zip in place. You have a new, new language in your zip that you can be retroactive and go backwards after somebody applies. Okay, there needs to I'll be. I'll show you the page. Okay, so your objection is that you think 45 days is too much notice? No, you have to turn in, instead of being right now, you turn in your paperwork on the 8th, you're heard on the 29th. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of you turn it in on the 20, let's say the meeting's on September 30th. You, you turn it in, you'd have to turn it a month and a half prior. So everyone's going to now have to wait a month and a half. Okay. That's not so right. I agree. I mean, it, that was changed. But who well, what was the that? reason? What was the, re what was the rationale for yeah. that? Wait a minute. Tony, can you explain? Let him, yeah. let him no. say that the rationale. Let Tony explain. I'll explain both. Okay. So that change did not occur this round. That, that, was, that goes for much further back. How, okay? for, how, how far? Like at least, at least. January or February is when I don't that, remember when that ever hearing and anything the about reason, the reason that change was proposed at the time was because the turnaround time for the planner was too constricted. Right, right. And the clerk. Yeah. That's what that's all it had to be. It wasn't about putting in a zip and, and trying to stop right. anything. But now we're it, digital and we're much quicker. And I can thank Jim for that. But we are uh, digital now for everything. <laughs> no, you have to be now. Ask. There was a point in time Agreed. Uh, in December, January, February, where we had a PNZ meeting every two weeks because we were trying to catch up, okay? And yeah. the turnaround time on these things, because the code said 21 days, was un unwieldy. It was very difficult to meet. So we came up, we said, you know, Walter, what kind of time do you need to actually process an application and provide a, a, a recommendation that, that can be defended, that is thorough, that is appropriate for, for 
how we how we take them. So that's where that number came from. Okay, so but I, my I question that. on that is, but hold on a second, because my question on this is, this is something that just came about now. Why yeah. wasn't this done years ago? I mean, is it that we're less efficient? Uh, because I don't understand why, if this has always been 21 days and we it's built enormous it's amount it's of, it's I understand, but still, I mean, there's been points in the life of, in the history of Surfside that we've been building stuff here and it's always been 21 days. So, I mean, somebody's taking too long to do Let their- Sandra what, what was What I was happening? I could probably just try to help a little bit. Before, agendas wouldn't go out exactly a week before, so Planning and Zoning Board we didn't have enough time to review all of the applications. So let's say that I submit the packages a week before their meeting. So that takes away already from the 20 for 21 days. Then you're only giving uh, the planning department basically 10 days to review an application that may require more time and more. Yeah. I, think we, I think that we need to have the time to do it professionally and to do it well. So I would give them the time that they're saying that they need, and I would stand behind that. I'm not going to try to. But this is only on new construction. No, we, it's on these things that we the, talked about. The new construction. Fifty percent, more than fifty percent, right? Mm -hmm. Now Tina says demolition. And uh, what was the other? Th it was the third one, right? Fifty percent square footage. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. So operation. new construction. Okay, 50, new construction. 50 demolition. Of value and fifty percent of, of value of square footage. Oh, 50% of value and f or 50% of square yes. footage. I can agree on extending this a little bit, but 45 days might be too much. Well, How about the, 30 days? Let's what, compromise somewhere here. Well, what I would say is the problem is, is the, the code or the uh, recommendations is if you submit your, your plans for review to get on the board, they say three weeks before the board meeting. And that doesn't give us hardly any time if everybody comes in right on that date because we get six or seven applications you can't get the work done. So if somebody's going to do new construction, we can they can file before they submit, mm -hmm. and uh, they could do it that way. Well, I want I, how much time if, do you need to do this right? Because we don't want to rush things. So is is the current way that we have it structured the adequate amount of time that you need the forty five days? No, it was 21 it's, before. It's tight now the way it is. It's I tight mean, with 45 days? No, we don't have 45 days. They have this one you I thought the new I thought the new rule change it to 45. The new rule is for being proposed. It's 45 days. Right, that's proposed. not what we're working Got it. Under I understand. Right now. So is is there what number of days do you feel is a reasonable number of days that I think Nelly is not comfortable with 45? Is there something that you could do that would well, I, but I don't want to rush you. So if it's 45, it's 45. But what is it? I would I think for like things that would require public notice would be like new construction um, and uh, multi-story houses and stuff like that. Those are harder to review and they take a little bit longer. So I, Those I think I can you almost need like 45. a month. So you, so you, need at least, you need at least 30 days then. All right, so you need two speeds. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, two speeds. 45 for new construction and what else? Oh. No, what? no, 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 I'm not, I don't want to, I'm not going to rush for 30. Right, I want them to Walter, do it Walter, what did you say? 40, how, what, what? 30 days. Oh, you said 30 for new construction? 30 days submission. Across the board? Yeah, because I think the three weeks. Okay, so not 45? Not, so not you don't need 45, you only need 30? How about 30. 35? Is 35 better? Oh, my God, yeah. 30 is fine. Right here, 30. I think 30 is reasonable. I think less than 30 is... It's I agree with 30. Okay, right. so 30. Sorry, sorry. Okay. A lot of Got it. No, because we, we used to get, before you Eliana, came on board. Why do you have to keep talking? Because 30, let me just say, I'm gonna I understand, 32. but because before he came on board, we would get, it was clear that the guy hadn't even reviewed it properly, okay? So I want to make sure that he has adequate time. I don't want to rush him, that's all. You just asked him, and he said it three times. He okay. said 33 times. I don't want times. him to feel pressured. Vice Mayor. <laughs> 30 days. Okay, 30 it is. Next item. Just okay. so you know, that includes side fences and things like that, just so you're aware. Yeah. Okay. Can I, side fences. Can, can I clarify one thing that was yeah. said just, just for that, that something Mr. Rose Clarification, go the ahead. The 375 feet only applies to uh, special exceptions, conditional uses, variances, and or design review, site plan approvals for non-single family. Then we're good. We're good. Okay. Thank you, Tom. You got it. All right. Good. Next item is uh, this is a Kessel thing, Florida-friendly landscaping. Any comments on that? 
nobody has ever it's said, well, Florida friends are because they No, it is no, I, defined. I, I agree with Kessel on that. I wasn't sure that 40% was the number we came up with, though, but. Okay, do you uh, want, are you proposing? I, I, I agree with, with Kessel as well on this. I do I, think we should have the Florida friendly landscaping, and I believe it is defined in the University of Florida standards. What was the requirement okay, before? Okay, well, that, that's all I have to say. Nelly? The requirement. I all right, we're good. The Next. requirement for it was 20%, and basically this really applies more to the trees and the shrubs, and 40% would be fine. Okay. Next, parking trust fund was Mr. eliminated. Mayor, you also changed the turf in there, just what? so you know. That's for a separate thing. The turf separate, separate, that's Florida a separate thing. thing. It's also in the Florida part, that, just so you're aware, in the code. What? You crossed out on the Florida thing that said no synthetic turf. It's in the Florida friendly part. Oh. Wait. Uh, what is the it's in the Florida friendly part because it was basically allowed to be used instead of concrete and that was also in the, in the Florida friendly part and you changed it. I thought it we were phasing that out. You are, well, but it was also crossed out. There's a separate thing here for turf. Right, but it's in two sections. Correct, but right now we're saying that your plants have to be 40% Florida friendly. Okay guys, parking trust fund was eliminated. Is there any objection to that? Nope. No, okay. that's great. Alternative expansion options for single family homes built in the 30s and 40s. Tony, what is that? What is this? Hang on, let him tell you. It was providing an incentive for uh, preservation of the of the older homes. Hang on, let me let me pull up the, the, the section here. We're gonna, gonna find out. I'll, I'll I don't know. It. I'm trying to remember what that was. Yeah. So this is when they are non-conforming as to setbacks or lot coverage. They may extend the existing setbacks that they're non-conforming on, um, and increase their lot coverage by up to five percent over the. Oh, so that, that's an addition Th right. that, that allows them, like the older houses that, that maybe have another, need another bedroom or something, that allows them to add on to the house a little bit more. Wait, is that only for like corner lots? It's, no. It's only for single family homes, and I, we don't, I did not put it the year, but the, the idea Built of in the third, the old homes, 30s homes and 40s. So you really should say before, you so should say before 1940. We just could say that, yeah. You but, know what I mean? Well, I yeah. think Let me understand be that one, because- Before okay. 1960. 1960. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, let's, okay. Let's, can, let's, let's help can, Nelly understand. Can I understand this? Yeah. Because I'm yeah. not quite understanding Me neither. exactly what this Tony, means. Tony, sure. go ahead. So if you have an older home to okay. encourage the preservation of Well, like my home. house is 1936. Okay, so you, let's say you want to add, uh, uh, let's say you have a non-conforming setback. You're, you're supposed to be at five feet and you're at three feet, let's say. Three right? feet from where? Three feet from the property line, let's say. I'm, I'm, like the front, the side, the back? The side. The side. Okay. 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 Let's say so. You so you don't conform to the code as it is now. Okay. Right now, if you wanted to add something, that 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 addition would have to conform to the to the code as it is now. So, so I would have to, to kind of set in the house. Right. This okay. would allow you to do a limited expansion of five percent more of your lot coverage at that same line. Oh, so I it, like it, that. It's basically incentivizing you. Giving you a, a to a preserve break. the older houses, right? So you don't I like tear that. it down and build something new. This is good, but but you said that you didn't specify the years. There, Eliana. So she said it was good. Did you not just year. suggest that 1960 what? or She said lower. it was good. I I I got that, but I well, he <laughs> no. just said he didn't specify the year. So right. how he do we know that they just do it before 1960? No, no. We we I, I want your feedback to pick a year. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. Tina That's just suggested before 1960. Before 1960. Well, I, okay. I would say before 1960 or even 1970. It depends. You know, like, how about 1980, like 1980 Tina? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 1960 is fine. The 80s were bad news. <laughs> okay. I like 1960. 1960? Okay. 1960. Yeah. All right. So Next. basically, if All the right. house was built before 1960, any part of the house? But here's the question. Some houses have been added onto and added onto already. Well, then they can only well, add on is, a certain amount. This is to preserve the older home. It okay. allows the homeowner that doesn't want to get all into new construction. Okay, so to prior fall. to 1960. All right, synthetic turf, what's that? All right. Fake turf. Yes, so synthetic turf is on one page 163 of 205. Okay, but just, I, I think we've already seen it. We talked about yeah. it. Anybody object to this? So we're we're uh, prohibiting well. fake grass. Yes. But we why? always we always did. I know. People just have been putting it on. Correct. So how are we addressing that? But, but they're grandfathered in if they have it. No, they're not. I There's a grace well, period. They're not saying grandfathered in. They're not I grandfathered thought, I in. thought they were grandfathered. No. Well, they're, they're, we're, they're, we're allowing it to, to stay for its usable life. And at the end of its usable life, 
it has to be replaced with regular That's a grandfather. Grass. No, they don't get but, to keep it only forever. For usable life. They don't right. get to re Of course. It. But I have a question. Isn't the usable life of synthetic turf forever? No. Because it never no. breaks down? No, it no. breaks down. What no. is it? It starts to tear up. Um, is it 10 know, years? 10 years, maybe. Yeah. So how much yeah. of it can they, is, but is, are we going to get into splitting hairs where they're like, oh, it's just the piece I'm replacing? Well, we, there are standards for that it has to be maintained at. And what so, is it? Has to be in a green, fadeless condition, free of weeds, debris, and impressions. Um, shall not contain holes, tears, stains, discoloration. How about in more separation. in more than twenty five percent? Right. Fine, you you want to you want to put fine. a percentage on there. Correct. So, idea. so yes. if a third of it is bad, that's the threshold. Yes. Twenty five percent of it is bad. Yes. That's the threshold. Yes. Understand. Okay. Well, okay well, what so threshold? Twenty five or thirty? Mr. Keller, like uh, let's, let's uh, Mr. Keller. Just for opinion. clarification, on what Jeff was talking about is some people use synthetic turf on the driveways, and I think that's still a viable place to put it. Um, you don't get credit for it, but it, decorative style, it, it's okay. If it's but instead of concrete, which is not, if it's instead of something that's not permeable anyway, then sure, it's fine, correct? Because it's not permeable, but would, but it would count as not permeable. Yeah, it doesn't get any, it doesn't give any credit. Correct, okay? right, but for the green, carpet. Right. But we, the, the, there's a the life period of the turf. I think was supposed to be eight to ten years. So that's what it ought to be. After that, that's the end of the grace period. Yeah, but I think I think you basically you you can't you can't do that because then you'd have to get the receipts. If listen, if it's got holes in it and it's looking crappy, code enforcement knows when all these went in. That's yeah. true. That's okay. true. Yeah. I've got I've got a list of them. Yeah. And, uh, right. uh, well, let's 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 use that. But let's also I like your idea. You know, if a, if a third, more than a third of it is got holes and is in bad condition, that then the whole thing goes. Well, you just well, went from 25% okay, to 33 Okay, so it's more than 25% of it? Well, if I could say, the, the reason this came about is because what happened was um, people were putting the entire lawn in right. synthetic turf. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. And, yeah, and it's yeah, not, it's not in our code. Uh, we, it's been, it was a big dilemma of what to do about it because it's not good for the environment. Natural grass is much better. Oh. And oh. removing oh. it is also not good for the environment. And, you know, it also causes flooding because it doesn't absorb the grass. It's fake grass, so instead of absorbing the, the water, it creates okay. more cars flooding. Aren't good for the environment. Okay. <laughs> Airplanes aren't good for the well, environment. Well, no, but I mean, but you I know. mean, synthetic grass Cruise, was never synthetic grass. Okay, synthetic so, grass so the idea leads is not to more to, flooding. Guys, well, well, the so idea what's is your not point? To, Make a point, please. Yeah, okay, the idea is not to allow it, but since it's already there, let what, it. We were talking Daddy. about. Okay, so what percent? I don't know why you need to do a percent. It's the entire lawn. They need to get rid of it. No, 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 no. If it starts to look ratty, let me explain what I'm saying. get rid of the whole lawn. Well, that's what we said, but there's a threshold. No. You, if more than 25% of it looks ratty, it's all got to go. 20%. <laughs> all right, so she's thinking less and you're thinking more, so 25% sounds fair. All right, 25%, Tony. Okay, next. Mr. Mayor, just right yes. in, in here it said About no synthetic turf whatsoever. That has to be adjusted well, to... Well, he's, he's doing that. Okay. Was, you know, okay, okay synthetic... This, okay, I'm sorry. Charlie. I have a question. So, sorry. Wait a minute, can, can, can I say something? Because there's residents here that wanna discuss item number 22. And they wanna, they wanna go home. Can we just jump to number 22? No, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Why stop, can't we? Guys. Going in order, Nellie. Stop. We have to go in order. Stop. You would hey, disregard hey, listen, the residents you, that are here? Both of you, you guys are out of we order. We have to do the whole thing. You guys are, listen, okay. you, don't, you should be talking wow. to me. I'm running the meeting. Okay, can we do item okay, number 22? Yes, after we're done with this. Thank you. Okay. That, that, that's not fair. Okay. okay, guys, we have Thank residents you. waiting. Is, is, is anybody- Do you know how many times I sat here until three in the morning? Guys, okay. so on this Listen. commission. So the synthetic turf question, which, which as you were saying, is that in our code right now, you're saying that it says no synthetic turf anywhere, correct? Okay, so the question but is- But did it say it before that there was um, synthetic? Okay, so the question- Exactly what Walter said, it's only supposed to replace concrete, nothing pervious. It's only okay. if you decide you wanna do your whole, your whole a, a patio in Turf, you're okay, but he'll tell you. Uh, th okay. That was one of the changes in the in the previous code. They added that in. So that's okay, as long as it's only being used in an area you could also do concrete. Yeah. Fine. Can, so I, I think there's a need for some people to be able to put synthetic turf in limited areas. And that what's, what happened was people exceeded that, and that's where we... we, we well, how, can you, how can you... How can you... How can you delineate that in an, well, in an agreement, I in a document. I think the way it was worded in the current code 
is it basically says you have to meet your landscape pervious area requirements. Okay. And you don't get any credit for that with synthetic Any objection curve. to that? And if you have I like extra what, land what left over, you could put some. Yeah, synthetic okay. Yes, yes, there. yes. That's that's what Tony's, what exactly Tony's got says. that. We're okay. up. Thank you, Walter. Okay, can we go Next to Next item, 22. I, want to I object to, uh, to that to a certain degree. Which one? What? Allow it, you know, I, I agree to allow it in the driveways, but some people really go overboard with it. And well, they well, no, they can't. No. Specific. Let, let me tell you come, come to the microphone. He's saying that you please. can only use it in address, an area where you don't Address put concrete. the vice mayor's concern, please. No, no, but I mean, you had, excuse me one second. You had, like, at the Grand Beach, they put synthetic turf in the backyard where they did have grass. They said that the grass wouldn't grow or something. It won't. It won't grow. There's a shade. Actually, what they had was native coastal plants. And uh, it just, it, they replaced them several times, they still couldn't get them to grow. But yeah. in the code right now, it's laid out that you can do synthetic turf if you meet your pervious area requirements. And you have your driveway in it, and there's a little land left over, you can do tur synthetic turf. And there are applicants we've had that have uh, asthma or are very allergic to grass. And so the synthetic turf is helpful for those. And I've had at least two instances where people had those issues and synthetic turf was helpful. But you can't use it to replace your yard, okay? So- And it's clear mm -hmm. that that's clear in the code? Yes. Okay. But what happened was when- uh, Okay, no, let's not, let's, did you, did you get your answer, your question answered? Okay. All right, so Tony, you, you understand what we need to do? Yep. Okay, next item is what? 22. All right, what is that? That's the fences, we walls, fences. Okay, but I have a question. Things. Why are we moving the whole meeting around? For because we have people waiting. I understand, but we're then like, we're not like going to we get to the other lot of other you're items. Out of, you're out of order. 22. People care about the density okay. stuff. 22. Exactly. Okay. We had one. Okay, to again, you're that. out of order, no, too. We okay, can't, but we, we can't, wanted to finish the We density. want to finish in order. By the way, well, you're, there was you're a out lot of order. It's not going to change. Here. I'm running the meeting. Okay, guess what? We don't need a new zoning whatever. code. Okay. Okay? Here you go. All right. Talk about whatever you well, want, Charlie. Good. This is what right. you want to vote for. Next item. Go ahead. What is this issue? Yep, this is what you want to vote for. Yeah. Okay. We don't cherry pick what we're talking about based on who decides to show Eliana, up for a meeting, Charlie. Listen, wow. we have That's people really waiting. Nice. We've always accommodated groups that are waiting. Who's waiting? Tell me. How many? By show of hands. There's two and there people. Was so many, There's two people. Hold on a second. Okay. There's two people. There was tons of people that came here earlier. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now. We have now. to do the whole code. Jesus. No. We have to do the whole damn code. Two. But don't you care about the other items too? Well, well they. You don't care about those either. But they want. They the, but Indiana we're going in order, Debbie. No, no. Okay. We me. weren't going in order because we were jumping all over. We just did champagne, and we never even got to the density. Is to do the hedges. That we're never going to get to anything else. But don't why can't we do the hedges? Do why is it that you're so adamant on doing the hedges? He wants to go in order, and now he's changing his mind. So what's the? I asked if we could. If you could give me the possibility to do the fences. They can't. Why is it that I can't ask for that? Because there's so many more people that want to attend to talk about. Okay. 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 Let's, okay let's, Indiana, uh, there was a whole bunch of people here earlier. Okay. Listen, for the we don't agree with how things are going, but let's just move on. Thank I, if, you. If we don't have you, people Gina. in the audience, we should all just leave because I don't know why we're having this discussion with the same people every time. Yeah, it's the same two people that were here last time. Guys, this is a waste wow. of time, Charlie. It's, well, it's, we it's have insulting. a few more people than before. You know, again, so let's, again, let's listen, move on. Listen, guys. Guys, we have people waiting. We offer the courtesy. If there were people waiting for the sidewalks, if there were people waiting for something else, There's we would- There's a whole code that we have to get through. Yeah, I know, but it's okay. Listen, let's go through this fast. Let's find out what we want to do. Listen, what's the issue? Go ahead, guys. You got one minute each. Go ahead. Okay, Deborah Sima de Villa, 9108 Abbott Avenue. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm I was gonna be really calm, but Commissioner Salazar, you're being extremely insensitive. This is the definition of special interest, so you okay. know. The definition. This is not a special interest. Yeah, it is. Just for your information, We've I've been, your, excuse me, your this is my time. Your power line. This what is my time. Like, Debbie, there, Debbie. there is on next door a post that has about 26 people infuriated by a, proposi a, a proposal to have people with hedges who currently are being given privacy, security by their beautiful hedges 
There are a lot of pissed off people, Shh. okay, with the thought of having to chop down their hedges to to two and four feet No one's doing high. two foot hedges. Excuse me, it states in the proposal two feet to four foot hedges, okay? Just for your information, I've been coming to this town hall since the year 2005 to address hedge heights, okay? All right? Okay. Um, in, since 2005, we've had to visit this various times. And Deb, I, Deb, I'm gonna let you speak. You gotta interrupt, go for 15 more seconds. Okay. This is very serious because this is about our safety, our privacy. Personally, we deal with caravans of traffic going through 91st Street with freaking diesel trucks whistling, hey baby, nice blankety blank, okay? Do you wanna have that? You have a very big forest behind your uh, home. That's nice for you. We oh. need to protect our privacy and our safety. Deb, point made. Okay, you point made is good. please allow private property owners to have the hedges that they need regarding their safety according okay. to what's going on around Got them. Got it. Let's, we're going to, I mean, this is going to be pretty simple. We're going to just see where it goes. Please. Okay. Next. Thank you. Next speaker. You go next. Marina yes. Marina Sarabia, 501, 89th Street. I'm right in the corner of 89 and Byron before I complain about the traffic. I thank you very much uh, for doing whatever to slow down. I am in totally against this hedge, hedges restrictions. Uh, right now, it is a grotesque situation that we have on, on, on those streets. I don't have in front of my house right now hedges or fences, but I don't wanna be limited to if I want to protect myself exactly. from, you know, in the future, if this continues to go this way, I wanna have the freedom to do that. I have the right to quite enjoyment of my property, just as any, any of you on your houses. I pay taxes, I pay your salaries. I wanna be able to enjoy my privacy. That's it. Well, they do pay the dollar. Well, you do pay the dollar. Okay, go ahead. Joshua F2917, Bay Drive. I wanna say, obviously, there are two people here, so thank them for coming out, but there is a whole other town that typically does not come out to re uh, retain the status quo. I can tell you, I have a test test the city fire, probably shouldn't be here. People don't come out to retain the status quo. I can tell you since, what is it, May 18th, 1935, there's been a couple things that have stayed standard, and it's been no hedges, four foot hedges, there's never been anything higher than that. The problem with four foot hedges is that they're not maintainable, the town cannot enforce them. Andy's come up, literally come up here and said that before. Our code enforcement people have said that before. So we're at the point where it's either got to be none or it's either yes or no to them um, on hedges because it's not enforceable. If we say four feet, we should just go with the reality that's going to be eight feet. This is an inclusive town. This town, a lot of people move here and not to Coral Gables, for example, because when you walk around, you see other people on their lawn. It's, an, it's a town that you feel like it's a community, not hedges up. I was driving with Commissioner Kessel, I think, a month ago. And he pointed out to me how, how ugly the hedges was and how he was against the hedges. Now, he's not here today, but when it does come up for a vote, he's already made clear to me that he would be voting against it. Thank so that's you. another person. Thank you. I just maintain the status quo. Don't change the town with hedges. Next speaker, please. Yes, Jeff Rose, 8051 Pratt Avenue. I'm, I'm for hedges, but I just really want to explain some technical stuff that either Walter or Tony's going to get into. When we talk about front yard hedges, we're actually talking about, uh, we'll call it an H30B interior lot. We're talking about the first 50 feet across and 20 feet back. It's not just what's in front. Your front yard goes back 20 feet, even if you're on the waterfront. So you're talking about front and back 20 feet when you're talking about front yard hedges. So when you say two feet, it's a little bit ridiculous. So just think about that, probably four or six, whatever you wanna do, but you're talking about across and back 20, because that's a front yardage. Thank okay, you. anybody else? I have other things can, to say to can, All right, can well- Can I say something? Oh, I'm sorry? Can I say something? You can, yeah, let's, let's let the commissioners talk. Um, I've gotta be fair. Okay. Um, so, Nellie can go first and then the vice mayor. Okay. Uh, first, I want to say course. that, you know, you, you guys are always talking about the environment and sustainability and resiliency, and yet you want to take plants that create oxygen. This is like, are you serious? Are, do, do people know what you're talking about? Because honestly, 
You're taking a plant and you have a problem because the plant grows six feet or eight feet. Why bother people? If this is what how they want to live in their house, who are you to tell anybody? Again, this goes down to freedom of choice. Constantly trying to take people's freedom of choice away. People should be able to put the trees there because they are good for the environment. They are good for sustainability. They're good for resiliency, which is what I constantly hear from all you environmental people. And now here you want to take these trees or hedges or whatever and cut them down. People put them there not just for privacy, but they put them there because they're good for the environment. Okay. Thank A you. tree can never be bad for the environment. Trees are all very nice. Go ahead, Vice Mayor. So, so all I wanted to say was that we had a lot of people here earlier tonight yeah, that uh, spoke about this. So we did already address this, and I think we all agreed to leave the hedges the way they are. Well, right. So well, how I, are they? How are they? They're uh, four feet right one. now. Yeah. Okay. They're is four that feet. what happened earlier? We, we no, decided they were six feet. To, they're four feet is what no, the law you is. Guys made four feet. No, that's what's in the no, current that's code, Nelly. No, what is in the current I, code. Tony, uh, can you answer the question, what is the current status of hedges in the current code for the past 10 years? Depends. <laughs> it depends what, what kind of lot you are and where you are. A normal interior it, lot. A normal interior lot. The hedges on the sides can be very high. I think they can get up to eight feet. Correct, on the, on the sides side. and on the rear. Yes, okay. correct. In the front, mm -hmm. with design review approval, it's, it's be somewhere between, it's four feet. It's four well. feet. Right. Okay, but that's in the front of the lot. That's what we're talking okay. about. We're and only and talking no, about wait, front, Nelly. Like no. And what about the no. corner lots? We're also, yeah, there's, there's, there's a provision for side street, the side street, the, the second street that you're on, okay. okay? Which is your side yard for a corner lot, okay? What we said in this provision, right now, under the current code, to your question, it's six feet. Right. Okay? Okay, so let's leave it at six feet. Yeah. It's six feet on the sides, but four feet in the front. No, it's six feet. It's four. All no, in the front of a house. The guys, the let, okay. Yes, on this corner guys, lot, it's six guys, feet. Yes, guys, you know, correct. Th you, again, okay. one at a time. Yeah, for the corner stop, lots. Stop. Stop. Of course, it's always been that. Hey, stop. You just said it was four. Guys, no, the you, you, know, you know, four. we're gonna take a break. What are you swinging okay. the hammer for? You're, you're, okay, stop. I'm in stop. You stop. You stop. We're gonna get control of this meeting. What's wrong is everybody doesn't talk I said I'm trying to help this along. Oh. Yeah. I didn't can say I, anything was wrong. Can, <laughs> can I talk well, now? You see, the, my hearing is going bad because you're all talking. Can I talk so, now? You can raise your hand and I'll recognize you. Yes, go okay, ahead. Okay, thank you. So, so first of all, I want to make it clear, okay, that the hedges that we've had for the past 10 years is four feet, okay, in the front of the house, like Tony just said. That's at, interior lot. Yes. Okay. Corner lots, it's six Corner feet lots have six feet. Exactly. exactly. My so what's okay. The problem? This is a. There's no problem. What I said to begin with is the hedges are fine. I have a problem with fences, oh, okay. walls, way. and gates. That's I don't have a problem with the hedges. Okay. I never had a problem with the hedges. Okay. okay? okay. But okay. let me just answer. The, let me just finish my point. Okay. The problem with hedges. And I again work to criminal I'm going to have okay. to start the timer. Okay. Go. Wrap it up. Okay. okay. As a prosecutor, working criminal law, hedges are not safety for you guys, okay? Hedges, oh, so you know, just so you know, Stop. I'm just, listen, we can have hedges. Wow. I'm letting you know it is exactly where people you. hide to steal your stuff. Oh, it is God. where... Stop, I'm telling. Let me finish Eliana, talking. You got okay? one minute. One minute. So Go don't ahead. say hedges. Uh, hedges are great for the environment, and I love trees. Okay, but hedges are not safety. Okay, hedges are where people hide and sleep down and steal your stuff, and, and are able to get your bicycle right out your backyard because they're hiding behind the hedges and hiding behind the fences. Okay. And second of all, when you pull out of your parking lot, if these hedges are not maintained, when you pull out of your driveway, you're going to hit someone. And this is the problem we're having: is that code enforcement can't get people to take good care of their damn lawns, and so these hedges are overgrowing. On the streets, they're overgrowing all over the place, and they're not taking care of them. We need people to take care of it, okay? Because if they don't take care of it, then they can't have it. So okay. the two foot thing was something. God, I thought you were done. There. Was a late night oh thing that Kessel God. threw out there. The two foot thing was never a real thing. That was a joke from the. I don't even know how that happened. Well, it's, okay. It's not a joke, Eliana, because it's right here. Right. Well, you, you know what? It shouldn't have ever happen. Okay. Right but You're at the fences. End. But the wall, gates Finish are up. a no go. Okay. Gates have never been allowed, and we're not having gates. Finish I agree up. with okay. Eliana 100% on the gates. Hang on a second. Hang on. We listen. We're going to get the commissioners, <laughs> and then we will we go around the public well, speaking. The hedges, they stay the same. 
Do you want to talk? Yes, I want to talk. Yes, the hedges okay. stay the same. Okay, go ahead. The go only ahead. thing that we want to discuss is I agree with her on the fences and the walls. We're talking about the hedges. And gates, yes, I agree with you 100% on that. We're talking about the hedges. Okay. But, but the hedges stay the same. Yes. No touching the hedges. Yes. So Six comment? feet yes. on yeah. corner um, lots all around. Yes, Nelly. yes. And on, on interior lots on the side, they can go whatever they want. Yes. In the front, it's four feet. Yes. Okay, yes. got it. Stop, stop, okay, stop. So, go ahead. So, yeah, we, we did discuss this earlier, and we I thought we all agreed yes. to leave yes. it as is in the current code. But, no, okay. but, no, but the, what, the, the problem I have here is that we were using this discussion of hedges. The, the mayor was using it to get in gates not and really, walls and not fences. Really, not really. Okay? Yeah, not really. you were. You said before. You even accused her. He of, said of that before. A string for, for, um, for the undergrounding of the Stop. He it's my said turn. that before. Stop. So can we get rid of gates? Can we take gates Stop out? Stop talking. Can we get rid of gates? Stop talking. <laughs> did did I? Does this provision allow for gates and fences? This does not. So you need to stop talking. This does not. Stop. Answer the question, please. It's it's it says it says for all lots, for all lots. Fences, walls, and gates in the front setback are pro are prohibited. Are okay, prohibited. so you need to revisit your mouth when you talk about this stuff. Okay, so that's not what I said. This is only what we agreed to. Next item. Okay. Okay. okay so now guys, you can go to sleep in yeah. peace, and everyone in Surfside can go All to right. sleep in peace. That right. their corner yeah. lots are going to be Elia, taken care of. And you want to apologize to me now? You said before you love to see gates. I, thank you. Well, listen, you I, I've said that all along. Thank you always for showing but up. But it doesn't mean that it's in here. I want to all sure. sides, six feet. Apologize? No problem. You said you love gates. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah. He knows. Apologize, <laughs> Mayor. So, so, Mayor, don't so, touch those edges. So Mayor, to clarify, public speaker. I'm gonna go back to what's in the code, 90-183.9, as it was written before yes. I touched it. Yes. Okay. Which says what? Which is for hedges. It says hedges shall be no more than four feet in height. In the front and side uh, no. corner yards, no, and no, ten no, feet no, in no. height in the in the rear and interior side yards. Where's the no, six feet? No, no, Where's no, the no. six Except feet? Except as required by section 90-183.5, and we go to 90-183.5, one, and it, this is where it says a fence or ornament. Uh, 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 what? A, <laughs> Just let me talk. It, this re, this refers. Yeah, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this refers to a fence or ornamental wall, but we've prohibited that, so it, this will only leave the hedge can be a maximum of six feet as measured from grade corner. to project the into the street side the yard corner. of a corner yeah. lot. Yeah. Sure. Okay. No, oh, no, no. You just said a while ago that the four feet was only for the, the, on the interior lots was for the front of the interior lot. And that on the sides you can go up to six, seven, eight feet, whatever. I, I, that's what I'm agreeing, what, what, we've, what we've said here. Right, yeah. that's what I, that's what I no, just said. No, he okay, said no, that no, you no, can go. On the side yard. Six feet on the side, the side, side, the side street yard of the corner. The, the, the side no, no, yard. but what about no, the interior no, lots? No, the interior lots. Interior lots can have six feet? Right. Yes. Six feet all the way around? Six yes, feet all the way around on the well, corner lots. Hang on, that's not what this is. Well, that's, that's what, what we want said. it to be, okay, six okay, feet. Could you okay, please so if that's what you want, then you're not going back to what was there before. Hold on. It's, it's hang on, hang on. Let me, let me, I'm going to read it right from the code. Yeah, right from the code. Let's just read it. Mayor, meantime, okay. we have public speakers. Public speakers. Okay, Please, let's clarify what the code is. Uh, the, we're, we're in the middle of something. I, ha we'll I have one them. concern about the. You right, know, it's I, a side I have street. No, I have no problem with the hedges, but I have a concern about the ones that block the stop signs. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're because they're too close to. So is is it in there how far from the curb they need to be? Yeah, that's Because that's an issue. Yeah, I know. But a lot of them are not. And they grow right into it. So no, but there are ones that are set Wait, right can, at the kindly curb. Kindly show me which ones aren't, Tina, because you guys said. No, well, show me. Because no. I've driven this town, I've ridden my, I ride my bike to ones, through this yeah. town okay, every guys, single one, day. One, one, and with the exception of one house on 88th and Carlisle, that's we're not the at that only point house. Yet. We're not at that, that point yet. Stop. Okay, we're finishing one this subject, is, Tony. Okay, you, this is what it reads in the code right now. Hedges shall be no more than four feet in height in the front yard and side corner yards and ten feet in height in the rear and interior side yards except as required by section 90-56.5. Okay, so let's stop there and say that's, that that's, that's that not point, six right. feet on the but sides. On the Hang on. You can have 10 foot, 10 foot, on the back. 10 feet of hedges, right? On the sides and oh, in no, the back. No, 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 they said the back. 
The and side and the back can be 10 uh, feet. So four inches of pipe. But that's only on corners? I can't see the piece of paper you're holding up. No, he read this the regular one. He's supposed to give us the corners. Debbie, we can't see that at all. It says, it says. Why can't you just make it six feet Tony, and that's it? The, the the right. Four. right. This is the front. Correct. We just need six all the way around so it's a continuous line. I'm merely and telling you that's not what it says right now. Okay, so then let's make it that way. If it's, if, if, okay. I don't understand what the rules are Guys, right now. Please explain. Right now. Tony, okay. Tony, please tell us what it is right now. Right now, okay. It's, <laughs> right now you can do six You're feet. Like you can do six happy. feet on the side, the, what is the side yard, even though it's on the street. So we're talking about corner, corner lots right now, right? If you're on a corner lot, not where your front is, but on your side, you can do six feet. Uh -huh. And on the front? What you about the front? You can do four feet or you can exceed four feet only with design review approval from the Planning and Zoning Board. Oh. That's what it okay, says right now. So it's right not now. six all the way around. That's what it says but right it now. But it should be six all the way around. Yeah. That's a, that's a different that's question. A I'm, being, I'm being asked okay, what, so what it says. Okay, so let's be more specific. Okay, but hold on. You, you okay, listen. Okay, but that's what you want. Okay. Can you agree to that? I, I'm trying to understand what the rule is. So you're saying right now they can have six feet on the side, but only four feet on the front, like where their front door is. Right. Okay. On a corner, on a corner lot. lot. Correct. Got it. Now, okay. for a regular house, yeah. not on a corner, like most of the houses in town are not on a corner, what is the rule for the majority of the houses? Four feet. Four feet in the front. Four feet in the front. And in the size of the back, they can have up to 10 feet. Correct. Okay, but a corner lot can only have six feet all the way around. Can only have six feet on the side that's on the street. But if we say, hey, so will six feet in the front make you happy, Debbie? Six feet all the way around. Six feet all the way around. So Debbie's house can have six feet. No, everybody that has a corner lot can have six feet. What is the reason for six feet versus four feet? Because okay. it gives them more privacy. Okay. They have if I backyard. may, if I may. Okay, corner houses. Name and address for the record. Sorry, Deborah Sima de Villa, 9108 Abbott Avenue. In a corner house, in a corner lot, okay, our front yard, this is the front, the narrow side of the lot, okay? That's the front. This is considered the side, okay? We don't have a backyard, so our front yard that we enjoy is right here in this little area here, okay? The reason you need a six foot all the way around <clears throat> is because not only are you exposed to cars, traffic, passers-by, pollution, blah, blah, blah. Believe me, it does not look beautiful. I've been maintaining my hedge beautifully. I spend a ton of money. I take very good care of it. Having four feet on one side, this is the side, or four feet here and six feet here, it doesn't look good, guys. If you look at a beautiful, you go to Bay Harbor, Ball Harbor, any beautiful neighborhood, you need to have continuity. These hedges are not only aesthetic, but it's a privacy thing. Particularly us on Abbott Avenue, we have construction workers, we have people parking to go to the beach. I. I'm sorry, but I have experienced it. I've had short and tall. I, let's see if there's any objection. When I, the before reason, just but the really, reason why really quickly, I have a two-story building across the street from my house. Mm. I've had to file police reports where I had perverts screaming or whistling from across the street, um, harassing my kids. You know, you have a four-foot hedge. Excuse me, you have a four-foot hedge, and you know what? Everybody and their mother could see your children playing in the yard in their bathing suits, running around with their sprinklers, and it's rude, it's obnoxious. And I don't want to read Tom, Dick, and Harry looking at my children, okay? I've had people throw backpacks over my little short hedge when I had a short hedge. It doesn't mean a lot to you when you're laughing because this is not your problem. I'm but for everybody I'm that laughing. has a corner She's hedge, we are exposed I'm laughing to at the everyone. I'm laughing at roof She's decks. laughing at the rooftop okay? decks, Because I hear hedges. everyone saying they want hedges and privacy, and then I hear people wanting okay, rooftop decks. It, it okay, okay. okay. listen, we don't have because to have... Oh, needs, stop, stop there. Okay. We don't have to have... A big fight if this if every if there's an agreement. Is but there, my, here's a question: the reason know, why there's four feet. The I'm reason talking. why there's four, four feet stop. is for consistency along the block. Four That's good. feet. I, I, listen, stop, stop, stop. stop. Hey, no. stop. Because this house is a stop. Here. St stop. You don't have any respect for the process, do you? I'm talking to Nelly. No, you're not talking to Nelly because I asked you to stop. I'm 
Cut me out. I asked you to stop. So, okay. you, we, you know, the, the important thing to find out here is we can talk all night about this and go back and forth and debate it, but there are three votes, there are four people up here. If three people want to move ahead with this, with what's being requested, we can do that. If not, we won't do it and we'll be done. Question. It'll be over. No, no, but you always have a question. So yes, I, 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 no, no, hold on. You, you, you've mm. been talking. Now, I want to go to the vice mayor because I know what you want. I have a question for Tony. I, but it's, you're, uh, you're interrupting me. Vice mayor, can you please shed some light on this because I think you're the swing vote here. It's, it's not, we're not really voting, but um, I, I'm, I'm all in favor of putting the hedges. Okay, well, let, again, let me correct If you, you want me to speak, I'll speak. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Whatever, no, then. Whatever. Don't, whatever. don't correct me. Do whatever you want. You know, you know I mean, we yeah. are voting, in a sense, because we're trying to give direction. Let her talk. For you, you be quiet. You Go don't ahead. let okay, anyone so, talk. Um, as we said before, I'm in favor of putting it, you know, leaving the hedges the way they are in the old code. I believe there's special exceptions for the corner lots. Um, it, because I know I remember uh, having a request from. We can get the answer to that. What is the answer? To, are there special exceptions yeah. for the corner lots? You can go to the design review board on a case by case basis and get higher hedges. Which okay. Why do you have to put people through that? That's through fine. But that's that's what she's. Stop! Stop! That? Stop! She. I, I will get you in a second. I just want everybody to be clear on their position. The vice mayor wants residents to go to the design review board if they want higher hedges. I can't change that. I want the code to be what it was. It okay, was so, so she it wants to go. Why, why would you put people through that? To have to go through a design board and be in the hands of other people when we it's can a, make the decision right here that let them have their hedges. They're not in the hands of other people. They're yes, in the they hands are. of their neighbors. No, they're not. No, they're, not. No. they're in the hands no. of the design and review board okay, or planning and zoning board, whatever it. you want to call that's them. That's it. Now, I think we're going to be done because... That, th that this is issue. ridiculous. I, okay. I expected better. Well, we I need talk? to get a whole bunch this of is, people in here, Dad. I'm going to put it on next door. Four feet defeats the purpose. Okay. Does not give Listen, us privacy I, or security. You have six feet the rest of the house, Debbie. No, I, I, you I have six feet all the no. way around. Chief, where's the chief? Not all the way around. Okay, listen. Everybody's got to sit down. Can I Everybody's really got to stop guys? Seriously? You're going to upset a community? Listen, Deb. I'm disgusted. All right. Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, now, Mr. Rose, you have you have one minute. Can I, I thought you said it, I was going to get the, the way it was in the code. It worked. I'm going to hear. It worked. It worked. Stop. Stop. Go ahead. Okay. I'm just reading. I'm reading the rest of this about fences Thank you, Chief. and walls. And you know, if you drive around a lot of neighborhoods, you know, especially these lots are smaller, and you got to worry about your dogs getting through the hedges. So I think that you should consider that if the offense is put up put and that maybe right it would be a good idea to keep your animals yeah. in and also for the children. I'm not quite sure what you're advocating for though. The bigger hedges well, or smaller hedges? Well, the, the hedges, I mean, definitely for larger hedges, oh. but I'm talking about walls, but in reference to hedges well, by other- I think other walls is not gonna get, there's no, walls aren't gonna get done here tonight with this group. Well, I mean, the hedges, I think you should have at least the six foot hedges. All right, I agree okay. with you on that. But, but in reference to, they stopped right after that was walls. Okay. Okay, and that's what I want to discuss was the walls, not the hedges. Okay, but the walls, we're done with the walls. There's nothing, there's nothing up here that's going to happen with the walls. Okay. Okay, listen, one more comment from. Well, if it's not going to happen, but it could be discussed. It's, there's no discussion. Uh, no, actually, I, I like the decorative walls where they have uh, openings. Not, I don't like the well, solid I'm walls. I'm more about protection of you know I the animals to get out. You know, I mean, you drive neighborhoods. I mean, you have a small Listen. lot, so you know to be able to keep an animal from going through the uh, a hedge that they can get out. So if you can, if you even had a hedge and behind the hedge you had a wall or a fence, at least you're protecting your animals. That's Agreed. why you have small yards. Oh, okay, L listen, you guys are very rude. It's not acceptable. Yes, sir, go ahead. One minute. I was Joshua Epstein at the 17 Bay Drive. I was gonna ask mainly a question to our town manager. Is what we have right now with the hedges, has our um, code enforcement been able to successfully enforce it? Yes or no? No. 
that's the discussion we're having. Just so you know, your so town you manager. Find people, I, I'm. To, I'm. To, I'm. You wanna find, what you're saying is you want to find people for having a tree, what I'm saying a bush I I that was, gives I, us okay. oxygen. Hey, hang, guys, I again, just said let, I wanted let, to speak listen. for a minute. That was, no, that no, was listen, all I, I want to know everybody, what you want, Josh. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Everybody gets to talk, and then we vote. That's how it works. Continue. You got 26 seconds. Can I have some more time? I was interrupted. Keep going. All right. All I was going to say is that your town manager just told you that the code enforcement is not able to enforce it. So what you have right now is pretty much unlimited hedges. They either have to enforce it, which should be directed by this commission, or we might as well not have this discussion at all, or well, say no hedges. Because it's either no hedges Please. or hedges. That's where we're at at this point. I think there's a whole lot of exterior issues with safety, if that's some big issue. You should address safety, not put hedges Thank to try you. to not address the safety. Yes, sir. Doesn't Next speaker, please. Jeff Rose, 51 Pratt Avenue. I saw an opening, so I'm going to step in. Um, if I could learn how to. Hear you. If I could, yeah, I can't hear you. Jeff Rose, 51 Pratt Avenue. I just saw a little opening. So 50% opacity, wall, hedge, fence. Yeah, right. Around. I'm going to go there in a second. 42 inches. I'm going to go you. there. Um, yes, go ahead one minute. I thought I was talking. Okay. You, I, you know what? Let her talk for, okay. let, give her a minute, okay. and then I'll give you a minute. Go ahead. So, okay. So I want to just clarify here that the corner lots have six foot fences, six foot hedges. And the reason why it's four feet on one side is because all the other houses have to have four feet so that there is a line, correct? So that there's consistency along that block, Tony. Is that why there's four feet on that side? So, what do you so the whole block her, looks please, uniform? Please let her finish. She's got one minute. I, I don't know why, but, but, but that, that, is that, the is a, that is a consequence. So the that. effect, yes. Nellie, is that when you have a whole block and everyone on this side is four feet, here, once you turn the corner, they can have six feet because it's a different line of sight. If you have six feet here and everyone else is four feet, you're looking at six so feet. So make it six feet. Make feet. the four feet six okay? feet for everybody. Right, but if everybody has six feet in the whole town, you know, what he's already said is that no one can enforce anything. Okay, and so that. once you put hedges in, he did but say they it. already are. Okay. That's my point. Nobody's no enforced. Enforce okay. One minute. So let Go me ahead. let me finish no, no. talking. Okay. No, no. You, your minute was up. Go ahead. To address the no enforcing in the year 2012, no. code enforcement was going around fining residents. Okay, up to six thousand dollars in fines. Okay, retired residents were being fined. With the okay. Fence. So if you think that putting something in writing is not going to be enforced, you're wrong because it's happened in the past and it would cause a lot of trauma for a lot of people. We took two years in discussing this and guess what? I, I found something in the minutes of June 2014. In June 2014, the commission agreed that six feet were okay. Here it is. Sorry, it's in the minutes, Tony, I could show it to you, that six feet was permissible with the, redo okay, with people not putting hedges or trees on the right of way, it's no longer an issue, and six feet were, um, were okay. It says it right here in the June 19, 2014 minutes, okay? If they are not in the right of way, comments were made to accept six feet in height. So I don't know why oh. it says four feet, but, Six feet is a normal thing, everybody. Uh, okay, okay, Why listen, can't we Deb, compromise on six feet? Guys, you know, you changed my mind. I've been listening, and everyone can have six foot fences in town. Is that okay? Six it's foot not hedges. Fence, it's hedges. Not fences, okay, but hedges. Not fences, it's only hedges. Will you be happy yes. with six yes. foot yes. hedges? Yes. Okay, yes. Shut up. There you go. Yes. Six foot so hedges. So yes. right, Thank guys. you. Thank you. It doesn't have to be that Six foot hedges, Tony. Six foot hedges. All the way around now. Six foot hedges. Let's go to the walls. Thank you. Let's go to the walls. Thank you. No walls. We're not doing walls. No, no. No, walls, no. Walls. Forget walls about it. Extreme. One thing is edges, no another walls. totally no different. Walls. We got three no for no walls. walls. No we got three for no, no walls. walls. We don't have to talk about it. We're moved on. No Hold walls. On. We already got three. Don't waste our time. We've already decided. Move on. Hold on. Three said no walls. Hold Let's on. go. Yeah, let me check. Ornamental. You okay with walls? No uh, ornamental. I'll ornamental you. <laughs> it, it depends. It depends. You know, I, I mean, uh, I would have to read what it says. It depends, like, where they are. Because, I mean, I mean, if you look at Harding okay, Avenue. No walls? No, no, if you look at Harding Avenue, no there are no walls. No, this is rude. Unless, but, but, Unless, but, Charlie, but, uh, uh, Liana, wait. But I'm if someone has everyone. already a wall, you can't just go ask them to no, take down the wall. No, it gets grandfathered in whatever so we're not they have is walls. there. Okay, right, whatever so we're they have, on, whatever, guys. you can't put new walls. No Congratulations, six feet, you're good. Six foot hedges, bye. Put that on next.
next door. I want to be the next door hero of six I feet. Yeah, well, I'm the hedge hero, okay? I'm the hero of all hedges. Boy. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I'm the hedge hero. Right. I'm the, no, hedge hero. I like that better. Who would even have the, 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 the Guys. If I see one hedge okay, at six foot one inch, I'm personally coming out there and I'm going to, I'm going to bring my, I'm bringing my goat. I'm bringing my goat and my goat's going to eat the extra inch. And your slippers. And my slippers. <laughs> and my son likes it when the neighbors peek in the yard, okay? Just for the record. All right. All right. All right. Okay, guys. That was fun. We done? Okay. Take a breath. All right. Hey, guys, here we go. Next, next item is uh, good night. All right. All right. And I like your backyard. Yeah. All, all right, yeah. Okay, number eight. Is that what we're up to, Tony? Yeah, we were at number eight. All right, lot we... aggregation. Guys, any comments on that? On lot, what? number eight, lot, lot aggregation. aggregation. Yeah. Lot aggregation. Can you please give us a summary, Tony? Yeah. Like uh, one second. Basically, sec when you put two lots together, um, there were already provisions in the code that, that limit density when you're putting multiple lots together. This would require, this would impact their setback. They would require a little bit more setback. And it would require uh, planning and zoning and commission approval. So you wouldn't have a gigantic house sort of looming over maybe a, a You're going to get a bigger house, but, but it's not going to be. But looming over one of the smaller houses next door. But is this on the HB30? Right. H, uh, Residential district. So basically, like, right next to my lot, somebody else can buy two lots and build a ginormous house? But they'd house? have to set back. Right. Uh, I don't do think so. Now. What is the, wait, what's, what's the increased setback for law aggregation? It's at 10 percent. No, it's making it harder. It's let more setback. It makes the house be farther away from your house. By the way, Nelly, it's it, it right? allows it's for increasing the setback, houses, right? But setback on the lot, not as close to the edge. So, so I have, I have a question. It's at 10 percent of the lot width. So if you as have, if you get two lots, as opposed to. But why can't we just put it in numbers? Why do you guys always do this? Because it's, because it's relative. Because it's relative to the size of the lot. It's relative to the size of the lot. Yeah. Is 10 percent enough? Of 100. 10 feet. 10 percent of 100 is 10. 10 yeah. feet on each side. 10 feet on each side. If you, if you got three lots, it would be 150 feet. It would be 15 feet on each side. Feet on that's why. That's so why. Because you might add additional side lots. And 10 yeah. feet on the other? For 100 foot. Correct. Lot, and then if you get 150, and then it gets bigger. How much is it from the back? Because that's another issue okay. that I think we're having. Guys, you're talking about 20 feet in the back. I think you should have more green space. You know, this is funny because we talk about all this um, environmental stuff, yet we're allowing these houses to go almost to the property line. 20 feet is nothing. Okay. 20 feet is nothing. Listen. Less, less Listen, I think we agree. This And this is the subject. Can we, get, can we go more than 10 feet? Yeah, we will. But by the way, this is the subject, guys, that we've been talking about, which I think is the most critical, and that is... The one where I talked about my lot being 17,000 and being told he could put a 12,000 square foot house. The, the house has to be, hi Clara, welcome to the meeting. You already got your hedges. You're driving me out. You got your don't worry feet. about it, Clara. I'm the hedge hero, you missed it. I still have something. Okay, so. You missed it. So, so, but guys, this, this, this particular thing is where we would say well, that the that size there? of the house relative to the lot can never exceed a certain amount. Right now, if you want to build a house on a lot and your lot is 10,000 square feet, you can build a 7,200 square foot house on a 10,000 square foot lot. Now, personally, you know, my house on my lot, and I think you've all been to my house, it represents about- I've never been invited to your house, Charlie. No, well, you come <laughs> over. It, no, it's 20, 20, <laughs> 20, 20, never. Tw okay, so I'm gonna tell you, it's 20% of the lot. The house, the total square footage of the house is only 20% of lot, and it's a beautiful house. It's a Pancos house, and it's laid out gorgeous, and you have a beautiful backyard, a side, and it's proportioned lovely. Now, I wouldn't, you know, 20% might be a little low, but we're at 72, but I, I think we gotta be somewhere else other than 72. Yeah, but I was, what I was. And that would address, you know, the Herschel's house, Herschel's. I, I don't know whose house that is. The Hersh The Iris. The Iris. Iris's house. Okay. Hersain. 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 Um, those houses, you know, you've got those houses. Uh, Jeff, how big is that lot? Fifty by two hundred. No. Series. One fifty by one eighty. Okay, so. 
so it's under a little under 10,000 square feet, and I'll bet the house is 8,000 feet. It's 10,000. It's okay. No, I'll bet it's more. 10, I'll bet it's more. So there's this is where you get into big trouble by allowing that number, and that's the number. That's a lot, lot out of vacancy here, so no, it's not. No, but that's that's the thing. That's the opposite. You're right, but 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 it's more than that. It, what it is, it's the size of the house, the total house, the first floor and the second floor. Remember, remember the forty-foot lot coverage, Eliana, <coughs> is only the first floor. I know. So if you have forty percent on the first floor and then you almost do another forty on the second, all right, no, no, what I'm saying. Get question: I, I Have, have we ever had lot will, aggregation in the you. code? She have we ever had lot aggregation in the code? I was going to turn. Yes. Yes. That's Prior all. to 2006. Yes. What we've done is add increased setbacks okay. to that provision. Okay. That's and, all. And require approval by the. But we have more work to do. Let me get the vice mayor. I don't think 10 percent is enough. I know. Let me get okay. the vice mayor. Okay. So my question about this, because there's a perfect example of a home that uh, they bought two lots and kept the houses and joined them. And would this affect something what do you like mean, that? The other way. Oh, I see. There's houses that they've joined. That <coughs> they, yes, they didn't tear down the home. So, so I think this should apply to new construction, not if somebody wants to join two homes together. Right. Because that it's, it's right next door to Eliana. Yeah, I, I like that because then it's like preservation. It's, You're right, it's on the, the corner open. next to you. Oh, yeah. That's oh, on East West oh, Street. Right? I don't know whose house it is. but Bianca's house is two houses connected? Yeah, it's this yes. way, right? It's on East West Street. Yes. I love Bianca's house. Oh, her house is beautiful. Mm -hmm. so, so I wouldn't want to, you know, do anything that would... Uh, so you could say, uh, um, unless the houses exist yes, on each lot and are substantially houses, preserved, them correct? Yes, but well, well, something along or lines. just to have yeah. it apply to new construction. Okay, that's good. I like that. It would, it would okay, apply guys, to new construction. Okay, guys, we got something going here. I used to live on did, did you hear that? So if you have two lots uh -huh. with two houses mm -hmm. and you say that, and you want to combine them... Right. You can combine them and use the existing setbacks as long as the two houses are substantially preserved, meaning more than 60% of the house, 70%. What, what would you, you know, what, what number would you? 80%. 80 80% of the house. That's okay. a nice idea. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we got, we just nailed and something new. are we going new. up or we're just staying at well, the Well, it could be up. I mean, but is because you, you're, you're saving most of the house, whatever it was, and you're just kind of linking. But then again, if they're going up, then they could be the... That the 50 percent rule. rule at which point they would have to not no no but the they're house. not going up what we're saying is existing homes now if they start to rehab then they have to bring the whole house up to code well, right. well if they if they were right. going to go up they probably wouldn't go you know aesthetically you wouldn't go up entirely no no but, right. but we're just talking about if combining they, if they two existing the 50 houses rule, then they have to do new construction anyway and then we would have this new rule right yeah all right so listen we got a little off track we're just talking about aggregation now you said you want to make, if you have two lots. I think 10% is not enough of so a setback. So is 12% enough? I say, I say 15, 15, 20. Wow, that's pretty big. I, like that's, I mean, yeah. no? <laughs> if you, what's, yeah, 10% is what's in the code. Now, Blake, no, you're, 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 you're messing up single family. 10% is what's in before. the code already. For single family, you guys yeah, are, but that's none we're of this talking, has to do with single We're talking family. about lot aggregation. Front. You're nothing, talking about interior lots No, no, now. nothing. In law aggregation that has ever been addressed in single family before. You're 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 introducing a whole new language. Okay. You're talking about 30 C 40 and 120. That's what always been lot aggregation. You've never had to come. Now, if you're saying you want to buy your neighbor's house, you have to come to the commission for approval. <laughs> no. Well, that's no. what it says in here. If well, you're saying that new language. No, we just you do. If you're gonna no. join them, hang on. Never. Hang what on. What are you talking <laughs> about? Do? Okay. Aggregate aggregation of lots, the second provision, which is where yeah, two or no more lots shall be considered as an undivided parcel. That has applied in single family. That I've done, I've reviewed so not at least four unity of title right. in the last year and a half that are aggregation of unity lots of under the unit of title. Okay. So what we're Agreed. talking about here is adding to that provision okay. an increased, the, 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 the reference to the increased setback. That, right. that, what we're talking about is the 10%, but we're hearing more, more is, is being requested. Okay, so, guys, so I buy my neighbor's so, property so guys, and say, on, no, what happens? Let, what's that? Guys, on a, regular, on, on a regular 50-foot lot, you have five-foot setbacks, okay? Correct. Now, if you if you make that to 100, what it calls for is a 10%, which is basically the same relative size. But, but for example, I'm on a regular thing, and I have seven and a half foot. It's not you're, that much. You're no, it's a, not. You're not on a regular lot. I'm on a lot and a half. Right. Okay. But exactly. it, I only have seven and a half foot setbacks. Okay. It's not a lot. Okay. Okay. Mine's a single family, Listen. a, a one-story house. If someone puts up a two-story house, seven and a half, that's going to be Your garage is at five feet. 
Yes. The garage is at five feet. Okay, but if you went to 20, got if you went to 20, you'd have 20 on each side. You'd only have 60 feet left. Yeah. Well, let's do. So what about 15? 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay, do it. We have three anyway. We don't need her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, it's a huge house. You have a huge house. If you're, if you're using okay, guys, a lot of aggregation. Okay. Next. 12%. Okay. Okay. Setbacks for the wedding cake. We did that already. Congratulations. Yes, um, heights, we did that. Congratulations. Uh, density. Now we get. Here we're getting into the. Yeah, okay. Now density. Height, no. We did height too, right? Yeah. We yeah, did height. Well, we and so, give, guys, we have, remember. We have more work to do on height, but we gave them direction. But no, no, we gave them direction. But right. listen, we're all agreeing here. You know, this is what we're doing. We're yeah. narrowing the, yes. the, the issues down. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, now, density. Who wants to open up on Clara, did you want to comment? Because I, do. okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. And, and then, then you can go back home. Meetings. I know your you mom. You never come to meetings anymore. Hold on, yeah, her mom is sick. Why. Her Clara Diaz Leal, 425 95th Street. Okay. My mother had an aortic dissection. I take care of her every evening. She had an amputation today. Oh. I'm here because you guys are reprehensible. You should be ashamed of yourself. You put us through all this crap because to you it's just a decision. I'm so angry, this is why I'm like crying because I was like promised myself, I'm gonna stay home, take care of mom. I get that you don't want to have hedges. So don't have hedges in your house. You shouldn't tell people how they should feel or what they should want. A toddler, my five grandkids walk over two foot hedges. We never were to do I two foot hedges. It was on the document. I got it, but I was never I, for so two foot hedges. I'm not having a discussion okay. with you. I know that's what you all do. It's my turn. We're not doing that right now. This needs to be baked into the town charter. We yes. cannot have this stupid discussion every time we elect new people who like different colors. This is our town, mm -hmm. not yours, not yours, not your, this is our town. If you're so concerned about two feet from four feet to six feet, put it to the vote. You I just, guarantee you. We already did you, six feet. I get it. We gave That's you six feet. That's not why I'm here, Eliana. I'm not having a discussion with you. I'm here because you're not doing this right. And you're making people's lives miserable. Yep. You need to stop. You need to stop. This is our lives. So put it in the charter, please, now that you agreed to six feet, and get it over with. First of all, you didn't read. There's a hardship condition that was applied by the last commission. It's in writing. Do you recall? All of a sudden, that goes out the window. Do you think anybody on a busy corner wants six feet on this side and four feet on this side so we can wave to people? Who cares? I don't want to talk to all those people. I don't know them. But they do look inside my house. That could be for thieves. My brother's a cop. Well, I know. You don't need to security. tell me about prosecutions. <gasps> if they look in my house and they like my stuff, they can break in. So guess what? I don't want it. So you cannot do this arbitrarily because you don't like it. This is not Pollyanna 1950. This is, my, this is Surfside and it's busy as all hell, as you all saw during Champlain. Busy, it's still busy. People do not have a good quality of life. Work on that. Stop arguing for Christ's sake. Okay. Um, density. Okay, who wants to start on that? I'll do. I'll okay, start on that. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I understand that we don't want the overdevelopment in town. We don't want, you know, to add 200 more cars on Collins or double the things, but I don't want to reduce the density to the point where there's no way for people who live in Surfside to be able to afford to live in Surfside. So I don't like when these buildings that have, let's say, 130 units are replaced with a building that has 40 units because the type of person and you know is different and the what they contribute to the community is different. I'd rather have 130 families in town that are gonna be shopping at Publix and going to the beach and the kids are gonna be going to school with my kids 
that's what I want in a community. I don't want, you know, wealthy people in foreign countries buying vacation homes to park their money overseas, which is what happens in these ultra high end buildings. And these buildings, like Porsche Design Tower, or any of these other buildings where the, literally to get in the door you have to spend six, seven, ten million dollars. That doesn't, that contributes financially maybe, but only in the taxes. It doesn't contribute because those people are not shopping at Publix, they're not really living here. It doesn't, you know, put, keep the restaurants in business in town. And so I don't want to see density reduced to the point of um, ex making it so exclusive that it's a barrier to having, you know, even when we talk about, when I say affordable housing, it's not afford, you know, it, that's a bad word, but I mean, housing that should be within the means of, of a family that makes a decent living and works very hard. It shouldn't, the, the be access to the beach should not only be for the ultra wealthy. So, so that's how I feel on density. Okay. Okay. Vice Mayor. Yeah, so um, th that's one of the issues with the Champlain because they were having a hard time with us changing it from 109 to 65. I'd like to ask Tony, it, what is the density in the comprehensive uh, plan? 109. So it's consistent with the code? Well, it's actually the only place where there is density right now. We're adding the density into this version to have it in the code. That was a by the way, Mr. Keller's to suggestion. Vice the Mayor, I, I think that uh, th that that density level that 109 is rarely achieved. Is it not? Or do we have we gotten to that except in hotels? Right. I mean, that's why I don't think it's an issue. I think we can. You know, we well, should unless stay we want more hotels. Well, no, we don't. But, but you have no hotels in there, so. We, I mean, on the west side. Well, Champlain could do a hotel if they wanted, but well, I not mean, anymore. I, I think the 109 is consistent with the comprehensive plan. Unless we're changing the comprehensive plan, I wouldn't change that. I would leave that at 109. Well, no, no. But the issue, the issue the, really but is. But the issue is that people don't build uh, to that. But that's like saying we're going to do, we're going to have a law that says you can be arrested for walking on the sidewalk, but we're not going to enforce it. So, see, we're not. What we need to do is we need to make a policy decision. And we need to say, if, if you think 109 is the right number, then that's then then say that. But no, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the right number. I think we tried to lower it uh, previously. <clears throat> well, it's right now. It's proposed to be 65. Right. Well, I mean. And that I'm, was a consensus view. That oh, was a no, it wasn't. It no. was. It was not. It was a compromise. No, no, I did, no nothing. It wasn't no, nothing got. Nothing Charles got in Castle here. Would that's right. It. Charles Charlie Castle was 22. It, so but he's it. not here. So yeah, but that but, doesn't matter. Well, you guys keep using him yeah. all the time. I don't. You're okay. right. He's you know, not here. No, I was speaking. I was speaking about it. So Go I, ahead. I mean, I think we should remain consistent with the comprehensive plan. Okay. Well, fair enough. The that, that, plan. That's fair. I, I mean, nobody builds that much. Yeah, but that's not a reason to remain consistent with well, the well, comprehensive the issue, plan. The issue, though, so you can't have it both okay, ways. Okay, but see, the whole issue I have with this whole zoning thing, and I know that it's out the window now with, with the whole Champlain incident, but the issue is that we don't uh, measure floor area ratio. So. Well, why didn't you suggest that when you we were had 14 meetings? I've suggested that. Okay, well, how come you, I didn't hear I didn't hear it suggested while we were talking about it? Any. Why didn't you put it in? You could have. You could have proposed it. I, I mean, I brought but it up. You in didn't. You okay. didn't. Well, you I didn't. brought it up in you conversation didn't. with the attorney. Oh, that's nice. Put it on your list. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't. You so. Had a list. Anyway. I have. I have. Okay. So I Tina, have Tina's Whatever. okay with the 109. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Tony, when do we do the? I have a question for Tony. You got to take the food out of your mouth. I know. Sorry, I'm starving. Yeah. Tony. Yes. Um, where is the part where we change where we're measuring from erosion control line to bulkhead? Because that's the most important thing that we need to do. Because so then, when you measure the density, it's giving us the smaller building. So we don't have to go into this haggling over the percentages if we just change the line back to where it's supposed to be line as intended is, in the, the charter. The line is where it's supposed to be in the proposal. Correct, but that's what we need to, once we use the bulkhead line, which is as the charter dictates, then we are in effect keeping the density. Kind, it kind of, right? Right? So, so yes. Kind our, of. Our charter's pointing us at that. Kind. Okay, what was in place in 2004, and that's what the, that's what the that's how you measure the lottery to the bulkhead line. Got it. So now th that is on page 18 in the bold type at the bottom. No, but what what number on this list of things is it? The, the yeah, number 10. It, no, number 11. No, but it doesn't say there. W where is it on this list of 25 it's, things or whatever? I is know. the part about moving bulkhead? ERC, you know, it wasn't control line. It's not because that's that's 
dates back to before. Th th this list is what changed between March and now. This, mm -hmm. ch this that you're talking about was made before March. Okay, so we have all agreed that the erosion control line is being moved to bulkhead as it originally intended where we're measuring density from. Because measuring everything from. Correct, and because the increase mm -hmm. in density that we saw was because they changed the s where they were measuring from. That's how they got more units, right? That's one way. In, yes, in, in 2009, there was a new code. Mm -hmm. that, that code said you can measure to the erosion control line. Right, and that was a way to increase density with but the weight. But let's do it for fun. Let's give an example. Let's just say you have one box that's one foot by one foot, mm -hmm. and then you have another box that's two feet by one foot, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first box is one square foot, okay. and if the density is five, Okay, per, per square foot, you could put five in that box. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden, if you measure in the box is now two square feet, you can have 10, but you still could only build in the first box. Right, I know. Okay. That's how they got the density okay. higher. Okay, so, but what I'm saying is that now, okay, you're gonna be building to that first box, which is good, but you're still gonna have a pretty high density level relative to what's being built today. Uh, but that's my question. Are we? Because I thought that we, we don't. If we oh. use the if we use the bulkhead line, what well, kind he, of density? No, your question to Tony should be: What is the density outcome for the surf club? What was the density outcome for the Arte? What was the density outcome for the Chateau? And, well, an and you'll find out. I think it's in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. So it it it, it varies. So if we look at let's go back to Fendi, Fendi Chateau. Let, let him tell you. Okay, this. but hold on one second. With Champlain, when we use the measuring from the bulkhead, For, they get done. to, but, but I'm just done. saying, don't, they no, no, get no, no, to no, build no. 130, don't, 639 don't, units. Don't, the same thing that yeah, was but, there. But, that's, but we're, we, we accommodated them. That's correct. We're looking right. to the future now on everything else. But why can't the other buildings, I assume, would have a, because that size building is, does well on that size piece of land. It's not too much, it's not too little. Why doesn't that oh, because work? Because I'll tell you. Because, of okay. Land. Well, here's the issue. The issue is in the box now mm -hmm. that you're going to build, right? Because it's going to be a box. And in our example, it was a one square foot box. Right. Okay. You can have five units that are a certain size, or you could have three units that are bigger and more significant units, mm -hmm. or you could have ten units that are a lot smaller than the five. So you're still always building within that box. Mm -hmm. The question is, is what size units do you want to see in Surfside? Do you want to see a lot of smaller units or do you want to see a few fewer bigger units? And I don't mean big units, I just mean more spacious units than the smaller ones. I want to see what's currently in Surfside and what historically has been in <laughs> All Surfside. All right, well then that's a, good, that's a good question, that's a fair question. And historically, um, I guess we'd have to understand what the density was to, in order to get to like a- The uh, Four Winds, for example. Or four winds, for example, and George Kuslis would probably be a good source for that information. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Is he watching this? No, I had him before he came to the Oh, all right. Okay. All right. There's no volume. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, there hasn't been volume all meeting. night. People are really pissed. They missed. Really? They missed all the exciting. Uh, we are. We are actually streaming live on Twitter. We are with that cell phone right there, because that's how tech savvy we are. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why he's yes. up there. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we'll be able to have sound later. Like, will the sound come back? Yes. yes. Okay, so we, the, the sound is being version. recorded. The video, right. All right, good. So can anyone because what, what we put that on the screen so people won't? We want to preserve Surfside. Huh? So I'm okay with what's here now. So I want the density to reflect how those were built. That's my question. Okay, Tony, what was the density for the Grand Beach, for example? Okay. It's a new building, though. No, no, but, but it's also oh. highly concentrated. It's too, small. too small. It's a hotel. Well, that, let's find out what the density is. What if that's 109? It's too high. Okay. Right? So because that was built to the erosion control line. Remember, that, that because they got was, a lot of right. units. Right. Because so they, they were double. built to the erosion they got control double, line. Double, double but if the they were, density. Right. So uh, that's actually a good question. If the Beach Club, or whatever it's called, the Grand Beach, Grand was built Beach. to the bulkhead, how no, would it have no, been it different? No, no, it was built to the erosion. Correct. But if it had been, that's my question. Okay, well, 
remember the Grand Beach has property on the west side and on the and on the east side. Okay, I'm looking uh, but are they separate? Are they separate they, measurements? They, it's it's a total number of units. Oh, right? it is. Uh, yeah, okay, total so number of units. So when you adjust it, the estimate actually is like at 179 units per acre when you measure to the bulkhead. That's for, to the bulkhead. No, no, but that's taking yeah, that, no, 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 but that's what it, that's what it would be given our measurement. So yeah, but that's it's not 109. Is that what, is that what it's George got? What? Yeah, that's He's emailing it to me? Okay, yeah, send, send it to it Tony. Send it to me. Where's the chart? Send it to me. Do you think that's considering the property across the street? Uh, would that be considering the property across that's the street? That's adjusting for the property across oh, the street. Oh, that's taking out. Yeah, the property, the property across the street was like one point something uh -huh. acres. Uh, wow. And we, uh, so after you adjust it. Build 179 from so they the could jam. They, what they were, their, their original box that they get to build in. They got to measure like they had a twi the box twice as big <coughs> and then build right. that number so, of units in so the small box. I want to know how much of the problem are we solving? How how much, much, sorry, I want to know how much of the problem we're solving by going back to bulkhead and what, because then we know how much more we need to reduce the density to get to what we want, so, which is something reasonable. So to give you a couple of other estimates, yeah. um, just to give you some context, right? And I haven't gotten uh, George's numbers. But these, I, I, I got you. But when, when they come in. <laughs> Jeff, send it Did you I text them or email them? Oh, okay. All right. In any event, I had done some, some estimates based on, on previous plans. The Fendi, when you measure to the bulk headline, is 37 units per acre. See? The Surf Club, uh, to the bulk headline, if you count the Surf Club and the Four Seasons, it's 70 units per acre. But that's a hotel, too, guys. Right. That includes you know, a hotel. That, that, that's, that skews it. Right. The Seaway, the original Seaway approval. This is important. Was at 64 units per acre. That was the original. It's gone down from there because remember they reduced the, the number of units they made them bigger. a few months ago. They made them bigger. Right. Okay. So what is it What is it down to now, you think? Um, it's going to be around uh, uh, maybe like closer to 60. Closer to 60 because it's the number of units now is, okay. hang on, uh, it's 26 <laughs> plus 29. I'll tell you right now. Uh, if we go to 26 plus 29. 26 plus, it goes down to 45 units uh, per acre to the bulkhead, okay? And then Arte is down at uh, 27 units per acre to the bulkhead. And the Surf House, which was the, the one on 80, uh, I guess that would be 90th in Collins, um, that is 102 units per acre to the bulkhead line. Still within the, the, the 129. What is sur what's the surf house? house? The surf house is eight eight nine nine five. So it's the one next to. Oh, Arte. that's a proposal. But right. it was a, oh, it was approved. It hasn't been built. Yeah, right. but it would. But right. and they were adding four more stories onto that. Why did you add four more? I don't know. Because it was only eight stories. But what was the density there? The density on that one, if you measure to the bulkhead line, is one hundred two units per acre. Yeah. See that, and they, because that building was already existing. See, and they were. Jamming a lot of units. That's without knocking the building up. That's without knocking the building up. So I guess so I need to see George's, I mean, so, I don't. So George has some calculations um, that he did. Uh, what, what would, which one would you like to see? He did, he did each one of these. Of those buildings but we just talked about? Yeah. So take, take the Fendi, for example, and the Arte. Okay, so Fendi and Arte, he's got at, Fendi he's got at, at 34 units per acre. See? That's, that's, that's Which, half of what we're proposing. Yeah, I had it at 37. Um, let's see what else. Arte. It's, you know, that's the luxury, the 30s. That's the high luxury. Arte, we both have it at 27 units and per that's acre. 20, that's super high luxury, too. <coughs> so 65 is not necessarily, not is not the super rich, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm asking but George the same thing. This is what I don't understand. I mean, is it that every time that we come here, something new is going to happen? We already had three votes on this. I know, no, 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 we're just, no, no, first, of, no, 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 look at, we are confirming this today, and I guess that if there are three votes to reverse it, then Kessel can come to the meeting and say, hey, I voted, you guys changed my vote, but that's the way it goes. Well, the problem is, if you come to the meetings, you get to vote. So, Elena, what number would you feel comfortable with? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's why I need to know what, what the, how this impacts, how many, what, what I want to figure out is what percent do we need to keep these units well, look at, look at, but, 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 
what's the do we yeah what's yeah what's the, yeah, what's the density what's of the four the winds? So I didn't do that one independently. This is uh, I'm relying on George's chart here. George's yeah. chart to the bulkhead line. Let, let, you, wait, let him tell. Let him four, tell. The four winds is 160 units to per the bulkhead line? to the bulkhead line. And how many does it have now? What are we, we have 150. They're all different sizes. So, so that, that you mean the density is 160? Right. He just said 160. Yeah. 160 per per 160 units per acre. That's when really high, the right? Line. We're we're only we're, we're at 109 right now, right? What do you mm -hmm. mean per acre? How many acres? I, again, I haven't verified okay. these. Okay, so, so we, need, we I, I need a chart that actually shows for me. Well, first of all, first of all, we have a proposal. Okay. Now, are there three votes? It, it, I like. Let, let me ask a question. I speak as an owner of I'll, Champlain I'll, Towers. I'll, I'll get you a second, sir. Are there three votes here to change it? That means, if you're if there are not three votes to change the 65, we're moving on. There are because Tina doesn't want it to be 65. No, no, I don't. She doesn't want it to be 65. Okay. And I and does if, she not if want I could it to just could I just say something? Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, if you look at the market, if you look at what's what where it's headed. They don't build what they're allowed to build. So I don't think it's an issue. If you want bigger, uh, more luxurious units, you're going to get that because that's what the builders right, want. It's up I'm to the builders. It's not chance. necessarily uh, up to us. I, I agree that we don't want to leave it to chance. Right. I just don't that's know. What she I, wants. The so problem is, I don't. No, I don't. I said well, I was comfortable with 109. No. Okay, well, that's where she's comfortable. But I don't know that Nellie wants to change it. Don't, I don't know what these numbers, I don't want to be, like, well, look, for example, with well, the well, fences, you know, I don't want to be taking. I don't want to be pulling a number out of no, you're thin not, air. You're not. You just heard that the Fendi, okay, and the Art are 20s and 30s. We've said 60. We've, we're twice that, okay? We're half of what it was, but we're twice what those luxury units that you talk about that are bad are. So it's a compromise. But that, but that means, for example, that if the four winds were to be replaced. They would be 65 per acre. That's all, So they would have fewer How units in the whole the building. How many acres does the According to George's chart, <laughs> one acre. I do, yeah, but I want to know yeah, what it means. I want to be clear about that. That's small. Instead of, you know, seventy. The four winds right? has, like it, when points. measured to the bulkhead line, has point eight seven acres. Okay, whatever. So okay. The, okay, remember the same way we did. Change, okay, right? here's okay, my question. No, Tony, the way that we we're did done. the beach chair with a with a chart. Okay, that's, that's kind. Of, that's what I need because we don't. We're done. We don't have the votes to do it. Yeah, we do. We're, no, no. We, we it's there, and we don't have the votes to change it right no, now. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to yeah, reduce yeah. the density? No, I don't. It's done. It's the, we've pr the proposal is sixty five. We agreed on that before. Okay, but we're having another meeting, and we're agreeing on something else no, now. No, we're not because you don't have the votes to change it. So we're okay, moving on. But you're not clear on what these numbers mean. I am. I, I, I am because we are. So you tell me, how many apartments can they have where? in, in an, I don't know, pick another building. Pick, well, okay, the Manatee. How many apartments? How about we pick, how about we pick the Grand Beach and we use that lot? Right? Why would you okay, take, take a large Grand property? Beach. It's a big property. Yeah, why are you going to take a large property when somebody could add a 100-foot lot and then you're comparing to a 300-foot okay. lot? No, okay. you're just trying to talk and get what you want when you want to get Mr. It. Mr. Rose, yeah. listen. No, that's what happens. Listen, you, cut you, get, her off you get to talk. Listen, you get. I'm not going to argue with you. I don't want. This is a I'm really important arguing, decision. Well, you, but this you're is a workshop for conversation. Hey, listen, right. if, it, I if agree. It's a, work, it's a workshop, and then you want to okay, vote on chief, something before the public gets to speak. Well, it's, listen, it's it's a workshop, okay? So, let, you, and this is really important. Ask this gentleman not to interrupt. Do not interrupt, please. Okay. Okay. So it's a workshop, but the point is, Eliana, that you don't have the votes to change it now, and I'll talk to you. Okay, please. but but here's the thing, you're going to need the votes to pass this. Z this, well, Kessel this is the one. Zo right, but Kessel, okay, Kessel's you the can't one. assume that Kessel's going to show up and green light whatever you want. I know, but I can't assume I don't, he's not going to show up. But I don't, but rather than go through the risk of showing up to vote on a code that we worked all year on and having it fail because gonna, you won't talk about density. I'll talk about it. Okay, so I'm trying to talk about go it. Ahead. What I'm saying is that I need to see what these numbers translate to in a chart for each, like the same way we did with the beach chair chart. I just want some information. Okay, Tony, so I can Tony, right. get her a chart. So, so that, so right. So let's just now. for now we can leave it. But I want, I, I am not comfortable I wanna, with I that. I want to help you. I'll, I'll be, that'll be fine. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to the next the item. Next one, um, we you can have one minute. Okay, let's okay. Let's hear from okay. the speakers. One minute, please. Go Randy ahead. Rose, eight seven 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 Collins Avenue, eleven oh three. 
Champlain Tower South. You're talking about density, and I mentioned this earlier in the meeting, that we need a good clarification. And you keep going back and forth. There's no guarantee that you're telling me that the city attorneys and everybody are gonna approve something for Champlain Towers South, that it can be higher than somewhere else. That has not been agreed upon, and none of the attorneys have made their uh, opinion on that, which, and we had 105 units per acre, and it seems like a developer probably will not build 105 units per acre, which came out to roughly 200 units on the property. So, but it was there, so there's no reason to go ahead and start changing that. You're changing where in the past things were me measured from the wave crest, and now you want to change it. So it should be open where if somebody Thank did, you. Thank well, you. you want you want me to quit speaking? Well, I do. Yeah, I, I want to get the other people to. Fine, so I'll let them speak, and I'll come back. Because you, you got two hundred five yeah, pages here. Again, we're not going to be here all night. Go ahead. Joshua FC nine three seventeen Bay Drive. Going forward, I think since this is a workshop, it'd be appreciated if the public can speak first, and then you make the decision because it's not a commission meeting. It is a workshop meant for the residents. Also, I meant to ask you, Mr. Town Attorney. Is it building like Tina's right now with 155 units? Is that grandfathered in, or would, if that building were to burn down, collapse, would that now be at 65 units? So what you have is a, is a non-conforming structure, and there are provisions in the code that allow for non-conforming structures to be rebuilt if they're rebuilt within a certain period of time. So that building, then, which which the so that build, her building could be rebuilt a, to the current it's capacity. It's about within a certain period this of time. defeats the whole purpose of okay. the rest of the discussion. I do, okay, so I do think though that for current buildings, for example, if a building were to be um, knocked down, I think that it should be allowed to be rebuilt to the same exact capacity that it's at now, which is not in the current code. Also, not to speak for Commissioner Kessel, but at the last meeting, he did make himself very clear that he wanted it, he doesn't like restricting people within their own buildings. He okay, thought it should be re remaining at what it is right now. You're gonna need his vote to pass this, okay. just so you thank, know. Thank you, next. Jeff Rose, A51 Pratt Avenue. I want to talk about the miscellaneous things we didn't get to, but I just want to read what George wrote earlier. I'll read it again. Um, to keep 100 nights unit per acre while defining lot area by the bulkhead line. Redefine the lot area back to the bulkhead line is reasonable. That is where it was done at the time of Champlain Tower South construction. The adjustment of density down from 265, 265 from 109 makes no sense. As written your code and comprehensive plan, would allow higher densities in zones that allow one third the height of the ocean front. What is a rational basis for the decision? Which means on the H30C and all those interior ones, your density is still high. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is the density is all discussion about unit size. And you're basically saying, which is why I'm not for lowering density, you're only gonna be building luxury units if you lower density. There is that slim chance that somebody may wanna rebuild a four winds type building a Carlisle 9511, when you lower density, you take that option off the table, which is why I'm not okay. for it. Thank I think you. that's clear. I, listen, I think it's a policy decision, and I think that you know we know what the luxury units are. They're in the 20s and 30s, okay? This is not that. No, I know, I just, what I, what I just You'll get want, the chart, we'll get you the chart. I just so. want the buildings that we currently have to be able to have the same number of units when they're rebuilt, not bigger, not 200 units, the same 100 units that they have, they should be able to build their 100 they, units. They won't be able to. Okay, but but again, that's not uh, again. That's a policy decision. You guys are right, entitled that's to I'm that saying. opinion. I, I that's good. I want to protect. It's not an opinion. It's uh, it's how we feel about the policy too. Right. It's a policy I object. opinion. I object. Okay. It's a policy opinion. Right. Object. I object. We'll call it to you the vote with the, the commission higher, at a commission meeting. You want the higher density? That's fine. It's not about wanting higher. It's we're it not. Is. She wants okay. 109. She's listen. It's in the comprehensive plan. Whatever, who cares? What? We, 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 we change things. That's what we're elected to okay. do. The number that I that I'm want to get to What's the big deal about that? It, it, matter, it matters to the people of the Champlain, well, and you can't treat them well, separately. The you the have hedges, to treat all the, the buildings the same. The were four feet, and now we change I'm them. not talking about hedges. I'm talking not. about Champlain but South, and you have to treat all the properties the same on the ocean front. First of all, you don't. We made a special exception for the Champlain South. That's incorrect. <laughs> You okay. weren't listening, obviously. So I want to just read. No, I was listening. You I weren't. don't agree with that. Well, you don't agree with it, but that's what we did. That's what you did. No, okay. it's not what I did. It's what a majority of the commission did. So you weren't paying attention to that either. 
See, if you knew something... You know, don't tell me I'm not paying attention. You're not. You're obviously can not, because you, you said I didn't. Can you guys knock Look, it out? I don't want to argue okay, with you. you I want to do what's you're right arguing. here for every, all well, the residents. Not. I'm not? No. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so... Okay, so first of all, I want to reiterate that for Champlain South, you're going to have what you had before, okay? No one's touching your, your that's, stuff. That's done. I know, but he just was... He, no, he's making he a special except, exception. He's spot okay. zoning under a different... Who is? Uh, okay. You are. Under well, see, that's where you're misinformed. No, you didn't, I'm not you misinformed. didn't hear that the rest here. of the commission agreed? Well, I've been here all night. Well, I've then been you missed it. agreed to do the right thing for the Champlain. Stay for awake the next time. No, I'm not sleeping. Yeah, honey. stay awake. I'm awake. I'm very awake. Well, you're obviously... I'm more alert than you want me to be. I don't think so. Look, I'm tired of this. Well, you can go. So, Tony, just again... What we're doing for Champlain is not considered spot zoning, correct? Correct. But okay. we had this discussion two hours ago. I know, I'm, because, ago. because because the peanut gallery listen. has decided that it's not. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I, I think, listen, the listen, guys, stop, stop, okay. guys. You don't, you, you don't, Tony, you don't owe my 16-year-old an explanation. Stop. Don't worry stop about talking. it. Stop talking. Okay? So, so. Guys, guys, listen. They're going to discuss it. If they find a problem, they're going to come back. Okay, so I I like the way the town is with the buildings that we have now, the, the old buildings, the Four Winds, the Manatee, all that stuff. So when those buildings are replaced, I am comfortable with a similar size building of similar then density leave the zoning where it is. being built. I don't want to see more. I don't want to ever see 200 units crammed onto a, a, a a lot. Well, so I want to make sure that the no, 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 I don't need to lower it because if now Fine. that we've moved listen. the line, I just want to make sure that that's what happens. I okay. don't want to be in a situation. Listen, we don't have to talk about this too much more because we have. We'll uh, get a chart and we'll look at it. Well, no, no. Right now, we've got a proposal of 65. If if you don't like it, and it, it's up for being revoted again, or listen, you don't have to vote for the whole code, right? You can come to the next meeting at the commission and you could say, you know what, I don't like that provision, so I'm voting against the whole thing. That's your choice. I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing this succeed, and so that's why I'm having I this know, conversation. I know, and I appreciate that. I think you are. Okay, that's why I'm having these conversations. I think you are. Okay, guys, next, building materials. Tony, is there anything? Oh, wait, let me, I think everybody knows what building materials. It's the stuff uh, on the outside yeah, of the building. I understand, but I, I don't understand why you're discouraging stucco. I mean, if people are making, Because that's the it's least crap. expensive It's crap. But stuff. wait a minute, you can't just tell people they're going to build their house in block. No, it's the hotel. And then how this is going to supposed to... But discourage... To... No, no, this is... Oh, this is the H-120? This, yeah, this oh, is sorry. the Sorry, the building sorry I take that yeah. back. Okay. All right, anybody? Objection? <laughs> no, not your house. Sorry. <laughs> Objection? <laughs> the building's okay, that's another story. I'm well, like, um, are, are you saying they can't build stucco? No, or? It, okay. it's, it's, it's not... Favored. So what's what's the point to? Well, just we want nice material. We want stone. We want something that looks beautiful on the outside. I mean, of the I mean for the most part, they're doing that. I, I mean, I don't see an issue. So here. we don't have to change the law because they're doing it. But, they, but what did they put on the outside of the parlor? Wasn't that stucco? Uh, yes, because they're restoring. I mean, we're we're going to be restoring too, and and you restore with. Uh, You're going to restore with original material. But well, that's does original this prohibit material. Them from doing their no, own? It, no, it just no. discourages it. This is new. This is new construction. Uh, can, can we get an answer from Tony? Yes, Tony. Oh, okay. What about on rehabs? So, yeah, on rehabs, you're you're. Look, a, a lot of this is the surface shall be stone, metal, glass, block, or accent wood or other sustainable finishes. This is going to apply um, yeah, these generally to architecture, but if you, it would technically apply to to Everyone. even even rehabs. But yeah. is it is it discouraged? Then that's but the problem. It, but but but, but hold on. I I no no but hang, hang on. Good no, catch, Nelly. No, but it, is it does it mean that they can't do stucco? Yeah. No oh. no it just says the, the use of low cost stucco shall be min should be minimized in favor of other materials. Yeah, but so you can't. So you why are we discouraging to be specific to well, either white or it's black? No, no, it's no, no. I mean. no, no, Nelly. It, what we're saying is that if you're going to redo your building, we'd like you to use some sustainable or beautiful yeah, materials. But, but, but you can still use the stucco. Well, well, no, that's that's an issue, though. Yeah. Be specific about that. This is like so. You can, can't so you want to add language that if you're rehabbing, you can stick with your if you want to stick with your original ugly stuff. If you right. Want. Well, no, I think I think you need language to you know it's fine for a new <clears throat> construction to encourage these finer yeah. materials, which and that's why I said they're doing that anyways. But when you're yeah. dealing with a, a building, like we're going for our 50-year certification. I mean, and if you tell us we have to put tiles on the walls now, 
that changes the load. Agreed. The, the, Agreed. You know, okay, Tony, yeah. can you can yeah. you uh, so can, can you want to add language to uh, make sure that um, it doesn't force existing buildings to upgrade their exterior finishes if they don't want to? Okay. Okay. Next. I had one question about that. Yes. Go ahead. Joshua Epstein, 1917, Bay Drive. How are we encouraging it? Like, if they come with an entire building of okay, Sadatka or whatever, exactly. how are, are they, is it being denied? Are we denying a building permit over this? Or what is encouraging me? And they get a high five, a clap yeah, on the back. It's the high five. It's, it's the high five. So we're not actually like doing anything. I just want to make that clear. It's either yes or it's no, well, we're or it's white it. or it's black. Well, well, so you can't be like, like uh, in the middle. No, no, but, but we're just encouraging it. And, and they're going to do whatever they want. What does encouraging mean? What do you have to so every every project has to come. It means for it's possible. You can. It, it's it's it. Yeah. Every project has to come for design review approval. Yeah, but then you're All telling the design review people, maybe you can do this, or maybe you can do that. You're not really giving them a direction. Encouraging is not a direction. Well, when you're saying it's blue, it's blue, and you, that's it. But but, yeah, but if, I, if, if I may, if it, it? no no, I'm just saying. If they're all bright line standards, then there's no yeah. point to the design review. That's right. The design review right. is to take in. It ha there's all these leeway. Yeah. Take into account. To use those Th they're going to take standards into yeah. account, okay. and these are standards that you're specifying. Yeah. Okay. okay, guys, next one. Um, rooftop equipment. Okay, so this is where you get extra height from the uh, the 125. What do you want to do with that? It's only for mechanical, not with. I don't want to see the rooftop elements. It'll be elevator stuff. Yeah, I don't want to see the massage rooms yeah, and but this is all only, this stuff. This is only if they're going to go above the Correct. whatever. Of course. But yeah. if they keep themselves under and they want to pull put a pool right. up there, they can, they do, can do it. Yeah. Okay. Fine. They can I'm make okay the whole the whole twelfth yep. floor into a spa. If I'm they want. good with that. Then. Are you okay with it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Is that okay? is that what this says, yes. Tony? Tony. Yeah, exactly. Tina. So so no, they can't. So if the seaway was coming before us now with this new version, they would not be able to have their massage rooms and such and stuff on the roof. It, 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 it actually it limits, it limits any enclosed space uh, to 15 square feet. So five by three, you're, you're talking about the top of a stairwell? Okay. Or the top of the elevator? Sure. Right. Yeah, but that's okay. only if like they this, they already went up their 12. Okay. Correct. I got yes. a question yes. about that. Above 12 stories. Okay. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so you're, if a developer came in and he wanted to put a a swimming pool, you're already shortening different heights and they decide they want to put like Grand Beach and they have something on the top for the residents to go on the pool deck higher, you're not allowing that. Well, you just, no, she you just are. said you are, you but you have to sacrifice but they a have, floor. They would have to sacrifice a you, floor. In other words, you don't get a bonus floor to put other stuff on, yeah, so, but, but you, they are. But you're also like taking away a jacuzzi that you don't have to, that could be above ground on the rooftop that's uh, on the, the same no, you height can't, as the You're not elevator. legally allowed to have above ground jacuzzis on a rooftop. Okay, so if you only... No. I don't... No, why I not? Okay. Why well, couldn't okay. you just... Why couldn't you build Look. a deck, but you also have the tower coming up from your elevator, so if you're doing within your 10 feet and you want to do a trellis over, you're eliminating that. It, it, but what we're doing is we're keeping the no, height but, limits, specifically yeah, but you also the height have limits. A large, you might have a large roof that you're... You know, you have equipment on the roof, yes, but you have some areas that are still available to work with, and you're just saying to a developer, you know, they're not here to be talking, but that's just somebody was going to go But do then what you're like doing that. is you're actually going higher. We're saying you can no, only go not, 125 not, feet. Right, but you also haven't fixed your exactly if the 125 feet, what does it really equal because we keep on discussing. No, no, we're going to have it fixed. And then what we're saying is you can put anything you want up to that height. You can put a jacuzzi, a pool, a ballroom, whatever you want well, within that height. Well, I keep hearing you say the word equipment. So if you had your so-called 125. No, that, that equipment, equipment is goes above, above it. Right. You so get 125 feet. Right, I understand 125 yeah. feet. But so now you have your equipment, which is basically your elevator shafts that are coming up right. that are above on your roof and let's just say it went 10 feet up okay because you had a service that you have a service elevator going up to the roof to take care of your when you have to bring air conditioner units up so basically it's 10 feet up and you're saying you have a whole deck area that could be 
25 or 50 feet wide and you're saying no you can't put anything on correct that. because we're that would be a bonus floor because you can't just have a roof with no yeah, but walls if, around it to keep the people in right because then that's essentially not you're true going because up because they could add a fence around it that was protecting a six foot fence because the elevator went up to the top of the elevator it was 10 feet high. Right, but the elevator is a small area it's not the whole no, but roof. you're using the height you just say it's the height so if you're using as an example that an elevator that you had that went up to the roof to bring your equipment up mm -hmm. as an example so that's just used 10 feet okay so for some reason you wanted to put in a jacuzzi up there or and you had an area that was 50 feet left in a, a section of the roof when you design your building, you're telling them, no, you can't. If they want to put a massage table. Because it there. goes, it's not a massage table, it's a massage, a massage room. room. Okay, right. so but you put a room with a bathroom. So if you had a, a jacuzzi, I'm just giving an example. Right, but that's that another you, floor. No, then you it, it's not another floor. It is, it's, it's an another open, whole floor. It's an open area, it's a usable space. Is Every, what it is. But, but everything's usable space in life. Well, you're eliminating the usable space in life. Is no, what you're we're doing. setting a height you're, limit. You know, you're, you, what you're trying to do is you're doing major restrictions for people who want to come in. These are the same restrictions that have been placed in Surfside since Surfside was founded, and we're well, trying then, to keep it from turning uh, into Sunny Isles. Well, it's not going to be Sunny Isles because Sunny Isles is 50 to 70 stories or 40 to 70 stories, and it depends on how you start measuring. We're not Sunny Isles. Nobody wants to be Sunny Isles. That's why you're in the town of Surfside. Okay, so don't go from 12 stories and say I'm going to be like 40 to 50 or 70 stories. You're not. We already know right now we're sitting here arguing and you can't even make it easy for a developer to say we're not talking about sur sunny aisles. We're talking about whether I can build an extra 10 feet or 15 feet. You got a tall guy like the mayor and, and you won't even and, and you're limiting the height of the ceilings. To possibly eight feet unless I shorten the number of floors I can do to make a nine foot ceiling but we have to have some kind of height limitations Listen, okay so sit your okay so you're sitting on in your car you're walking to the beach and you're looking up does it really matter by 10 or 15 feet no I'm you're not, not the one that's not the height is set for the other people in the other buildings next door because it affects their views, it affects their light, their air, it affects everything, there, the shadows have, on the it's, beach. It's not, okay, it's shadowing on the beach, okay, number one, by not a lot, because we're talking about, okay, first of all, the sun's rising out of the east, so you're getting, in the morning, you still have all the sun coming up. So you would like to see more floors added to every building in the Surfside, no, is that your position? Say, I did not say that adding more floors, I'm still saying, uh, 12 floors uh, I'm not denying that I'm saying to give an explanation where you had some of the buildings that were from the crown of the road or from the, the uh, other measurements that you're using so if you're using from the crown of the road when you start doing your math and and then and the planner was saying before whether you lost three feet or added three feet or eight feet because it's not clear I'm just saying so if it was 160 feet, if it was 155 or 165, it's really not going to matter at the end of the day. We're not saying we're building 190 feet from the, from the crown of the road. I'm just trying to, we're still trying to build the 12 stories. I mean, you used to put eight foot sliding doors in. Now, some places put nine and 10 foot sliding doors. So you really couldn't even do that when you have the concrete floors that you're building. So construction costs has gone up and you have to think of this, whether whatever you're building today, you want to make it beneficial, they want to build it nice. So you don't want them to start have to shrink. And if that's a decision that they want to make a roof higher or lower to get it on certain floors, then they can do that. It's but, a decision for the builder if they want to put their pool on the first floor or well, they want to put it on the roof, but we're not going to give them an extra floor where- They're not giving, but some builder, some of the buildings have two a pool on the ground floor, and they have a okay. pool on the roof. They can roof. put whatever they want as long as they stick with the height restrictions I, that we have in town. Right, but we're already having a hard determination 
to really decide because we're going back and forth asking everybody questions and you still don't know exactly by five or ten feet. We're just trying to set a height limit and then they can put whatever they want within that height limit. What okay. we're talking about now are exemptions, so things that you, are goodies so in addition to the height limit. you right now what the height limit is right now without asking anybody else, say, from the crown of the road exactly how high would the top of my elevator and the equipment be? That's what we, we asked them to come back to well, us first with all, those numbers. First of all, right now in the code, the one that we approved is 125 feet above the crown of the road. Okay, and then there's an allowance for the equipment above that. That answers your question. And sir, okay. you've been you've been longer than a minute, so we'll, we'll hear from the next but speaker. It's still not clear from where you're going and what the height is at the end. Go ahead. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was I like getting Jim. permission. Wow. Uh, Is he having a stroke? <laughs> uh, I want to make a recommendation the commission advise that they increase the maximum size of the uh, rooftop enclosure to accompany a modern design. For instance, you've got a three foot diameter trash chute. A trash chute, chute vent is required by the Florida Building Code. You're going to need at least a four by four, if not a five by five foot enclosure. That's 25 feet right there for a trash chute. Stairway is another one. You've got a stairway coming up to the top of the roof. You've got a mandatory landing, a five by five by the Florida Building Code at the, at the, at the landing. It does have to make room for the run. <clears throat> so I recommend you increase that uh, to 25 to 30 to 30 feet, please. Even if you want to add some language on there to make as accessory to trash chutes, stairway terminations, things like that. But it needs to be more than 15, that's for sure. Jim, please. is that an aggregate 2530? Is that an aggregate 2530? I would increase it to 25 to 30 per enclosure. Per enclosure or as an aggregate for the roof? No, that's got to be, in other words, if a trash chute is five by five, that's your 25 feet right there. You still need a place for the stairway to come up and terminate out of the weather. And it's got to make room for the run of the stair to come up and then a landing for people to stand on and then step out a door. Stairway, Okay, so we need chute. a stairway, a trash chute, and that's air conditioning, right? Well, AC units are not uh, typically in an enclosure unless you want to hide them. I thought we have to hide them. That's that, the rule. There we go. And that's, I strongly recommend that so it can't be visible from Don't the street. Don't we already have that as they have to hide them or we didn't get to that one yet? Yeah, we, that's a good that's idea. Part of the same provision. Yeah, they have to hide their um, AC. Right. Good. So okay. Stairs, trash chute. Actually, actually, screening is, is a good term to use. Yeah, guys, we're getting close to the end of the meeting. So stairs, so trash chute, AC, elevator, right? Yes. And what else? Yes. That's it. And that's what I can So think no of swimming pools and hot tubs and uh, exactly. Okay. So, so, just to clarify, is the direction of the commission <laughs> to remove the outdoor amenity spaces from this provision? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, first of all, what? first of all, first of all, we have a draft in place now, and and what we're talking about now is taking the amenities off, right? Okay. Now. Right. That's going to require three votes here to do that. Are you what, going to support what are the, that? What are the amenities that you're talking about? What, what are you talking about for amenities? Tony, can you answer that question? Can you let him answer? Yeah. Go ahead, Tony. So what we talked about, we talked about it's there's rooftop mechanical equipment spaces and limited rooftop outdoor amenity spaces. Okay. The requirements were increased setbacks. Well, give us. Give, she asked what what are what are amenities? They would include things like. An outdoor space, a pool, a, ja uh, ja jacuzzi. a jacuzzi, things like that. That's what. That's the way this was written. The massage room. Uh, not the the room itself. No. No. Okay. It would. Yeah. You know, like maybe an outdoor massage thingy. Like yes. If they had outdoor. Like a table outdoor. It would have to be open it. air. That's the way this is written. It's outdoor okay. so uh, amenity is spaces. Outdoor. It must be outdoor. Okay. That's what the way this was written. Well, I don't want to change that. So that's the way it was before. Okay. Yeah. If, if so I'm that's the one, way it is in the draft. That's okay. How was it in the prior code? In the, which the one code? that the, the when you call the Deitch code, that's not really the Deitch code. The 2009 one. code. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's no specific restriction. That's why people were doing it. There's no limitation on it. So, so there's a limitation. There's right, but we didn't like the things about that code. So there was no limitation to what you could do there. Right now, there's a limitation. Right. So that's what changed. I got it. But so you can do swimming pools. According to what we have written here, you could. You could okay. do a swimming pool up on the I mean, I think that's so you could Okay, good. Listen, we're, we're done with this. Okay, Mr. But you Mayor, can't I have, I have one, 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 one more comment. Guys, we're like done. Hold on. Please, stop. One Jim, more you comment, got the floor. please. A you growing got the floor. design 
trend is the addition of trellises and pergolas up on top of roofs. Right, that's For kind instance, of a problem, right? The trellises, that's like well, those wood things? They're, these, like they're the open, but they're structures on top of roofs. I want you to be aware of that design problem. Right. Okay, the design mean? issue, design trend, because like they're getting very, very large. The pergolas. Yeah, are, yeah but they're, they're hurricane proof on well, the roof. Uh, I'll make sure they don't get blown away at that, right? But just no, but won't be aware that. that people it's that decorative. Are on, the, it's on the roof don't get burnt by the sun. Right. Correct. They, okay. Partial shade. It's not total shade. It's yeah. trellis, so trellis so and so pergola. So okay. So be basically, that. we're letting people get a 13th Guys. floor for recre outdoor recreation, and that's okay with everybody here? I, I just want to ask, I wanted to ask Jim, uh, when you talk about trellises, that wouldn't exceed the height of the. Um, the elevators or uh, stairs. No, no, but it's a it's a very like, there's a big one up on Fendi Chateau, uh, thirty million dollar condo, and they're going remodeling, and they mm. almost want to cover the whole place in a pergola, and uh, and yeah, and we didn't have any, any way to to re to prohibit it, uh, except I've stopped it because of potential roof roof load contribution, but. Uh, be aware that this is a design change coming up. People are loving their pergolas. It's a real. But what about the so and what about the bathrooms for the for the? Now that's would be in the enclosure, maximum. What ta what Tony's talking about? Right. Right. So what is going to be? Yeah, but guys, guys, control? listen. Tina supports that. I support it. But I want to. I want to know what we're. I, I know, but what is the we're size done of tonight. The though. Mayor's eleven o'clock. I, I support it as long as it doesn't exceed the height of the you other too. elements. All right. So what? But well, how much of it can be enclosed? What percent of the roof or something? Okay. But, so. Total, what you can have up there is no more than 30% of the roof, total, okay? But in terms of the enclosure, specifically enclosures that you're asking about, I had put 15 square feet. You've heard from your building official that it really should be more like 25 square feet <laughs> per enclosure, and he identified at least three enclosures. So what I would okay. suggest is 25 square feet per enclosure, 75 square feet in the aggregate. Okay. Let me summarize, that. guys. Okay, the meeting is over. So but twenty, so seventy-five square feet enclosed. Ileana, talk to Tony after the meeting, please, because this this issue is is done, and we we now have. Well, I, I gotta one, understand this. More. Two, three, four. Uh, you could talk to him after the meeting. One, two, three, four, Was five, six, seven, public eight, public. So where did we stop? nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got about halfway, I think. So where did, where do we We're stop stopping today? at underground. We're gonna. Next thing is gonna be underground parking. Okay, Commissioner, is it okay if we schedule another meeting so we can get this finished? Yeah. Yeah, but I gotta. I, I have to go back to Denver, and then I, I'll be away for two weeks. When are you going back? Um, Wednesday, I think. I'm gonna go fly by. You wanna do it next week and see if I can. That would be great. I can't do it next week. Can't do it. When can you do it? But find Since out what Eliana can do. Can it. you look at dates for another uh, work uh, zoning workshop? Uh, it's probably not, not going to be in September. For next week. Yeah, it's it's probably not going to be in September. Okay, so then in October, beginning yeah. of the October. We have too many. Send out a doodle. <coughs> we'll do. All okay. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Can, can All right. Good night, everybody. Speak that are here. Yeah, yeah, the, meeting, but, the meeting has to be over, Mayor. All right, we have to be over at 11 o'clock. Sorry. The I want to hear you anyway. Go ahead. Oh, well, I want to hear you. Listen, to be on the, the meeting right. is over, but go, go ahead. ahead. We're, go we're, for it. How, how many tests do you have tomorrow, Joshua, that you didn't study for? A lot. Okay. okay so you should be Work on your stucco. Maybe Jeff Rose will hire you to do things on the houses. There we go. Um, the yeah. stuff that's not on the list. Are we going to talk about that at the next workshop? Yeah. That's what I want to talk about. Tony knows my fun stuff. You can come back on Tuesday, Jeff.